Hi, Mom. Dude! What the fuck? Started watching it this year. It's not bad. <laughs> Yo, says I don't need to know what you're into right now. What, uh, what, what, are you watching hentai? Yeah, it's not bad. I used to think the same thing my whole life until you actually uh, watch it. Sazzy, what is hentai? What is hentai? Oh. I thought I killed him. Do it again. Already cross that side. Okay. Where are they? Out in there! Holy shit! Bro! What the fuck? What the shit? Just not right. Just not right. What do you mean, just not right? Watch yourself. Watch yourself. What do you mean, just not right? Yeah, 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 so yeah, I knew it. Got one trying to push you. Another one. No, I am cheating. Why are there so many big cocks everywhere? Okay. Okay. Alright. Is down, but breathing. It looks like a Gotham. Yeah. See, he, he, he was breathing? Yeah, see? He, well, <laughs> now he's... <laughs> Not anymore, I guess. Now he's dead. <laughs> look away, look okay, away. Three, two, one, look away. Do not look away. Oh, dark hallway here for Tucker. Oh, what the... Oh, my... Oh, 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 Tucker, are you okay? Club? Hey. Come on out here. Come <laughs> I on don't, out here. I, I got something to show. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I want to do. Bean can? Freaking Eric? Bean can? Yeah. What the oh fuck is bean can? What the fuck is bean can? What the fuck, man? How do you what not know that? What the fuck is bean can? The boost, bro. I'm going to plant the bomb up here. He's cat. What? One <laughs> HP? <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Dude, he needs a pot. Oh, he's in the lower! He's in the lower! <laughs> oh my god. Behind the plant, behind the plant. Ah! <laughs> yes! What? No way! <laughs> uh. <laughs> this guy, bro. <laughs> ah! Is that it? Oh, so bright. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you can die? We're all supposed to Let's go! There's no way it's dynamic. What is happening? <laughs> He's going through the wall. Out of these guys, get your knives out. Come here, come here. Go, go. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, one more love. Come out. Long? 38 days. Yeah. You got banned. That is what you Eric. fuckers reported me. <laughs> Almost missed him. Wait, that's a flop. <laughs> that's a flop song.
Uh, hello? Ah, hello, 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 hello. <clears throat> oh, shit. How we doing? How we doing, chat? How we doing? You guys look great. You guys look great. <clears throat> Oh shit. Let's see. Where's the music? It's very hard to masturbate to your stream when the camera's off. How bad, dude? I put my streams on here. Let's see. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're in there. Chat starting strong this morning. Always. Hmm. Faye's going down today. What do you guys think? Chat, who do you think's taking it? Who you think's taking it? Faze or Navi? What maps are they gonna play? Vertigo question mark? Ah, oh, dude, that vertigo float. <laughs> oh, shit. believe how bad my pickings went for this does that mean you think phase bans anubis or overpass surely they're gonna ban anubis and they're and now he's gonna play overpass surely Nah, no, I don't think we're getting vert. Alexi doesn't play games and vetoes. Especially because Alexi's teams are usually drilled. What do you, well, the question is, I guess, do you, do you think Navi floats it? Man, that'd be wild. I don't think they would. I don't think they would. Alexi yesterday said he has a lot more confidence in their ancient than, you know, their win rate shows. Let me look at it. Bro, these are some 13-9, 13 13-9. 13 this is a bad one. That's a bad one. But they're not like getting, they're not like getting trounced on the map. Watching the history of this video. Uh, I would plan on doing it before, but I got on too late. I'm just trying to sleep. I have a, uh, I'm flying out this evening back to Ohio. Uh, Taco, thanks for the two month primer. Thank you. Can't believe how bad your pickums went for this. It do be like that. What map is FaZe gonna pick? There's so many there's so many possibilities here because they pretty much have the same map pool Question is if you're Lexi B do you ban do you ban ancient and See if phase really wants to make their map choice where to go 
right i if i'm alexi b it might be fun it's a fun it's a fun thing to think about they'll probably ban vertigo but i'm just saying I'm just saying phase didn't pick vertigo right they let they let it third and they let vitality do i don't think i don't think they pick it bro mike thanks for 200 biddies thank you best of five best of three i'm just saying dude if i'm alexi b i it might be worth it you just ban ancient and then you're comfortable on every map and then it, you really think kerrigan's gonna pick vertigo i don't think he would but i don't think alexi b would risk it <laughs> But dude, it'd be wild. I would shit myself if I see Navi first, man. Fucking ancient. Oh my god, that'd be crazy. Oh shit. I don't think you risk letting Vertigo go through. Nah, they probably won't. They'll probably just play Ancient. I think we're going to get Overpass, Ancient, Inferno third. Because FaZe, FaZe doesn't want to play Navi on Mirage. Not because not, not cause FaZe is bad on it, but it's probably Navi's best map. Probably, yeah. 73% win rate with 11 maps played is pretty sick. That's 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 pretty solid. Lost to Spirit. Falcons lost kind of shit. They've only lost to Spirit and Falcons. They're both good there. Yeah, but they're both good on pretty much all each other's maps except for two. So that's what I'm saying is which map do we think they handshake on, right? And I'm saying if I'm Navi, I'm banning Vertigo. If I'm not taking any chances, I'm banning Vertigo. And I'm banning Nuke. Because these, right? And then you handshake here. Faze, they're gonna ban vertigo phase is gonna pick ancient they're gonna ban anubis they're gonna pick overpass and then handshake with the final bands being probably nuke and mirage and being inferno although i mean they could they could decide to play mirage or nuke to be fair mm -mm. do we know who gets first ban i do not actually Phase. man it's actually crazy to see the records right here right these two are the two that made it so i think phase is gonna get the option and then that means navi's gonna be first ben navi should be first ben and phase will have final ben Hmm. 
I'm actually kind of curious. Bro, no, he's not even up here. That's crazy. But JL is Big Daddy JL. Look at him go. Interesting to see Wonderful not up there, but I imagine what playoffs he would be. If it was just playoffs. <laughs> Kerrigan's actually having an insane event. I know, I know he's minus 20, but like compared to where he's at normally this is my man is banging that's a lot of impact out of your igl more like if we were to look at bro navi's <laughs> look, look at this team rating out of navi bro they've played the most maps holy shit. just to kind of give you a comparison of what what i mean by kerrigan's having a great tournament when i you know when you see it like this trying to explain to people like this is a problem though there's a major start somewhat soon uh the show match starts in 20 minutes I'm an idiot, honestly, Sam. Look at it. Just like JL, wonderful showman with the occasional appearance from Bit. It's actually nuts that Bit and Kerrigan are basically on the same. <laughs> Emma's been slightly better in the playoffs, though, to be fair. Wait, can I do just playoffs? Probably some way, but too stupid. That's sure the master class that Alexi B's pulling off. No, I'm and I'm not trying to flame Alexi B stats. I was just trying to actually highlight one sometimes when you just show like a 1.0 stat line negative 20, you try to tell people, hey, this is good. They're like, what? And then you have to do this. <laughs> Although Alexi B minus 69. Nice. Nice. think twist feels some type of way with how phase is playing i mean yeah i'm sure he does but it's not like he wanted to leave you know i think that's i can't tell people that like talk about that recognize that or like truly understand the context of that situation crazy that mal's got completely bodied out of the tournament by g2 and there's still the top <laughs> Dude, that's how hard they won, dude. And then they just fucking flubbed in playoffs. Fuck, dude. That's actually brutal, dude. That is brutal. Mm -mm. Yeah, if anything, G2 kind of robbed us. G2 should have fallen on the sword to give Mao's confidence, and then we would have had Mao's Navi matchup banger. <laughs> Me salty about my pickums. That's just crazy out of JL. Let's see. Only player left in the playoffs or playoffs only only player that made it through right here chat with Brokey, but he's a rifler. That's actually so sick. And he did it over more maps. That's actually so sick. That's so sick. Mon poor modesty, dude. 
Poor modesty with modesty and friends. Actually fucking so annoying. That 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 fucking This team is a fucking mess. Dude, that's actually nuts. He really wasn't even dude, that's crazy. Let me just once again, you know, prove the IGL that's in the finals. And then people talk about like the individual level out of Hooksy being a problem. Bro, Nexa actually like this is such an issue, dude. It's it's literally just Oh man. David, thanks for the Twitch Primer. Thank you. And Dro, thanks for the 17 month Primer. Kid Mike, thanks for the 200 biddies. Yeah, I mean, Modesty was the best player this major, but he's not in the finals. And just telling you how it is, I mean, I've been telling y'all from the start, it's just been fucking G2 is just Modesty and friends right now. It's uh it's pretty frustrating to think about, dude. You see Kassad's sweet blaming again? I'm sure he's flaming Hooksy again. I'm sure I'm sure Wolfie thanks for 30 month resub, thank you. Loving the content. That taxes and Kassad and Yanko flaming Hooksy. I mean, it's it's just how it's going to always be, dude. You know, and, and my counterpoint to all of that is, you know, G2 is turning through IGLs like a fucking factory over there, not getting any results. They finally get results with Hooksy, and you're telling me he's part of the problem? Mm -mm. And their last IGL is in the final now. And their last IGL is in the final now and never lost to them. Yanko getting lumped in with Kassad is so crazy. Uh, I lump them in sometimes together just because Yanko a lot of times on the desk just goes really hard for Nico. So, I mean, and self-admittedly, I don't know if you've seen any of the skits, but they tap into it pretty hard, too. So it's kind of hard not to lump them in together when they're doing it themselves sometimes as a joke. You can definitely critique their veto being wacky. Oh, because the ancient? No, because not because the ancient. Wait, which one? Let's see. Let's take a look. See. I didn't go too far into it here. Hold on. I didn't go super far into it. Oh, probably because of Anubis, actually. I find it kind of baffling when you Losing in the semis and people still call for your head. Well, it's because they're expected to win trophies and the amount of money that G2 spends in this roster. You expect better results. Mm. 
No reason to not pick Inferno. I just feel like we're splitting hairs at this point, right? Or am I fucking coping? Okay. So Navi's 75% win rate to G2 71. Granted, I think G2 plays it a bit more. Uh, Navi's got more maps on it. So people are upset that they picked their most played map. Granted, lower win rate, but their most played map into Navi, who's also good on the map, but they're good on Inferno too. It's like, actually, I guess they play Inferno a lot less. Yeah, I guess they play Inferno a lot less, but it's not like it's, I don't know. Seven maps to four. Doesn't really feel like. I mean, I'm not saying picking Anubis is maybe the right move. I'm just saying. They did pick their most played map. The ancient game, not Anubis. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was confusing phases win rates in my head. I wasn't even looking in ancient. I was like, the Anubis one doesn't really baffle me. Ah, okay. No, yeah. That, that, yeah, that you could flame. I was kind of confused there for a second. <laughs> yeah, no, you definitely go Inferno there over Ancient. He did say they had a game plan, but I mean, yeah, sometimes you build something up in your head and it just, it's not that it's even a bad game plan. It's that if your team hasn't done it before, it's hard to just get everybody on the same page. My bad, my bad. I didn't understand for a second because we were just looking at Phase's Vito's chat and in my head, I was confusing the 80% win rate or I think it's 70% win rate that they have. At FL0M, how many gifted to watch the final on the finish? No, no, no. Thank you for the 333. Oh, shit. Wait, wait. Uh, I had to run a fat ad. Sorry, sorry for no warning. Sorry. This is going to fuck up the timings if I didn't just step in there. Yeah, they picked G2 picked a map that they're both shit on. <laughs> but that Navi plays a lot more of, so Yeah. I don't know. That's that sucks. Yeah, I, I wouldn't really try to defend that one. It probably makes more sense to go to Inferno there. I would expect a better individual level out of some of the players than what we saw yesterday on Ancient. First three rounds of Ancient were clinical by G2 that Jail Ace knocked them off kilter. Well, that's what I was just about to mention is G2 came out looking prepped. Like the first few rounds when you could tell like everything was like uh like a playbook right like everybody's checking notes and knows exactly what they're supposed to do and then they got deagle aced by a jl and i think their mental boomed mm -mm. honest question why why are igls always ranked lowest because you're not focused on your own game ever the IGL, you are constantly, it is, what can we do? What can, how can we win? And it's not that other people don't want to win as a team, but when you're playing and somebody else is talking and, and telling the team what to do, you can think about little avenues. You can think about your, your matchup, right? Like, I know this guy does this on this timing right now in the deep, my, my IGL just called the default. This guy's played like this two different times. I know he likes to play like this. I can exploit this weakness. The IGL cannot have any of those thoughts. It, there's no time. There's literally, it does not exist. 
there's your everything in every decision everything you're thinking about is constantly team oriented where other players while they also are still team oriented i'm not saying they don't contribute anything it it's smarter for them to think about things from their own individual perspective to min max their own individual performance to help the igl mm -mm. times the games uh show match in five Sounds made up. True. Made up just now. Kerrigan's currently the highest rated IGL. We were pulling up the stats earlier. Well, that's actually, I shouldn't say highest rated IGL. I think probably Shui's higher, but. <laughs> Source. I made it up. <laughs> Uh -uh. yeah let's see i mean like if you were to look at let's just say let's look at all the so who are the top four here phase g2 i can't even get navi in here i have to go fucking where's teams at to go over here to get navi because they fucking have such bad stats <laughs> here just so you guys can see like where most igls like the big boy igls <clears throat> apex is a 0.97 kerrigan's crushing in a 1.0 hooksy's on a 0.96 alexi b is at a 0.82 uh -uh. Just to kind of give you guys perspective on like, you know, where the stats are for most of the big boy IGLs. Chopper and Shui are probably going to be a bit higher. And so is Boomage. I'd guess. Not Chopper's on a 1.0. Maybe Shui is. No, Shui is 0.85. So far, highest rated IGL we've seen is pretty much 1.0, which is where Kerrigan's at right now. Let's see, maybe, maybe Boomich. Boomich is opping, right? He should have better stats. Just barely. Just fucking barely. Just fucking barely. <laughs> Try Major? Sure. Major had a good performance in the playoffs, but I think group stages might cuck him here. Never mind. Holy. My king. My king. What a performance out of him, dude. Mm -mm. What about Big Azair and IGLs of his breed? No, I mean, I definitely think players like Big Azair are truly special. Um, <laughs> I think, I think players like Big Azair are truly special. I do think that when you play on better teams, right, you do have to take a back seat though to certain players, right? Like more setups like this, right? Big Azair, I'm not saying he plays all-star positions, but you want to be setting up a lot like I'm going to kind of be toxic here, but Big Uzair probably is the best player on his team. So it doesn't make sense for him to be setting up others. Although he still does. That's actually the crazy thing. Let me look at flashes. He has the highest success rate in flashes for his team. He has the highest success rate and he has almost the highest time of opponents flash. He's IGL too? Yeah. 
Yeah, James up there, but he's an opera, and I know the way James plays, so I'm not even gonna look at his stats or use that as a. We're not even gonna go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> <sighs> let me grab uh let me grab my oats real quick while this is about to start behave yourselves real quick I just cut straight into this. All right, I'm here for it. We got a band, dude. There is no surrender and no mercy for the enemies. Victory is only a choice. Brave souls and variant hearts. Heed this call to arms. Valiant warriors of the virtual battlegrounds gather round and hear the call that beckons from the now it's time to enter the god mode. Hmm? God mode! Yeah, I'm on that god mode! God mode! What in the world is happening? Is that electronic on the guitar? Follow me, yeah, sector is clear. Uh, I don't really know, I never fear. When I pull up to your side, boy, you gotta well, hear. another incredible live music performance. Be optimistic, but I'm not feeling it. We're in this together, chat. Don't mute. <laughs> We're all in this together, chat. Guys, Electronic is literally playing the guitar, though. The guy in the red was Tico. See, but electronic on that. Dude, look at him. Tell me right now it's not electronic on the guitar. Do they need to... I, show me Guitar Man's face. with the live music performances beforehand yeah i thought we figured this out good luck for the play knows alright alright so
All right, that was. Should have just turned on the finish stream for music. You're not wrong. Thanks for 333. Thank you. Bro, chat, even if the song, even if I enjoyed the song live, music stuff like that just bro just let the crowd view it i don't need to see a stream fuck it i don't know about y'all but I try not to flame too hard though just because i imagine that's got to be really hard to do just like fucking like what paula does is incredibly difficult to do Orchestras. Orchestra would be like a live orchestra with a fucking Dreamhack level intro would go crazy. I'd be down for that. You know what I mean? Oh, Circa thanks for 34. Leviathan thanks for the fucking year. Efficacy thanks for 31. Gifted sub to Cam Bam, thank you. <laughs> Sicko. This round was so sick. only edits the finest videos chat which is why he does my youtube you know and by sicko gave up editing my content it's so bad that he gets Boy, other people to edit it for him now it is championship sunday damn bangs how we doing Well, this is beautiful, and you guys are absolutely amazing. Have you had fun over the last few days? Yeah. Now, to start with, we have our show match presented by Displate, and we get to see some players that you know and love going up against the only Danish team to make it deep in the major. You ready for some fun? I want you guys to give them the same love, the same cheers, and enjoy every moment of this just like you do all the other games. So let me hear you, Royal Arena. Are you ready? Yeah. Well, let's bring our first team onto the stage. They have done more than what the other full Danish rosters could do, and I'm sure they're very excited to meet all of you. It's ecstatic! Chicken thanks for two month reset, thank you. That's all people get mad that they have ecstatic up here with all the Danish players that they could pull. But I actually think I don't know, I'm really glad they got them up here. They were the furthest Danish team. And they're a bunch of the young guns. Oh, did they? I don't know. And their opponents here for the show match, there's certainly going to be some familiar faces that I'm sure you guys know and love. So please, a big round of applause, lots of cheers for the Danish squad. I actually didn't look who's on the Danish squad. Do they got, is it stacked? They found Kirby. 
Not a single Astralis player. Wow. Surely they asked them though, right? Well, let me have a little word with some of our guys. Ah, so people weren't mad at ecstatic. They were, they were mad at not being able to grab amazing. the other team. Now I know it's That's sad. That's actually, dude, Jesus to major, Christ. But you got a point to prove in this show match. You're going to show us some um, fun way to get it done on the stage. Yeah, of course. We're playing a, a quite a bad map, maybe. But uh, it's going to be fun. Okay, what map are we playing? Mirage. Oh, no. Do we like Mirage? Yeah, not, not a good choice in there. Paddy, were you the one who chose Mirage? Uh, team decision. Team decision. Okay, so we're blaming all of you. Second. We're blaming all of you. Yeah, all of us. You know, you, you think this crowd's going to be on your side more than theirs? Do you think you can make that happen? I hope so. Looks like an amazing crowd. They certainly are. Guys, are you going to be cheering for Ecstatic? I see some thumbs down over here. Cyclone, I didn't know you were joining us today. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Um, why did you come to, to coach on these boys? Uh, when I heard they were going to play Ecstatic, I was asked if I had some left or anti-strat. I said, I do. Oh, damn. OK, so you came in prepared. I like that coming in here. Mr. Cadian, it's always good to see you. Now, you're a man who knows how to get this crowd going. <laughs> so um, you think it's going to be using the crowd to your advantage here? I mean, whether you've been supporting Heroic or the very first Danish MVP of a major from Australia's cab, you give him some fucking love. <laughs> I'm, uh, Is that North I'm Superstar sure Caribbean? That, uh, they're going to be cheering for both, ah. but I have a feeling that, you know, we have oh a of Danish years. We have some of the older ones, and I think the crowd will be on our side. So you've mixed it up in here. We've got a bit of new and old. Kirby, how are you, my man? I'm doing amazing things. Now, this Royal Arena, we've seen it many times before, but you've never seen it like this, right? What do you think? All I can say is uh, Denmark is the home of Counter-Strike, and I'm uh, sure the crowd will show that today. Right, boys? That is certainly what it's all about. Well, guys, oh, okay. Kadian's always got some extra words. <laughs> I had a small chat with Markus, and oh, he no. said that um, he was pretty sure we could make this arena sing the Danish national anthem. So would you guys help me do that? Yeah. I'll try to start. My, my singing career is probably going to end right about now, but if I start it, you guys will help me, okay? So it goes, da And everyone stand up! <laughs> All the non-Danish people like, well... Impressive Royal Arena. Thank why does Kadian's hair look so different? Idea, You're worried about Kadian's hair right now? Go take your seat. I'm wondering Danish why he hasn't started a musical career. Go and get We're not the ready same. Because we've got two phenomenal casters to take you through this game and have so much fun with all of you. It's Henry G and Anders. Well, thank you so better than much, the band? Oh, come on, Henry. dude. We're going to get into come it on. here. We're warming up for the grand final that's going to be happening a little bit later. How are come you on. feeling on this fine evening? I'm feeling great, Anders. The good news for this arena is that Denmark can't lose. You've got Team Denmark versus the full yes. team of Danes on Ecstatic as well. I'm not sure what to expect. I'm not too happy about the map selection, though, the fact we're getting Mirage. How do you feel about that? Yeah, there are, you pull train in there somewhere. Like, let's get something train, a little bit more some funky. Dust too. That would have been great. Yeah. Uh, so it looks like uh, Ecstatic. 
Oh, they, they can't really turn up and play their full game, can they? They have to have a bit Thank of Thank God they're not playing they Dusty, holy lose. shit. So it's uh, kind of a losing situation for them, whatever happens. I feel like the team that's winning is going to be allowed to have fun, but if they start losing, they're going to everyone's going to start taking it seriously. I what, think it's in their DNA. What do you think the match is going to be? Are we going to see the shotguns, I honestly Zeus's? just yeah, fucking sure sweat. There are going to be Seuss's. Because yeah. yeah. everybody, everybody like, goes through different well, phases of the show match. Just fucking sweat, dude. Give me a match. As a day in yourself, you've got to kind of put your money where your mouth I do. It's tricky. I've got to say, I fell in love a little bit with Ecstatic throughout the tournament. They made it much deeper than everyone expected. So oh, you're still I in bed? wanted to be able to okay, decide, well, but, you know, watching KD on the stage, heard. that's also something that I think everyone was hoping for. So it's it's a bit of a toss up right now. If I had to make a choice, I probably would be on the Ecstatic side. I just yeah, think what they did here was very impressive. That is fair enough. We'll run you through uh, Team Denmark as well. Over here, we've got KD and uh, Sucker. Uh, Krizen, Altex, and Kiabi. We've got KD and Kiabi is there. The household names, They're suppose, fully Danish. Trying to represent they were the, actually Denmark. The I would have liked to have seen a few other legends in there. Maybe the singular Australia's Danish team to make it the furthest one, but, uh, in the major. Curiously absent, I must yeah, say. No that is suspicious, you know? Kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, it is a shame, but uh, I would have liked that. But we've got some young they guns They did get here, knocked out in the Olympic stage, but, but still, it was pretty insane run from them. Show match here, Rand. There's one for the ages. Team Denmark versus a full Danish team. A team that is also Team Denmark, Kevin, yeah. you would say. So, yeah, we've rigged it in a way so that somehow, some way, there is going to be some sort of <laughs> Danish victory happening on the stage, and I can appreciate that. Well, I think the pistol round is going to set the tone. You've got Cyclone behind them as well, yeah. just backing them up, of course. Uh, he strats. Yeah, I'm not really sure what you could do. I'd, I'd like to see something just really aggressive here. Let's get us get five sets of jewelries. Let's just get in there. The way oh, they're yeah. players missing makes me think they're going to come in at halftime. The map. I think that's going to be the best way to sabotage the efforts That'd be cool. Oh my god, the cat this place is incredible. He's a showman. He just okay. got he is. This is good ad placement, chat. This is working. And uh, I think he can uh, get a few rounds here. No, no, like this is working. Ready to go. Now I'm really We're getting into this. In. Bro, if they yeah, switch out more of the displays mid game, Ladies imagine that actually make me so happy. For a show match. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't hear you. I said, are you ready for a show match? Let's get into it, Anders. It's ecstatic versus the Danish squad here on Mirage. Did the and fucking Autobots just attack? A knife round, presumably. Well, that's, an ex that's exciting. We didn't know that was going to happen. Well, One know. of the wacky features of this show match, we we'll have go, a knife round. We'll go with it. We'll just roll with it as it comes along here. Looks like they are trying to almost set up a run boost in the Well, oh, they want a 1v1? Round. They're already looking a little bit cagey, luring them into the back alley where the knives are coming out. Some cold Danish steel here coming out towards springtime, and it's ecstatic <laughs> coming yes. up with the win. Doesn't make sense. Is there a skin craft that I've seen in the major that I really like? Yeah, Frozen's AK is really good. So. Yeah, well, I would highly recommend decide, anybody I'd making that craft. I'm interested to see what kind of mindset ecstatic bring to the table today, Anders. Are they going to be moving themselves and not dropping a single round? Will they have some fun? Will they style on them with the fun guns? Funny motherfucker saying Frozen AK. What? It's a good looking AK, dude. Yeah, What's wrong with that? MP5, but you actually saw that throughout the, the, the major yeah, so far. Yeah, actually, won a couple of games, didn't Very unpopular opinion. I usually am not. Very impressed by most of the crafts. They're just expensive. The show matches for you know, get everyone warmed up. I'm so impressed that so many people have shown up. Not trying to be a hipster. I just like a lot of people just take expensive skins and stickers and just slap them on there, and they're like, wow. Like it's it's like the equivalent of like people with like too much money that just like you know wrap gold and everything. Starting on the CT side and the You know what I mean? Like I'm not saying I want to see fucking sand dudes, but they're not crafts. They're just people. Four, slapping four expensive shit on more expensive Zeus's, shit. And that's on the ecstatic set. Okay, well, we know what kind I of I live in Vegas. I know what it there's looks there's like. I see it all the time. Bit of fun, yes. <laughs> and let's see if it works Here we out have your gold I've wrapped fucking like ice cream, cream or something like fucking... Oh, I've seen a couple of shots like that. Yeah, that whatever. ...from Salazar to open things up. Yeah, what a shot that was to begin with. But look at the return. They're not playing around. Oh! Oh! oh, oh can you there you go. Okay. Oh goes okay. Down. It's just all text left Hell alone. Yeah. Fighting for his life. They're coming for him with Molotovs, with stun guns. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Queen X. He'll all save right. the day. You can see they want to have a bit of fun, but they're still hitting some ungodly shots out there. Very close in the end, it will be ecstatic to pick up the pistol. The incendiary Zeus combo, we actually saw the Zeus kill come through towards the window as well. And uh, presumably a force fight coming in next. What a shot that was to set the tone. Yeah. Zeus. 
Delivering on all I will runs. say, I think it's cool Salazar that Zippo hooks up his players <laughs> on ecstatic with like smashing combos and shit. Perfect. I think that's cool. Here we go then. I'm assuming a force, but they're taking the full eco. Very conservative approach. And the fun guns are out. We've got Swag 7s, P90s, auto shotguns, and the Negev in the hands of Queenix. Here's the Swag 7 to kick things off. It's struggling as the Glock. Oh my god. Oh, but look at this. Drop down, drop Queenix. down. Do it, do it. Yeah! Oh dear! Planning and accuracy, baby, we love that. The day. It's the Wild West out there right now. The gunslinger, Kraken, doing everything he can, but uh, no damage really Oh, look inflicted. at the clipping. I think the Glocks might come out on top here. The Zeus, it's sneaking in from Connector. Here comes Katie with the Edison <laughs> Medicine. Takes another one down with the Zeus. And now we've actually got a three on two situation. Ecstatic not having so much fun anymore as another Glock kill comes oh through. We're down to God. a one versus one. Krizen. He's recovered Kyle, thanks so for the 123 months. Here's for your you beautiful oh, motherfucker. Yeah. Thank you, dude. Caster, oh, he's really Hope you've been good, Kyle. That's an old 123 yeah. months? That's like almost, it's on the almost two years, so. right? Yeah, I actually don't know. I'll be honest, but I, I assume it would. There it is. Yes, oh. confirms. Damn, the production is... Oh, that, 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 that was actually pretty sick. How, how did they know? I, we didn't plan that. All right. Well, now it's a little bit more serious. Lunatic with the five gifts and subs. Nice fucking Lily, brother. Thank you. Prison. Looks like he wants to try and plant the bomb. Yeah, that would be nice. Why not? He hasn't reloaded the P90. Though. He's got 15 bullets in there. That could be an issue. Go back to haunt him. He can have it up to 50, of course, in that particular SMG. And here we go. Not really under the P90 takes all the joy out of it. The fun of the P90 is to run and gun and never have to reload. So surely get the remaining bullets in here. We've got the auto shotgun at medium range. He's not quite sure. Is it going to be the P90? Where's my shoe? The knife. Now they're dancing a little bit. You can tell that it's already intensified here in the show match. Oh, he's just walked inside. Oh, my so God. so ridiculous. Dipping in the smoke. Yeah, now it's panic. Oh, he got us. Is that a gift? to find him anyway. I mean, you can blow open the smoke, but he doesn't have the kit, so what does it really matter? It looks it's... like the Danish squad have found a way to win the round. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, I don't think he oh has it, but he dear, stayed there. Oh dear, it's a full eco victory for the Danish mm. squad. The Glocks prevail. The Great third of the gifts is to Goji, thank the you. The diminishing returns there doesn't really work out for them whatsoever. You can see it all kicked off with the Max <laughs> 7 towards the underpass. I like the maneuver here from Queen X. Careful, dude, but you're in enemy territory. Katie manages to get yet another Zeus kill here. And yeah, it doesn't get much more exciting than that, Andrew. There's a one versus one. The DV is not possible without the kip. We get into the action once again. We're seeing more Nova shotguns, a Famous, a couple of Max 7s in the mix as well. But Danish squad, they're not messing around. They've got the AK-47s in hand. Outtakes looking to put on a bit of an aim clinic here today. First shot rings out towards the A-bomb site. This Swag 7, though. Bit of an issue for him as he does take minimal damage. Oh, damn. The okay, Altex. Okay. And that's the A-bomb site. Completely breached. Some of the youngsters out here really looking to prove themselves at the big stage. Not necessarily messing around, although I say that as Christian has picked up uh, Bright. <laughs> yeah, they're all looking Nova to prove. Shotgun. They're, they're oh, proving like something right that. now with these Novas. Let me Five see. Five on two. The Danish squad looking to what change the fuck some is rounds duck out here. with that signature shaky aim. Bringing it out for another headshot as we've got Queenix left with the Max 7. And we're towards the B-bomb site. As we plant the bomb in A, it looks like the Danish squad are starting to build some momentum here. You would know that was Kevin, even kid, if you man. stripped the entire HUD. Somehow, there's something about the way that he plays with the aim there. We've always been able to oh, tell. They go for the oh. knife, Anders. Yeah. They want the knife kill, and they don't fancy it. Doesn't work out. It will be the victory for the Danish squad, but... Uh, He'd run out of bullets. They could have our shells, I guess. They could have actually knifed him, but he ran out. Well, he's not wrong. It has been a good major. I think we can all agree on that. A great way to kick off. Counter-Strike 2, you guys have been amazing. Thank you for showing up in your thousands each and every day. Especially for the show match as well. We've got a full house here, Anders. It's unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. No, typically people trickle in, but all the way to the ceiling of the building here, we've got people ready for the war that's still to come. Not of HE's picked up on the CT side, I'm noticing. Let's go, baby. Brush, good old brush. Audius. Looking to Zeus. That is a sucker. That mine. And that's enough to at least get the kill, but you know what? How many Zeus's are on the board right now? One more. On the other side, they're showing up now a little bit late to the party and running for the flames. It's not going to be anywhere near good enough. Queenix manning the cash register, but only good for the one kill. Trying to find it out here with the AK, but my god, the Danish squad, they're kind of running over them right now. 
doing too much of a good job. <laughs> well, that's... Yeah, calm down, one guys. One of the rounds that could come back to horns ecstatic here. <laughs> a clean one for the Danish squad, Anders. The Bro, rush. that fake mustache literally... It's a tactic. I, I, time at, at that angle, looked a bit Sidious. sus. Three to one. And you can see the fun gun starting to... Yes, <laughs> I've noticed that. ...disappear now. They realize, okay, don't actually want to lose to this team. So I uh, might actually have to start trying, unfortunately. There's one left. There's an MP5. I couldn't passing. see the texture to I it, like so it looked a little it rough. Goes in the show yeah, matches. Exactly. <laughs> Everyone's having a great time. Until you start losing. And the thing is, though, they're competitive players, right? Like, it's built into you. You're, 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 that's that's why you've become a professional player to some, yeah, some extent, right? That's why I think show matches, to, to buy some tasers, get some R8s, so equip the fun guns, but of. just sweat also. Even if, uh, people, even if not much is on the line. Well, it all it takes is one guy to ruin it. Suddenly been uh, a shift in the tone. You can see people are starting to walk around. The rifle is deployed. No one wants to lose. We've got set pieces. <laughs> Kadian. He knows he's got him on the ropes here. As Chris and open, I will say I, I, that's what I appreciate about the blast show matches. In towards our palace yield, not really trying to flame PGL or anything. Just go, blast kind of found out a decent way to do it with all the different, like, like stupid things now. they do during and the show the match. They smoke the out the players, right? They assume there it is. Fuck up their sensitivity. Blanked as well. He's probably dead. It's the MP5 as well. You know what I mean? You gotta get them out of their comfort zone, zone otherwise it just slowly turns into a more sweaty, a sweaty game. Now. Well, that's a hell of a grenade. Queen X down to 57 points of health. They've still got information, but the bomb has been scooped up. 30 seconds remaining. I assume it's an A finish here. We've got a bit is of a love planting play and defusing. Yeah, dude, that was wild. What are we waiting for? You know what's crazy is that was that's one of my most popular fucking YouTube shorts of people just in comments talking about how shit CS2 is. Seriously? Come on, I did. It wasn't even intentional rage raid, it was so obviously a show match, and it's gone from the People were talking about how broken the game is and how shit Counter Strike 2 is, and yeah, well it made the YouTube algorithm go per itself. Well, I mean for them it is, I suppose, in a way, you know. Uh, right. It's the only chance they're going to get here to play in front of the home crowd. So we like unintentionally to put on a bad performance. Uploaded rage bait. Yeah, <laughs> we try so hard right not to do shit like that. Into a serious we did it game. Anyway. Phoenix will at least explore his options, trying to keep some hope and dreams alive in <laughs> static, and he has not got a kit. So the knife kill is out. <laughs> well, if you take it down, it's the grenade. Nice work from Kiabi. You go four to one. The Danish squad starts to run away with Bro, the Kyle. You know what I've realized as well, Henry? It's actually so unbelievable. Perks, thanks for the 18-month reset. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you. playing seriously because, you know, you're not going to look bad if you lose, but ecstatic, you will this. say... This is a lose-lose situation for ecstatic. <laughs> you try too hard and run away your strats, everyone's going to like, oh, you're ruining the, the show exactly. for everyone. But if you end up losing as well, like, that's not exactly a good look either. You know there's going to be at least a couple of idiots on the incendiary who will say, oh, ecstatic losing to a mixed no, team. I, I can't, can't believe you. kind of welcome it. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> you agreed to this, boys. And, yeah, the OP rush. It could actually work out quite nicely. They're up against a scout and a pistol here. That'd be a hell of a shot from Queenix. He hits absolutely nothing, and it's the Zeus. <laughs> oh, the oh, the oh, Zeus entry, Zeus entry. Oh. Can't nail the shot. Saka certainly will. He gets himself a double, and that should be it. Danish squad, unless they fall to the Desert Eagle, they'll be absolutely fine here, and it's the three versus two. Smoke down towards Jack, Shaw. Jackie, thanks for the 22-month reset. Thank you. Altex is up to. Oh, does oh. The stab actually connect, I believe. Yes, it did. Okay. Well, charging the bomb side with a You know, somebody I mean, asked me earlier if there's any crafts that I thought were cool, but did you guys see any I actual throws. crafts Still, that were cool? Not, the creek, seeing not the light just expensive stickers CS2 slapped on Kennedy expensive guns. The crowd up a little bit. They're winning mm. in, a, in a big way. I mean, yeah. Rain's got the fab stickers, yeah. The scouts, the Desert Eagles wasn't enough to shut down that B rush, understandably so. Ecstatic like, probably thinking now, okay. We, we he's got, a, he's got it on the AK and on his USP, happen. right? They're not going to live it down. Yeah, I don't think he will. Let's see if the NBA, yeah, here come the M4s. There's still a little bit of fun being had. Queenix on the, the infamous Negev. We'll see whether that's going to be enough. For Miss you see what I mean, though? As soon as I tell you guys, like, again, eliminate all the, the crafts with just expensive the stickers on them. Salazar. Not your best work. <laughs> like, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, missing a couple you of shots I mean, here now. now. Here come the Molotovs to follow him. There's like him nothing. Back in towards the window room. Nautigas. There's a wild He's Lotus trying, with five fucking 2014 cannon quite extinguished. Worth $10 right. billion. Dollars. <laughs> the long range shotgun can be difficult to deal with here. Ow. I don't think there's much of a chance for Nautigas. He's going to be painted into a corner. The knives are out. They're hunting him. They smell blood in the water. 
He's trying to scramble, and he's actually got himself in a, a lot of expensive stickers on guns that did so. It's hard. It's always hard. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying they're all ugly. I just, yeah. Yeah, takes care of him. Light work for the Danish squad. Oh, they're laughing their way through this at the moment. You Hades can just had tell the Polish flag craft the with the Glock and the Apple. Was that Hades? Oh, or I thought that was Dihar. Did they both do it? Side. Half of them trying to play somewhat seriously. Half of them the more jokey weapons on the server. So, you know, maybe they need to... In the game, I usually just see racial slurs. Here, you know, ah, the Counter-Strike class. fun guns or switch gears if you still can. What's your favorite fun gun, Anders? What would you be bringing out on this show match if you were playing for the Danish squad? No question, it would be the R8. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's I'm fair enough. I'm a big fan of the revolver. You're a bit of a gunslinger yourself, but yeah. Altex, he continues to demolish the A-bomb tie here. Let's see if the revolver like can do anything about it. trying to have a good time. Meanwhile, Put fucking... Creek, <laughs> getting the job done. I know, it's got himself a five Poor guys. Three. This is for seven rounds, Kadian. Tap, tap, tapping away. It's enough for one more. The shotgun will prevail in the end. As Nodius will have actually made it awesome further awesome in the major than the other guys. The so, like, they don't, you know, they're just kind of chilling. Can he do anything about it? Running out of shells here. They know it as well. They're coming for you. This there we go. Oh, will oh. not save him. We go seven to one. The Danish squad is absolutely butchering them out there. I feel like they're picking the most offensive way to win this as well. They start the round playing somewhat seriously, then when it's down to the final match, is going to be Mythic versus 2019 Liquid, right? Christ. You know what's crazy is I think Mythic did play 2019 Liquid. As painful as it could be. Absolute bastards. It's probably somewhere in my YouTube. <laughs> Bloody bastards. Pretty sure yeah, we did. I agree. Right, come on, Ecstatic. We do need you to get some rounds. We here. played a version no of it for sure because I'm in an Elise highlight movie. We've got, a, we've got at least one R8 in this round for all techs. I appreciate that. Okay. This is Henry. This is if you ever want to see me get basically full really blind like for okay, 20 Let's seconds in one of the rounds in Mid Mirage, it's really good. And actually start winning. There we go. That's more like it. A Zeus! Oh, no! It falls off. Oh, my the God. There we go. There we Straight go. Straight to the dome of Patty. Just now, to look like they were now we're getting in there. This round, the M4. Spraying towards the ramp, it's enough for one, but number Whoa. two versus one. Sucker, 15 years old, and dominating, ecstatic, as he finds his eighth round. We actually got the R8 kill, it was Canadian. Nice. Wow, yeah. Hadn't forgotten the face of his father, Henry. Aiming with his eye and with his mind shooting, it's great. Reciting the gunslinger's creed. It's a bit of a uh, close range fight here. I've never seen this, this combination. Seuss into Ooh. eye. What an absolute madman. You love to see it. Nice fancy footwork with this Mac 10 as well. Double headshot, and that's the round where Ecstatic were trying. Now they're kind of into the territory of like, okay, trying didn't work. Let's uh, maybe look like we're having fun again. <laughs> Back to the the shotguns, the P90s, the Negev, and a couple <laughs> of Deagles here. We do need to see some rounds from We Ecstatic. tried for one round, fuck this. It's a little bit worrying for them. The scout of Altex though, spots one towards the ladder room. Bit of a default here from the Danish squad. Currently up eight to one. Round number 10. This is not so the final. No, this is actually the final. Yeah. Some success here. That shotgun surely gets Winner take all. Best of one here. Finally, ecstatic trying to answer back. Even a deagle connecting. You might not oh, like right, it, but this is actually what top tier Counter Strike looks like now. Finally, ecstatic been stuck on one round the whole time. Prison. Oh my oh, no. God. Oh. He's getting another one. A headshot <laughs> mid air to bring down Patty, and it's back from a two versus five into a two versus two. What just happened in the middle? I have no idea. Never seen anything like it. The RA doing some serious work, and the B bomb site is wide open. Flashbang. Well, it's about to be deployed here, but they've got to respect the smoke, at least for now. Myron, in what guns. world are you separating so some of those groups? Hoping to <laughs> shut down the AWP. Motherfuckers be self reporting out here. We've got the scouts. In a two versus one clutch. Speaking of two, we've got two on the board uh, now for shit. Ecstatic. They needed that round, Anders, and they convert it. And they've recovered a couple of AWPs as well. So a double orb set up to salvage what was looking like a disastrous first half. Uh, well, the 106 by much. 3 sub, welcome to back. Fan, Beautiful, appreciate you, man. Scenarios, it typically is going to be easier to play on the team Happy side. Happy just run all five players somewhere and have a bit of a field day. So I wouldn't be surprised if Ecstatic might have a little bit more fun in the second half themselves. But Crescent really coming up with some excellent shots so far in the show, man. You've got to say. You've got to say. A triple, make it a quadruple orb setup. Oh, he's Five timing snipers. It. Dude, imagine he hit that. That'd be sick. That'd be sick. Oh, 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 Colts oh my God. A jumping scout. <laughs> Unreal. I've never seen this before. Yeah, bit of a throwback. That's we a major remember special. That, yeah, we all remember that position. 
Yeah. Less on the line this time, but you still... <laughs> yeah, sli slightly less. A little bit less. I don't think anything's on the line. Nothing, in fact. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing actually on the line in this particular match, but... Salazar burning away. Kiabi showing the world he's still got it. The kid can still aim. The youngest major MVP the world has ever seen, Anders. Older now. Happens to the best of us, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stay like Tries that forever. Might. And in towards the beat bombs that we go once again. This time it looks like Kadian can get the plan down. He loves a clutch, especially on Mirage. And he's got his weapon of choice as well. A scout, I beg your pardon. Here, that will do as he does find equalizing frag as we get thrust into a two-on-two -two situation. Queenix on the retake here. You can see no one's only messing around now. They want to win this round, hands down. As uh, the first frag will be found, it's going to be advantage Danish squad. He wants to suit him at the end again. Nothing if not a showman, KD. All right. Well. Now he's sneaking through. Tapped up. Here comes the suit. There we go. Oh. Another thrilling show match. Thousand volts. Straight to the spine. Kadian's loving it. Give him some. Mm. Give him some attention. <laughs> you were hoping Spirit made it for the story. I mean, Bay's not being bad though. The main character of Countless Rock Anders. <laughs> he is. Getting it done. Doing what he <laughs> does best. Even when he can't qualify for the major, he still makes it here somehow. Oh, look at that. There's a throwback. The projection is off the charts today. What are they doing in there? They've got everything. <laughs> they're, they're trying as well. Everyone's yeah, trying. They are actually trying, honey. Okay, now, nice. That's what I wanted to see. With an auto cipher? Oh, auto yeah, nice. Neg edges and shotguns. My kind of Counter Strike game is Kiabi. Brings it back to a three on three. We've got aggression towards top of middle, but it's literally playing to renew his contract with the Salazar, PC. Queen X with difficult round ahead of them, but the auto sniper didn't make much of an appearance this major. Didn't really see anyone step up with it. No. It's been a real long time in the past. I mean, yeah, it, had, it had certain maps, train being one of them, train. funny enough. Yeah. And that was about it, but it, it certainly, I think, in the future, might have a place in Counter Strike. That's neither as here nor there. We've got Salazar and, waiting, patience towards you. Navi, I, I, I fucking hope so. so. What do you mean? Of course it does. If ever I've seen one, the reason the show match exists retake. is to build viewership for the, the final. final round. Bombs ticking at some pace here. It's up the Crimson. Flash He's going to Molotov it if he just Molotovs it. it is, it's the entire the existence is here, so that way they're not just cold starting into a final. Ahead, oh, don't knife each other. That would be a really bad way to go, but... Well, it's not working. Well, late. considering I started this stream and the countdown timer the had it. around oh, 7,000 viewers, let's Anders see how many it has now for show match. Let's see. Yeah. A lot of work out there. Very important last round. Some of you guys are too stressed. 50,000. Yeah, no, that'll one. probably It'll help it get revved itself. up. More than likely get. There's the Negev strap. We were all waiting for it. Finally, it's deployed. Mm -hmm. And a glorious Tom, do you want train as back? well. Listen, I'm down for train back if they actually like... It's not like a monkeys and typewriters. Change it. I caught this strap. You did say I did As somebody, say a professional farmer on train, I farmed many crops on like train. That a few times. This has been a, a few world I enjoyed the map, but as we see it was undeniably Russia horrible for the side. majority we of the player base. Him. Oh, there's another <laughs> one. <laughs> All right, Altex trying, but not succeeding. The Duelies have the bombs. They're not planning the bomb. They don't care. Salazar says, who gives a damn about the bomb plant? They've changed the meta of Counter-Strike. They've given up on T and CT sides. They're just playing for the kills. I can respect it. Round the world, they've run all the way through the B bomb side, through the middle, and now finally planting the bomb on the A bomb side. Don't know if I've ever seen anything like it. Here come some more Seuss kills potentially. Kebby. Oh, he's too far away. No one helped. Dude has never learned it. They should no, have it's round. just an should. impossible map to learn truly we'll like without playing the team. Salazar doing what he can and he's doing significant damage here, but it is not going to be quite enough. Because there's it's no reason close. to. Who wants to play a map where you have to learn lineups if you're solo queuing all the like time just to try to throw one smoke you're, you're looking? Like you're standing on a fucking team. manhole it's cover looking at the sun slightly to the right. Seen him on the stage. I'm sure he's trying to make the most of it. As the you have to throw all the smokes from outside end. main. You can't throw a lot of things on the run, which just makes it not approachable for the vast majority of players. And we know that's a buy. That is true. There is a real chance. They come fighting back. The vast majority of players don't play that kind of Counter-Strike, and that's okay. Sure. That's, that's not a bad thing. The iceberg. 
Some SMGs will be brought to the party. There's the MP5. You gotta hope so. And just because you guys that might be in here that know some of the names feel better than others for that, you guys still fucking throw them at all the wrong times and it doesn't actually have any use because you're just throwing one smoke anyway, so grow up. It's an important game for everyone. Every time I gotta fucking play a face and pug, I gotta deal with one guy that learned this one smoke and he throws it every round for no fucking apparent reason. you can see the utility man of no gun who hold the back lines and we have actually got an M4 here, ready and waiting. Oh, the Danish shit. squad looking to pretty much confirm the victory if they can defend this B push. Not going to be oh, enough. Shit. Kiabi, though. Are we going to see that shaky aim? It's not talking about me on street. Well, I'm just saying, okay. like, that was his quality just because you guys learn top mid smoke on Mirage after four years Should of playing, you like, don't get years. an ego about it. It's weird. All right, bomb's been planted. Let's see what extent we've got to work in the after plant here. Deep on the Galil towards the bench position. Oh, MP5 at the edge of the smoke. It couldn't really get any more sneaky than that. Can't we never even know what hit him. Nordia is definitely role playing this round as a secret agent. Gonna only be the one kill for him as a Seuss will come out and take him down. But I think again, out of time almost in the round. Ecstatic finally picking up another round. Window right. Mirage oh, smoke that, every that round, but slow smoke. Christ. <laughs> Significantly. I got window. Slapped him with the gauntlet, didn't he? That's almost better than winning the pistol at this Bro, stage. We're static we're and bring it all the I way back. And like we said, that, that does start the conversation of overtime as well, Anders, which is what Dude, we're, we're here for. Dude, we're being honest. I'm top mid. I was personally hoping for a tied game at the end, Henry, uh, just to really shit. underscore this. I know the you like that. matches when they go 12-12. We don't have time for no, overtime. I'm back to so train. It's like, you know... That's the, that's the best possible Oh, hey, Chad, I still haven't updated my stream deck. That was my Windows noise. But everyone wins. That's exactly right. No, but like, yeah, you know, it requires coordination. Okay, you know, it's just hard for the vast majority of players. And... Got the deagle and... oh, Especially no. when you're just talking Can't about like matchmaking as a whole. Oh, he tried to take absolutely everything there. Didn't want the double kill. Looking for that triple. Zeus may be able to find something. Yeah, call him KD Kant. KD Kant. Oh, he's going to hate that, Anders. Train, where I'm actively it's on A, getting flashed from my teammate in T-Spot. I don't know if you this, figured it out this yet, is, This is his dream to play here. It's true. We made it happen. And Ecstatic are back online. I'm taking your shit, you second rate AK streamer. Listen here, it's still running the ads just fine, which is all I use it for, so grow up. Now we're going to have to take an eco here. No two ways about it. The Danish Actually, squad. though, that is literally all I use They're it looking for. Looking weak, starting to shrink out there. We don't use slides or scenes around here. We just simply and move the webcam and the turn lead. off the fucking capture Slowly card. Grow up. In front of them, running out of money. The pressure is starting to build. Maybe they could take a tactical timeout, Henry, and bring Cyclone into the mix. He did say he had anti-strats, so you know some expectations on his part. You know his reputation as a coach. It could be on the line for this one. He might get fired if he doesn't. He might win. get fired. Yeah, that's true. I didn't consider that angle, but if he does lose this match, he might get fired as yeah, a coach. Mouse, Mouse might just say that's it. Yeah, that's, this is not this is not good enough. You've tarnished the brand, and we don't know we no longer want you. Damn. <laughs> tarnished the um, brand. Well, there it is. The B side's open. I think this round's already over. Once that gets planted, courtesy of... Sometimes uh, the actual finals get we'll, played. We'll be done. In an hour. Oh, adding insult to injury. That MP5 showing it is a viable gun in top-level Counter-Strike. True. Oh, the shoes no, Ben is heavy. unironically going to be using the MP5 to the today. flames in the window, sucker. He gets a stab in, but it's not enough. He was in the corner. What some in the past, Henry, have described as a despicable position to be in. Are instant really Mirage is. window smokes worth learning for MM? Hell yeah, they are. So, That's probably one of the most useful a things you can rounds. learn because your teammates Ecstatic are going to run out mid and just die to the opera anyway so this way you might be able to prevent them from dying now it's right? ak's and mp5s you have to no, those, those like they early smokes like if you get their smokes like that as well who's not fragging but on the no i mean they Ecstatic. can still die i'm not saying it's for sure but at yes. least you the shot your shot you know what i mean you did your part and he's not allow him to have the the top position surely not that's yeah, the, the instant smokes Denmark. are the best because yeah. you don't, it the, doesn't the require any coordination. You just sad. throw it and then you might just save your teammate from being a fucking idiot. Here. No, he's putting on quite a show. Yeah, all of us here. Oh, nice. Oh, Catch you in mid air. Yeah, that's you. You're right. There's of that, less of that shakiness happening that we used to see. He's back ready for the next major. And a three versus two. Danish squad, they need this round. Their money is a real issue. Kiabi with the hat trick. Nice work with that. Let's go on for an hour. Yeah, I think if they said if everybody enjoys it so much, we're going to make the show match a best of five instead of a best of one. Danish squad 
One round away from map point here. I can't believe this would be the result. No one had saw this coming, Anders. The Danish squad, no one believed in them. No one thought they'd be able to touch ecstatic in this sort of matchup, especially on Mirage. Yeah, they've turned up in a way that no one was expecting, really. I mean... Oh, okay. The first appearance of the I sword of shotgun. That, that is a rarity. Only really a handful of pro players throughout the history of Counter The arena is packed for some matches. It's pretty sick. Probably JW is responsible for about 90% of the pro on kills. Co cobblestone. Oh, fun yeah. cosplay. Down. Yeah, that's the, he actually used it more often than not. It was bizarre. But uh, we might not get a I don't know why they don't at least use a workshop map for this kind of shit. Though, doing some serious like, get some biome there. in here, dude. Get him on, track, get him on Thera. Significant damage inflicted. And the Zeus to close things out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's like, bro, you literally picked fucking Mirage. In a terrible position now. They've got two thousand dollars to keep the dream alive. Not so fun anymore, is it? No, only Nodios is. He, he woke up to the reality. Okay, on some real shit, I thought that was Harry for just a moment. Team, they're still shuffling around with random. Like weapons. immediately, I recognized it wasn't, but for just a moment, I think got the an hair. R8 out on Queenix. I appreciate that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this could be the final round. If the Danish squad managed to pull this one off, it's one of players the biggest make, upsets we've ever seen. No, no, seen the map, the they can't Arena. make it fun for the audience. Yes, they the can. They have no the idea what's we'll happening. It's incredible. Kick things off here, pushing up the underpass. They have no idea. First kill is found. Lost for so many timings and, and crazy shit to, to happen. It's the complete opposite. The Max 10s trying to inflict some damage here. The Zeus! <laughs> Unbelievable! Yeah, Dang, he got him. That kill. He got him midair. That jumping Zeus. Friendly reminder, chat. For those of you that don't know, because people match. fuck this it's up all the time in my games, the Zeus is not accurate midair. Ever. Squad looking to defeat the other in fact, also it's Danish super squad. inaccurate. It so, like, that was actually so rare that he killed oh, him like that. Canadian, come on now. Oh, no. Mutiny. That's very... Very disrespectful. The kingdom is falling apart. Henry's cracked right down the middle. We do not want to see any more team frags here. Hey, pull up. Map Close proficiency to pull off stunts? Like Absolutely not. This is not. You are Henry not in a fucking vehicle. Some noise the Danish squad. It is still Counter Strike. Down at static 13 to 6. And what can only be described as a show match. We the idea that I can't do somebody race. because I haven't played With the map the before or do something tens. stupid is sword off absolutely all just snipers. not right at but all. But it wasn't enough. Ecstatic only finds six. Styled on by the main character. And honestly, Blast has proven that. Is Blast has put him on weird maps all the time. It's great content. With the vintage performance really showing up. And yeah, rolling back I have the actual yeah, evidence. They still got it? Oh, absolutely. With a nice controlled cross mm. app, Kiabi posts 23 kills. When Bitstorm buys means, an MP5 and throws a top mid throw, he's a god and praises revolutionary. When I do it, my streamer yells no at me to grow up and stop being a delusional noob. It, you can tell. Some hugs, some awkward high fives. To be fair, Bit Nobody fell off really real hard. Stop watching Bit. This is explaining a lot. It's the worst feeling. Oh, so like a, big, a mix of everything. It's really the worst that can happen. Bit's having well, like an identity crisis, squad. you know? Make some noise. Some young guns out there. Yeah, big moment. This one makes for 37 months recent, thank you. Front. Here we go. An old classic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you have been amazing. Thank you so much for joining us for the show match. There's only one thing left to do. We'll throw it down to the big man, James Banks, with a winner's interview. <laughs> winner's you, you interview. You can't run away after you just had that fun out there. Did you enjoy this sucker? Yeah, it was really a special uh, event for us. And it was really fun to play with the big names. And um, it looked a little bit too easy for you. Uh, no, not at all. They were very good opponents. But uh, we figured out to play with Zeus and Nega were really good. So Nega, new meta? Yeah, it's a new meta for sure. Royal Arena, did you enjoy no, that? he's amped. He's having too much fun. Oh, what did you think of this crowd? That makes me happy to see, to be what honest. Was, what did you think of this crowd? It was unbelievable. You're an amazing crowd, and I'm so happy to be in uh, my home country. There we go, guys. Give it up for Sucker. All right, next up, we're going to be giving out our displays to all of the players here. We've got Mr. Chad Sponge Birchill to do the honors. And these are very special looking as well. Mr. Cyclone. Did you enjoy that at least? Yeah, it was very fun.
And you just have to make sure you support your NXT boys no matter what. Of course. Um, I also think Casper did a great job, making sure they had a good time. What, what was he doing to make sure they had a good time? Fun's doing his part. Um, taking the pressure off a little bit, you know, just saying... Uh, does that mean, wait, who's pressure. doing the finals then, chat? And that's what it's all about, just enjoying it. Kaden, you even got the national anthem song. I didn't think that was just possible. got to do Blast, and, uh, did you, did not really Sponge Machine, hometown, Harry Hugo. Country? Yeah, it was great, you know. I think, I think it's Harry Hugo. For the Danish fans and for everyone who showed up. When I failed to qualify, when Astralis failed it's to qualify. going to be their first. When the Danish OGs in the matches, can these guys fail to qualify? I did have my worries about how the atmosphere would be in this arena. And I know that we also have the Golden Hearts, Roaring Bears, Danish Corner, stuff, people from all over the world, the Brazilians up there to the right with the drums. But I will say that this arena has lived up, not just to my expectations, but to the expectations of a major. You are more than worthy. Thank you for showing up and supporting all the teams. You guys have been fucking amazing. Explosion thanks to the 37 month recent thank you. The microphone. And another master of that microphone is our host, Richard Lewis. It's time to get ready for the grand final. Thanks, James. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said about me in my history, so I appreciate that. Right, yes, we've had a fantastic show match. Great to see Katie in here. I'm going to be hosting uh, the main event, which is going to be the grand final, and joining me on the desk, we have three of the best to ever do it. You can see I didn't get the memo about the bow tie, by the way, but it is maniac, always looking amazing. We've got Blair, <laughs> and we've got Pimp. Uh, so first of all, guys, uh, just let's talk about the occasion. I'm really looking forward to the final. I think it's a final that promises it could break records and for the obviously I think like you. we're going to have a great crowd response because a lot of Na'Vi fans, a lot of FaZe fans and Carrigan obviously the last day in standing, lots to look forward to. Uh, listen, there are so many enthralling storylines going into this grand final, right? The first one in CS2 as well, Carrigan as a fan favorite, I am so ready for it. I'm going to try to manage my energy and not pop off immediately, you know, let's ease into this, let's ease into this grand final. Yeah, we still got like I think an hour or so to work our way through this one, but yeah, I mean, I, I cannot, I don't think I could have dreamt of a better run we've had so far in this playoff to head into, you know, potentially Carrigan getting crowned a king, King Carrigan in the Royal Arena, right? So I'm just so stoked. I'm just, I'm just pacing myself. Yeah, for my money, it's just been a, a super competitive major, right? I feel mm. like every single game has had its own life. Every single game has had its own nerve. The By far the best playoff we've had. I just hope the finals great. live up we to it. We came into the tournament talking about Saivu, the donks of the world. Yesterday was Manisi stealing the show. Today it may be Carrigan. I feel like every single day had delivered something new. So for my money, it's been a fantastic major so Yeah, and also I said last day in standing. Obviously, you count. Uh, but oh, there look, we go. Uh, I want to talk about our sponsors. Uh, you saw them getting handed out down there. Commemorative uh, dis plates. Obviously, dis plate have sponsored the major. I'll put that there. Uh, and you can see they've got officially licensed Counter-Strike artwork. Over 200 different licensed uh, materials there that you can get. Super easy to mount. They're obviously made of metal. They go on magnets. How do they work? Know, mate, they're just amazing. And because we've done so well over the course uh, of the major they even raised a discount uh, <coughs> from 30 it's up to 30 percent so one and two you get 30 uh, three you get 30 oh, shit, Naz running. I forgot to give a use the code morning PGL. chat Olivia thank You're you very much for the 42 month reset thank you slash PGL for that and also also a, a reveal hold on I got, oh, more, uh, I got more things under the table and I'm, I'm making you nervous Matthew. It's all right. Sorry, I'm, I'm giving you the space this is their new product it's called Textra right? Whoa. and what it is is it's textured metal plate uh, so you can see it's got a little 3D affectation let me just see oh, there it was I've got it with the light there Ooh, look Ooh. at this so you can see yeah, yeah hang on I need to there it was there it is Ooh. right do you see that at home and this is like brand new. Uh, they're adding new designs to it all of the time. So again, if you go to displate.com slash PGL, uh, you can just go in the search bar, type Textra, T-E-X-T-R-A, and you can check something out and channel your inner wolf. Does it look like Loki, Matthew? I know you have a sweet dog at home. <laughs> yeah, there you I go. do have a husky similar. at home, and it, it, there yeah. is a resemblance. I can see my husky in there. I hope it's he doesn't the... look at you like that, mate. I'll be worried, <laughs> I'll be worried for you. When I'm having food yeah. in my hand, you know, ready <laughs> to come out. Trying to have dinner, yeah. Immediately. All right, anyway, uh, so look, as well as that, uh, this segment as well uh, is going to be brought to you by a new initiative from Save the Children uh, called Save the Game, which we'll take a look at now. King, uh, King Canadian, thanks for three month primer. Thank you.
I think it's time for me to beg Nori for a coffee. Yeah, so that's a save the game. They're obviously focused on mental health, which, you know, we've, it's one of those things. I'll start with you here, Jacob, because I know you've done so much to promote physical health uh, as well. But, you know, mental health, we're still sort of catching up to talking openly about it in a way. And I think this may just been a really good place to, you know, put a spotlight on it. We had Steco, of course, donating some of the his sticker money mental Thank health you. causes. So I just wanted to get a few thoughts about, you know, the importance of uh, taking care of your mental. Yeah, I feel like both mental health and, and physical health go hand in hand. Uh, I'm sure you guys can attest to that as well. God knows that we all have had our trust troubles. Uh, you know, growing up with Counter-Strike, it's not always been the nicest, let's put it, you know, the language that we used to watch each other. So I think learning from our own mistakes and, and owning up to it and then at some point, you know, try to be uh, the best possible inspiration you can be. There's no one out there who's perfect, but There's I think if everyone is trying towards a better mental health and also a better physical what do you mean health, experience? you get a long way for that. So I think it's uh, I mean, a important there? course and something we should take seriously. Yeah, I'm not going to make jokes right now because normalizing, reaching out and offering yeah. support to yep. friends you want not, to not know. the time for uh, me we have this incredible platform all that other that people more daring right? and first yeah. and foremost it is about connecting with people and i think we obviously know how to use the negative side of it lord knows the internet is full of it but if we have to be very public and open about mm. let's make good out of it i mean yeah. create something create connections i've had some of my best friends from the game and i think it is a support net that we have to use and we have to promote you're so running that one just automatically that. ran I mean, talk with some of the a best second ago so we're made, chilling right uh, now you're doing some of my slightly darker times it is from counter it is from gaming so to speak right for me to know that a lot of people they're getting put away from something which has given me so much it has hurt me quite a bit so yeah just just be nice guys just be nice yeah. to each other that's about try, it you know? yeah, try, call yeah, me about a best. motherfucker right now uh, so yeah go to save the game uh, dot g is that g to tech check that, is that out that right. bullying we can start and now we so, fight and now we, <laughs> and now we do fight battle. Right. <laughs> so guys uh, obviously uh, we'll talk about yesterday's games uh, first uh, i want to start with g2 and i want to i want to do something that's going to surprise everyone at home now that my nightmare is over Okay. okay, and G2 can't win the major. Obviously, they lost yesterday to Na'Vi in a great series. Uh, I just wanted to point out a few things because I did see a lot of criticism going the way of the IGL Hooksy. And I know often when you're a leader, you have to carry the can. But I'm just going to say to everybody out there, uh, no. I, look, we gave Dan a pass, you know, uh, over on Vitality because Zewu didn't show up. Uh, his stars, Hooksy stars didn't show up at all yeah. yesterday. Hunter and Nico were terrible. He was getting blamed for a veto. That was the coaches. I'm just going to say, you can make arguments about whether Hooksy should or shouldn't be in this team, but you, there is nothing you can take from that match yesterday to use. It was other people's responsibilities. I think it's completely delusional to make the conversation only about Hooksy and the maps that they've chosen. When also, just look at the way the third map went. Mm. Like, they were in a position. They could have done it. There were a couple of rounds that were lost that changed yeah, the course. Yeah, it's almost like if you don't get... As for the jail ace yeah. and have your yeah. mental get boomed because you can't but fucking handle it. I think he Hooksy is a very easy target in that regard. I think it's a mental shortcut for intellectual and laziness. And Richard has been very YouTube critical of Hooksy in the past. Now now this is why. Hey, you know what? Let's look at ourselves in the mirror. He just will. A he bit will tell it how it is, man. I swear. What went wrong in G2 Thank you with the 26 with primer. Right Thank you. Show up only really Monesty did what he had to do in terms of expectations. So why the hell is Hooksy catching There's definitely other people. I mean, that's normal. I mean, I was critical of the video myself. Well, I'm, I wasn't a fan times. of what happened over there. I wasn't a fan of Inferno getting banned, but I was like... Being critical of people is fine as long as you, you can know, recognize you both you sides of it, behind, brother. You have coach behind you, have the IGL, and I'm sure everyone had to have an agreement for that to actually happen. So yeah, putting the blame solely on Hooksy, I don't think was right. That could have mm. been a 2-0 if Nico and Hunter then you know, completed with that 1v2 for Well, example. Hunter so, hasn't even shown up in CS2, in my opinion, let alone in that series the other Damn day. right. Nico is going to be up there by the end of this tournament, but, you know, it took him a while to get going as well. Yeah. You, you can only do so much if your star players are uh, kind of floundering. And let's be completely honest, right? Look at G2, look at the players, look at who's been missing. They were in a semi-final. They were one round, maybe two rounds away from booking a spot into the grand final of this major with two of the star players not performing. You're looking towards your Nico. You said he was warming up. Yes, the quarter final was a, a positive sign of life from Nico, but overall, nowhere near the level that we expect him to be at. He's not yet feeling comfortable within Counter-Strike 2. Hunter has been a shadow of himself. We can talk about the next JKS debate as well. I, I reckon it's new 
Munch, you know, when you talk about Hooksy, when you talk about G2, it is complicated to a big degree, but pointing fingers at Hooksy after yesterday, as you said, it, it's lazy at best. Yeah, and I'll give him a lot of credit as well. Did that loser's interview, you know, which uh, if Blame F's watching at home. For the leaders, yeah, right? right? Yeah, the, the, but that's I, what captain take, meant. Take, take notes. So, you know, a lot of respect. And I've got to say as well with Taz, and I, I saw Taz at the bar, and we, we you know, ha may, might have had a shot together. Uh, and I just said, listen, you know, I actually... Uh, uh, coming around to the idea that you know you can keep that lineup together and you've just got to get Nexa plugged in and performing Nico back to the play Nexa, he was it's not Nexa, go, it's just Hunter the cousins man turn up and they you know they made it to a semi-final of a major not playing it's, I know I know where your heart is the issue that I have is I don't know if from within G2 believes that this lineup should stick together that's my well, problem yeah, that's Amazing. always we, that's we always the problem roster moves happening prior to the major they always Noises think is they're happening. a roster like, where is move going what about Monesi as well this is my problem if now we have a guarantee that all of the fine players on that team want to stick together and it is how they want to do it I don't really have a profound problem but I just don't think literally top five team in the world that makes roster different. changes I, I feel like like they change their fucking clothes three issues within the team. Normally, when right. you look towards a lineup, you're looking at maybe one player or two players or one situation where you feel this is not optimal. If we make a switch right here, take Navi as an mm. example, you're looking towards Ima right now. I mean, now. Nico, at maybe least, like Richard said, you know, it, position and elevate Navi despite them being it went from flashes to actually, like, starting to play better. Who are you pointing fingers towards? People want well, to dude, Hunter is People, think, is bad. People think Hunter is bad in CS2, and no one is showing up for Nico so far, right? So we have four potential issues within the lineup where the only constant is Monacy. So, so just yep. save Monacy. Save Monacy. Maybe Monacy should just just lead T2 and then yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm actually so, okay with that. And I'll yeah. tell you why. I'm looking this is looking like simple back when he was playing with the flips on all those teams where you're mm. looking at how good this guy is, he wasn't winning anything, all the monies he has had a little bit of success, right? It took such a long time for only a little really bit though find like, the success that he deserved. Only a little bit. Earning. I don't want Monacy to wait that long. That I like, the first couple of years. Man is the high, yeah. Monacy was, uh, was the uh, highest rated that player in no the major by far. So they were doing interviews going, hey, we're not just see they're limping, You know what I mean? Exactly. Um so yeah, look, I don't know what the future looks like for G2 Let if me I'm see if I can pull it up guys. quick. Uh, I know, know we're listening, so here, hold on. Just so if you hotel, guys missed it, hold they on. They needed this one. Look at this. And I think stability is always a good idea. Uh, it might just be the case these Across players aren't going to be good guys. in CS2. I'm almost it's willing to, to bet my left kidney they're coming out six. of the summer break. <laughs> 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 not a 14 maps. I actually need that kidney. I've got dibs on it. Coming out of the summer break, T2's lineup as it is right now won't be the same. I think something is going to happen with that lineup. Whether it's Nico going somewhere because of his contractual situation, whether it's Monacy maybe leaving, going to somewhere else, it's going to be hard to buy him out. Whether it's Hooksy being replaced, I think like, there's so many questions within the D2 camp that I can't so possibly bad. imagine nothing's <laughs> going to happen. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, we'll talk about Vitality as well. I know we were on the desk for that. Yes, uh, the team game. No, it is. So we, That's we the problem. some of the ground That's, we covered I'm, on the broadcast. <laughs> but I think we sort of the have Kovac to talk cousins, about, you know, what next for Vitality. We're supposed to be getting Monacy really to help them. They disappointed, I think, with getting to a semi-final as reigning champions. Now he I don't feels think like they should be too hard on themselves. That. And I also think this was an anomaly in the sense that I don't think we're going to see Z. We'll get to a major playoffs again and be as anonymous. I know he was coming in a little bit beat up right. in terms of his health. I don't think you're ever going to see a vitality that has Zewu essentially be a second or maybe even third wheel in the team. I, I will agree halfway. I'll meet you halfway. Okay. One side of it, I do acknowledge that I don't think this side will happen again at this stage because this was very moderate, very pedestrian for the one that's supposed to be the best player in the world. So we'll give him half a pass for the sickness situation. But still, I do believe that the players were a fail no matter what. But what I disagree with is that I think there is space to be absolutely enraged Losing that game with okay. vitality. You go back, you rewatch the Inferno, it is going to be a 13 month reset as you. a leader. The amount of situations where advantages were found from vitality, where yep. you could see by the eye test that panic was the name of the game, miscommunication was the name of the game, decisions, poor decisions were made, and FaZe abused it. So for Dan, for Apex for that matter, mm -hmm. he must be absolutely livid still this morning about the third map because I think there was the space. And you have to realize to win a major, you don't need to play perfect CS. That's, that's good for the books and for the, the headlines. Mm -hmm. That's not what happens. You just need to be strong mentally and seize opportunities when you have them. Vitality didn't. I'm glad Maniac that said it because Apex to be actually called well. There were just like three rounds where individually phased. Had like, signs like the Rops signs round on Port, for example. With just pure brute force, completely taking that phase off of that first map loss. Right? I literally had a guy type in chat, wow, you know, Kerrigan's calling great. After I watched Apex make a perfect call for the situation and Rops kill four players. I will say this, though. Even though Zywood did struggle, 
play of anybody just like, is the yeah. star right. I think I'm is glad Apex is saying, or not Apex, Maniac is saying it on the desk, because I do feel like people overlook that shit so hard. Alive and show he can be a secondary Messi. star. We had Flames as well, yep. and we now know there's a new ceiling for Flames that we can get to. Yeah, hopefully. You know, it, it is complicated with Vitality as well, because you said it yourself, Messi yesterday was probably one of the players who playing better than we expected as well, and he would be the guy <laughs> fairness, who would it was point told to say, maybe he's the replacement, maybe he hasn't fit in to Vitality just yet. For my money, the issue is not the semi-final at the major. I think they didn't play up to par. As They're probably going to be yapping most of the time, but I imagine there will be some sort of intro so as well for the teams. Karabitsu. More so how we saw them at the blast group stage as well. For Kerrigan the Goat IGO. I think if he wins this, regard, it hasn't been a great year I think for, them so far. Had it just been for me, a when you look at like Counter-Strike as a whole, I think he takes it. But apart from that, they would have won a couple of tournaments already. I'm impressed of. I wouldn't be Kind of already feel that way, but man, I feel like it's hard to debate against otherwise. The honeymoon's over. Yeah. So you need to you know, start counseling and get it working. But it's, I don't think it's doom and gloom. I think, you know, Vitality is definitely going to be a team who are going to be kind of coming together better as the year progresses. I mean, there's still candidates for deep playoffs anyway, no matter where they go. Mm -hmm. The question for them is to be able to keep working Carrying on the over paper while Glaive. addressing some Glaive of the mental issues they face here. Pray is the biggest like dynasty like a, ever, a but if you're looking at really collective hard, as a whole, hard to walk on when you're a yeah. team, you might get a bit absorbed into this quasar that is talking about, you know, what's our mental? Because we have to be stronger mentally. And Kerrigan has done it with different teams. Different players, different play situations, and so it's not just majors, you know what I mean? And keep on improving, keep on being creative, keep on being critical to themselves while getting a little I hold Glaive in high regard, but that's a big if. But yeah, I'd put also, Kerrigan above him. The other thing I wanted to talk about Simple was in the building. Uh, we saw Parla give him one of the greatest stage intros. Also, feel like Kerrigan's longevity. Um, well, that's, ex that's why I think CS as a thoughts, whole. You know, he's yeah. here kind of on, you know, supporting uh, Na'Vi, obviously, in the final. Uh, I just wanted to ask about kind of what's next for him, given that Na'Vi have been super successful. Because uh, I'm kind of worried, because he's just put out a new video series today, and it's called On the Bench. <laughs> On the bench, the greatest ever on the bench by Simple. And I'm kind of wondering, uh, you know, whether that means that he's kind of leaning into the fact that, you know, if they were to win today, I don't think he can come back to this team. I feel, I feel for Simple, look, obviously we all want to see him back in Silver. We all want to see what he can do. He's got a heart, bro. He is the GOAT of CSGO. Yeah, but I don't want right? to see him in this team. Exactly, I agree. But yeah, I don't want to see him come I'm back to Navi. I'm right, I'm right him, with you. He could go wherever he wants. Mm. Right, and I know, no. I know this is heresy coming out from me saying, "Oh, no, absolutely not." Simple should still be playing competitive Counter Strike, but if he wants to just move on and be on a bench and do streaming or whatever, so be. No, yeah, yeah, I, I, can, I don't agree. I don't he agree. cannot go wherever he wants. No, he cannot. He cannot go. If you're simple, do you think you can walk into Face Clan right now? Because I don't think you can. If no, simple, no, I don't think so. Do you think you can walk into G2 right now? I don't think so. And if he did, it wouldn't be a great match, you know. If you're simple, you were hoping that you could find your way back into Navi in a different iteration. He's even been openly speaking about rifling a little bit, and maybe you know you can have that. I mean, not just with. not just a bit. <laughs> well, a lot, you know, he tried it with the Falcons. Yeah, you know, exactly. Only for one game. To be fair, it was an one. online game. One exactly, game. online game, whatever. But if you're simple right now, your stock value, and that's a hard lesson for everyone to learn in Counter-Strike. He's been the greatest we've ever seen in CSGO. Everyone in the building in here probably agrees with that sentiment that he's given us so, so much Great to example the game. of why Twisted what he did, two, to be honest. stock value as a Counter-Strike player goes down real, real fast. Mm, if you don't yeah. stay active, if you don't... And he started at the team, end of CSGO too. He started yep, at the end of CSGO yep. as well to decline. So no, if you're simple, you can't walk into Face Clan. You can't walk into Vitality for that matter as well, I think. You're going to be limited in your options. So he has to start somewhere well, else. I'll let does let them he have cook the mental capacity to accept that instead of being the GOAT, now he has to work his way up to a better team? I'm not sure, so I'm worried for some. Yeah, well, I, I'll tell you what. I've said in the past, I think Na'Vi have played this when so Twist well. When Twist was not getting any response from FaZe's organization, he had to look for other options. That's why he was he talking to Vitality and Liquid. And I think that's very good. You know, if you're not in the game, if you're not playing, you never know when your next opportunity comes. You don't know. Like, like things change work. quickly, and like they said, when you're not playing, so obviously I think they did the right thing. It, it, take some time off. The problem is, it's not now, that people think you're shit. It's just like things don't make sense. Like right, like cycle, We've like your contract cycles are fucked. Series, like everything gets really this, fucked I was up. Not sold on him as a rifler at all. In fact, I thought he looked very ordinary. So, and so, Imma, yes, he's I'm just saying, before, like, Navi, I was comparing it because you know you're seeing what happens when you don't, right? He's not playing well, right? But the team is winning. You can't like, just it's not, you know, out. Twist and did what was best for him. Back. And is 
But and but I'm just saying, win. like for simple, then, like know, he was, like they just said, he was the goat of CS:GO, right? And he, he literally probably couldn't get on any of the top five teams in the world right now. Plus minus of skill, like that was simple is better. That's a plus, and so the changes. Like let me look. Let me pull up Asia TV and see which team. Structure the whole gestalt of a team, right? What's the atmosphere? You're not joining face, spirit, vitality, and who is that second place? Maybe Mouse, I guess. I'm not saying that Ime's making a case. But that just feels like a terrible fit, to be honest. Like considering their trajectory and like. I think where they're at as players and teams. Is gonna be fine. It just feels like a weird fit. It would be a mistake. And anything for Navi, you are uh, being rewarded. You're being vindicated. Not VP. Cloud nine, but he's he's like that, that, that would be the only, only place where it makes gone, sense right and now. And he's talked about I mean, publicly that he doesn't want to join C9. Concept of how they were approached the game, how they decided. Maybe that changes. How they wanted to improve as well, and how the players have survived this idea again. The Reaper behind them really. What heroic? Have been able to do it. Yeah. Or end. I guess. You know, Navi. Like none of these. Just feel no, like are. they'd be right. good those thoughts, long like they don't actually the feel like they'd work though, right PJ when i say them like out loud an announcement oh announcement gaben's here welcome to the dawn of a new counter-strike era brace yourself for an unprecedented level of dynamism and competition in cs2 I'm so I don't know. Chat, somebody translate. So there you have it. Lots more PGL coming. And uh, guys, the bad news is it means you're probably going to be seeing more of me Hell at the nah. events. Yeah, I know. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, I thought I was done with you. Back dude. in the game, mate. I, I've oh, decided. Well, I was. We are. I was talking with PGL the other day. I said, yeah, you know what? You can put me down for all of them if you want. Like, I had a, had a good time. And how is that a bad news? Do you think we haven't enjoyed your presence? Uh, you know, can some, we get some a hell in a cell? On my way to, you know? <laughs> can we actually yourselves? get a hell in a cell happening here? <laughs> but yeah, anyway. So obviously, PGL <laughs> anyway. to this uh, brand new circuit. Lots of events yeah. across 2025 in 2026 and so i just wanted to get your thoughts about that because you know it's not really a topic we've to had any opportunity to talk about we always praise the teams we always praise the players for having competition we talk about replacing each other etc etc i think it's good for the tos to Hell feel yeah. the same pressure it's we literally the only one that isn't tied to that, that. that. what uh, each yeah. other. the product that we were able to put up with both blast and esl elevated to a whole new level now ptl wants in i love it you know pressure each other elevate each other and make sure that the product we can give to you guys out there when it comes to counter-strike becomes even better i mean i mean more counter-strike there's, there's nothing bad about that it's when, when like more literally he's propping up the one thing that isn't involved in that really but cool thing you know the, the i guess you just really don't like the guy and that's fine but maybe just say it that so way much, instead so many more opportunities not just with the majors but with your you can't tell if that was that had to be a bit just like a complete bait comment right this is just ah yeah i mean listen more competition is great rivalry is great but what about the big s word saturation yeah 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 i worked at a few esports i'd have done that they're gonna have to play nice to each other you know make space for each other i mean at least when it comes to, to Jacob and yourself, we, we've been in this space before. I mean, it's fine if you don't like where somebody, but like, don't try to mayhem. fucking like. It was a mayhem. It was think many you got him. We were flying like, everywhere. It was a great time in the game. I, I, I liked that moment. I enjoyed I it. I absolutely loved it. We used to have a time when two tournaments would run simultaneously. One pair of yeah. teams would be in China at an event in Shanghai, another one would be in Europe. So we didn't see the same teams play the same tournaments over and over and over again. Navi would pick one tournament to participate. Face would be at another. So we could actually build up the storyline that maybe if they were at the same tournament, we could have that match. But we have to wait for the next tournament or the next one again and i absolutely love that you see mm. with football you see with all other sports we don't get to see the same teams play the same tournaments over and Where's over and suit? over and over again only wear a suit for that. my wedding and that's not going to yeah, change look, anytime soon as well i mean you know the kind of death of the partner league system uh, is going to open things up i mean you know it's going to be really good for teams you're going to get to pick and choose you know if there's overlapping mm. tournament dates you're going to have to choose one and you're gonna have to maybe dodge some teams you, you're worried about because you're gonna have to get those ranking points. And that's why it's all gonna be done in the future. So I think 2025 legitimately, you know me, I'm an old cynic, right? But like, I'm actually- Are you excited now? Are you positive? Actually, yeah. There we Volk go. Actually, <laughs> actually, Rich is actually positive. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I'm actually wow. an optimist wow. about this new system for like the first time in I don't even know when. Cause I'm like what Jacob was saying. I was getting so jaded. I'm watching the same matches all the time. What are the yep. stakes? There aren't any. 
you know? And then nope. also, not only do they just play each other all the time, they then end up going into another bracket where they play you each other again at the same wedding? tournament. Like, I, I can't do this guy. Homie, my wedding was I at my house. That, you know, we would see us two coming in. Obviously, we're talking about a new game, you know, a new reset of the game. And also the fact that... I got married about... That, if you're having the soft reset of the tournament ten system, steps so behind speak, me. or maybe a throwback, throwback to 2014 to 2015, but a little bit more refined, <laughs> a little bit more cleaner. I think that's great. I want, I want a bit of a shake -up. I think that's what keeps Counter-Strike as a scene really, really cool and fun. Uh, yeah, uh, Valve gave it a shake. It's like a margarita in this bitch. Just like, yeah, let's go. And I Answer the question, well no. People who post on Reddit Only time I was ever in a limousine care, was... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, those guys. We, you know. ever heard of them? Yeah. Um, we got a limousine you know, in one of my Valve hockey games when I was a kid a to our yeah, AAA matches one time. A lot of feedback from, from us and other We won people. our AAA tournament. I think I was... improvements they can make to the circuit in the game itself. 14? 13? So I think this is actually... It feels really fresh. We're back at the start of something beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of why I got into eSports in the first place. You know, you're traveling all over the world. You pick and choose your TOs. It's a <coughs> that new was cool. game. It was fun. We don't know where it's going to go to developmentally. Yeah, it's kind of like 2012 all over again. That but we've learned. Yeah. We've learned along we, the way. Yeah. Well, we've we've we've, hopefully, now. 12 years of mistakes. But that was, that was a cool one, though. That was, right? that was a nice little... It's perfect from the get-go. It is going to be a new system. It's a new All the parents, like, chipped in to get get us a limousine so we could ride around in one. There's going to be something that's going to suck. There's going to be some scenarios... Pretty sure we legit but went and got McDonald's. It's going to be perfect. It's exciting. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. The five gifted. Thank you. Uh, you know we're going to do this thing where we want to eat the cake and have it too. Yeah, you know yeah. we're going to play by What's the points. And I honestly can't gonna remember, but I don't think we went to like a restaurant. I think we went and got fast food. I just remember the limousine. Hey, we're going to have to accept the rules of the game. We have to accept it. At least the tournament or you know the tournament partners now can't punish them for that. Both things. So much for the five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five gifted. I'm really trying to think where we went. It's 45 minutes on the clock. I'm looking up at the big screen. We're going to start ramping things up. It's time to take a look at Phase's road to the final. Kids got to choose. I mean, playing AAA hockey was like, you're just driving all the time. And yeah, like majority of my diet was fast food. <laughs> Navi, <laughs> this is our first major grand final of Counter-Strike 2, and it could not be bigger. Is that with Paula's reason, voice scuffed? Both teams came to Copenhagen with lofty goals and high expectations, but expectations were shattered. Both teams were at one point a single match away from exiting the elimination stage of the major. I feel However, bad for Paul of Duty. He's trying so hard. Their fates would not be sealed. Top ticks down. Five seconds. That's the kill. Oh, dead. <laughs> and face plan knocked Team Spirit out. Under the leadership. Made it hard to adjust post hockey life. Yeah, dude, I was eating like fucking 5,000 calories a day with ease. Because I'm skating finally six or seven days a week. From vitality. Oh, too Paula. Rain always stoic. And if you let your guard down, if you do that, you'll oh. Look at it. Bask in the glory of the FaZe Clan. Major with a shot in the back, but he does go down. Some terrorists will fall. It's Navi to bring the chaos to Copenhagen and the pain to eternal fire. On Navi's side, Alexi B, the mastermind. His grand design finally coming to fruition, allowing them to fend off Brazil, Turkey, Chat, and a scary K -K two. Modesty, what's your got? Misses his first, getting overrun. It looks like G2's time here in Copenhagen is over as JL racks up another 28 francs and counting Hunter Cordell. It's all on Nexa. Navi pulled into the grand finals. One more kill. Wonderful gets it. Sometimes your opponent's just having a really good day. I feel bad for Paula, and dude, because like here we are. Just FaZe and Navi remain. Both on the brink of etching their names into the history books. We should consider ourselves lucky. 
because for the first major grand final of Counter-Strike 2, we get to witness the battle of the Giants. Oh, man. All right, we can start setting the scene. I should stipulate as well. I showed a little bit of my bias. I said it was FaZe's road uh, to the final. It was Narvi's as well, of course, but I am probably rooting for Carrigan. I'm just going to put that yeah, out there. Yeah, mentally you're there. Just <laughs> yeah. shout out to Pala as well and his vocal cords. I know. Stay, sticking in it, staying yeah. alive, respect to him. Just made it to the last Pearl, day. Pearl, thanks for coming with Thank you, Lampo. Others. Thank you so much um, for the gift again. So, <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, let's start. I'll, I'll start with the FaZe road to the final. Yeah. I think this has been an unbelievable Anyone know to get the glowing red CSC fans? I'm seeing people holding the crowd. So I actually have one. Yeah, let's, that those let's guys made for me the states, that wasn't and purple those guys 3d print them in a, themselves in where they were close, not making it to the there's playoff. like four of them that are all sitting next to each other those guys all make them themselves so they and they'll make them for different people at the event fantastic but the elimination stage the one you have on your screen right here it wasn't that pretty so you can't that's not like a cs2 thing that you can go by i don't i mean maybe they have a shop not that i know of and then you lose they came to meet and greet and stuff like that and they they gave it to me and i I know, I, I know they made one for Shocks at this event mm -hmm. and a few others. Yeah. I know they have yeah, a I mean, phase there, one. There is something to be said about a major not being a sprint, but a marathon. Mm. Yeah. And it's a very long But those guys event. that are holding up really the, on one day, one of those? It's not, maybe not the best of one days. That's a bit of a problem. Those are the guys that make it. If you have a bad it. day in the office, you can always bounce back. Mm. And phase are the beast. They are the, the ones capable of I think stepping it's up Hugo, and improving we'll their see. play style. And I think we all knew. And if we are still surprised, are we even paying attention to phase? Like, have we learned about nothing? They're first trophy in Sydney starts with the loss and they yep. win the entire event. Yep. We could have seen it coming, we should have seen it coming, and once again they make a statement about their ability to step up their game when they have to. I mean, they're the most consistent team so far in CS2 at yeah. the highest level, having made the finals of every single ladder, every online event as well. You can take a look right there. Winning Sydney, winning uh, the online event right there. Look at, CSC, look at those wins, And then dude. when they fell, they fell to the best te team in current form at that point in time. You're talking about vitality, you're talking about spirit with a miraculous run they had in Katowice. And then right now in a major, they are once again in the finals and you can't yeah. you, you can't deny this from phase right like you pointed out sure they stumble it's not pretty at times but they get it done and that's where a lot of teams fail and they don't get it that's done. no joke right we're talking about maybe the most competitive era in counter-strike we're yeah. talking about the spirits coming alive the vitality we even had g2 in the conversation you're talking about an era of counter-strike where there's so many good teams where the ground level so to speak where the foundation of every single team is higher than it's ever been and you put up seven events in a row where you go into the final mm. of every single event that in itself is a massive achievement regardless of whether them winning or not today here obviously losing a lot of those finals would suck and haunt their reputation but about the veto seven event finals in a row yep. that is almost unfuck, of in this era of uh, we're gonna get what did i say earlier chat but it showed the face with the lowest peak um, among the semi-finalists it's because their overpass path was, i can for navi with a freak of nature dong that that, that, that is off, gonna right? pick uh, the finals and ancient, then they had to go up against it's gonna be ancient a team who has been uh overpass for the past three months and they get it done still this is this phase this is playoffs major phase i mean listen it's a byproduct of two we'll things see. if you ask me we'll one see. is obviously there's they have such a similar map roster. pool chat and that there's a lot they can handshake on that will be a capital s superstar although brokies had a couple of times these numbers here but it's the gonna fact that like have internally so it's gonna come down up, to what it just, the team the wants to play it improves the chance that someone is going to step someone's with an s like you can make a case for is the type of kind of they play and at that game it's sometimes easy to maybe sleep on kerrigan and say oh you know the map control in the call that's all fine no he's got a very sustainable way to play counter-strike there is creativity within a framework that works for phase that makes them hard to predict but so allows them to Navi's not gonna high float level CS vertigo time and time again because they're not just showing up with a game plan of one two three four five set strategies no no phase no, 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 will no, no. Probably ban in the very ground rules of counter-strike and you can do that from event yep. to event they keep the phase will probably well, pick well, ancient well, soften the numbers on Navi will the probably screen. pick overpass you know, look, and uh, then any of these maps the of CSGO and at the start of CS2 I would our free game okay so the kids say, like, a bot. like i said i think they're gonna handshake this or whatever, i think this be. is you get IGL navi's that, best map is mirage it, right? he's raised his game he's here. good he's on it he's winning but jewels against navi's the best map players he's Nukes? clutching you are probably right, phase his actual best map for a long time so sure. that's why i think they'll handshake right here pay attention to kerrigan you will see amongst the sea of stats
There's a lot of red. There is a lot of red. That is yep. just a fact. But whenever no, you I think hit the quarterfinals, you think FaZe might pick Nuke over moment, Ancient? Yeah, they might. They might pick this over Ancient. Maps here and, there, where and then which for sure, the I think we get Inferno. Map, he is the one to lead the you can, you can, will like I said, it's, compared to what it's whatever the team is feeling internally. I don't know. 15 kills within the first 8, 9, 10 rounds. That's what he does. He keeps on doing it. So I personally, I, I'm not that surprised Ospro, with the numbers he's FaZe having. I know float Vertigo for some weird shit because Navi doesn't play. So I just think Navi's going to ban it either way. That's my issue right away, because I, I would like to upplay just a little bit. We know he can, but he's having a one rating at a major where he's faced Spirit, he's faced Vitality in a semi-final, he's yeah. heading into the Do final we know the cast is? I'd say Harry Hugo would be my guess. The impact he's had. And statistically speaking, I know it's been close when you look through his stats, but this is his best event in more than a year from the pure stats of it. So he has stepped it up a little bit. He's matching Rain on the server. Rops is just 0 0.05 <laughs> better than up. him as well. We can talk about Rops. Send 60 11 month bad, primer, thank you. Any other primers, prime for getters out there? Sure, but for carrying them to post a one rating, you know, given the competition, given the pressure, given we're in Denmark inside the Royal Arena, it's a statistically best tournament in more than a year, so we gotta yeah. give him the credit that he deserves. Isn't the Machine and Sponge in the finale? Usually, well, but the they've been trying to do different ones, and Scrounders did the last. Henry and Anders just did the show match, and Sponge was in street clothes, giving out stuff during the show match, so that's where I got my reasoning. We probably have them, but I can give you a ballpark when you're looking at the likes of face for Carrigan I hope it's Harry and Hugo. for Rain do you have it you're looking I at I think they're the only duo now that hasn't done one ridiculous. 29 finals played uh, for Rain um, as well and a sea so I hope of it's other Hugo. appearances for Frozen Robs and Brokey the amount of trophies as well now you want to know what blew my mind tell me the Frozen one yeah, I mean listen he's been pretty young you have to yeah, realize Scrounders really you know with the Blast Major got their their finale it was mostly so towards would, the end yeah. of his tenure here and there was a couple of trophies here and there but where it really hits is the next and it makes the merch nice too, bro. Bro, I have a fuck ton of merch. Oh, okay. where the contrast is it just sells out incredibly fast. Because I don't do a store because we we embroider and actually make all the items. We don't do print to order shit. Bit has trophies, but that's also because he was part of the We never do print to order. I don't, and I don't want to. I've done it once before. I never want to do it again. Wow. And this is not even close. This is a whole new bargain. This is a whole new. I'm literally wearing my merch right now, dog. Played a goddamn grand final in his entire career. That's Crazy. what we're talking about. Going New up merch, against working on it. has 100 plus combined. I mean, listen, from experience on, they got him booked. That's just a fact. No, 100% um, agree with you. I mean, that, it is crazy that Carrigan alone, forget Carrigan, even Rain himself alone has more finals and more trophies won right there. And yes, the experience play comes into into into, into the topic when they're talking about his grand final. Of course. Right? We, and, and I love the fact that these numbers are there because it really Can I share the theme yet? how big of a gulf is between We're trying to get a drop together for you guys to have some cool finals. shit to take with this you to Dallas and final. for me to have extras so when I'm in Dallas to I give mean, away for it's free. It's heavily, it's completely tilted I mean, all the, the way for face. The thing that stood out to me as well is Alexa B. He's been in, in nine Grand finals, right? He's only been able um, to two. That was one of the critiques we had of him. The reason we haven't done a drop recently is because we're a, a trying to up the quality even more. He could get a team to a final, but he would we made a bunch of stuff in the US and we did a bunch of embroidery, and we're going to keep like going crazy with it, but we're trying to actually step it up one more notch. Carrigan, who has a pretty good track record, sorry, of winning finals. So for Alexi B, it's it's truly another test to whether or not he still has that everything sold out. Yeah, usually most of my stuff sells out within like the first day or so. With the exception of some sizes. Just welcome. First of all, you've made an amazing choice. Thank you for being with us. That's yeah, the like. Yeah, Am yeah, I doing yeah. a meet and greet and in Dallas? He um, was put on the radar with Enz, yeah. the Finnish team. That's uh, when we started noticing him. Every day. Team, that's Katowice. Yeah. Exactly. That's a grand final in there. That's completely overcoming expectations. And then from this moment on, it's been a little bit up and down, lackluster. There is a camp in the community that says he's an absolute genius who's been dealt bad apples and rotten apples and weird rosters, but don't worry about it, he's got the game figured out. And there's other people who say, what the hell, you've been, you've been playing with Nico, you were in G2, you were in IP at the time, and you got nothing to show for it. So now, this is such an opportunity for him to make yep. a statement. You take this Navi roster, and you actually take it to a major trophy against FaZe, I mean, listen, what, what do you gotta do? No. That's all we gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, rough, you I have to say this though about uh, Alexi B as well. There have been a lot of criticism, as you pointed out. It has. Like, is he the problem? At some point, you know, if everything stinks, maybe you are the problem, right? And and there were doubts being raised right there. But NIP, we know what of a well, what a messy project that was overall. Everyone's spoken about it. I want to touch about that. But is able to pull this off, especially with the caliber, the pedigree of players sure. he's got. Sure, Im and Jill, they should Chat. be played good at the major, right? No, Norris, Summit always gets fucked up while flying. Besides Dremamine, what else is good to take?
really nervous little kids are, oh shit, I have to play Over the simple. counter only, don't be weird, be easy, And he still makes it work. Bit learning English as he's playing in the game. You yeah, like motion sickness. Just to calm with the team. And if he's able to get this motley crew to a grand uh, final of a major, one of the most competitive errors of Counter-Strike in a span of a few Ginger months, Chews. man, he is shutting everyone up. But I think that's the sharp contrast. Where by Ginger accept, shots? Right? I mean, she does love Ginger. Moving into this final, leading Navi, I would be a little bit more comfortable it's saying that Wonderful haven't played a final. I'd be a little bit more comfortable saying that Emma have only been in a what, couple they, you think they sell, they probably sell some at like the little convenience in stores in the, the airport, right? Because you can't so get that you're, through Emma, security. If you're wonderful. You're looking towards Alexi B. It does. It's not a, a player that gives you the, the faith that listen. He's been here a hundred times before. He's won so many times before. He knows how to get you know it what done. I mean? Fact of the matter is, he doesn't know how to get it done. He has that. They probably cost more, but I don't feel like dealing with the TSA guy that's having a bad day. Mega impressive. With G2 back in the days, with Emmanuel and the boys getting to a grand final, mega impressive. Even with NIP, you know, he's been vindicated. Let's talk about that later. But you haven't won that many finals. And that's a bit of an issue. If you're wonderful, if you're Emma, and you're looking towards Alexi B for comfort, you're not. Uh, bro, if you're Emma, don't look at Alexi B. Look at your monitor to start with. But there is one man. But there is one man. There is one man you can look for to to for comfort when it comes to winning. It is a it's Blade. So Blade will right give you there. comfort. I mean, he should be giving them some comfort because <laughs> the thing with Blade is he's going to be the guy who's who's done it, who's done it all, right? And it's kind of really can take it to say, Yeah. Oh yeah. I guess because they're small enough. Him and this is also going to be tested to his system. The system. That's that is fair. what they talk about every single time. Doesn't matter what the pieces are. Doesn't matter who we have to work with. The yeah, I was just curious if I was like really missing works. anything. Even though you might have a point she just, rating yeah. in the game, that's all that matters. And the this flight has also messes with her quite a, a bit. Progression in the way Alexi has been playing with this team. You go all the way back when the team came together. It was way more regimented, way sure. more controlled, way more structured. He had to. And now he had to. And now he's giving the freedom. The faith has been instilled in his players. I mean, listen, it always has I'm to very be sort of a reciprocal situation, right? You cannot just say, hey, boss, give my me fat some freedom. Just no, get on a plane and sleep. You have to actually have that autonomy. <laughs> and I think Paris like Jalen, with the 14 with Primer. Thank you, Stens, with the 11. I mean, the Dream, thanks for the two. We'll Young Man Wilker, thanks for 34. That is criminally underrated in the team is the osmosis between John, the leader and the coach. Quick. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. Behave yourselves. That itself is such a strong core to have. And it felt like at the very beginning, an XCB and Blade didn't necessarily want to play the same kind of Counter Strike. You're an XCB, you've had things your way for a while you come into the navi where boy you better do things the navi way yep. this is how we've been winning for years so i think they've also gone a very long way to find a compromise an entente on how they want to work the game together and now it's coming to fruition but it was not easy from the get-go i mean you talk about comfort Blade is not going to give you comfort. He's going to give you feedback. And, 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 and the thing that they all had, the, you know, faith in each other, because you need to have faith in each other. You need to be, all right, I'm going to try your way, and I'm going to try a little bit of your ways, and we're going to see if this is going to click in. The fact has actually borne fruit so far. Listen, Blade said, he's like, just the semifinals, that's what we're aiming for. I think that's a very reasonable expectation to set, and they managed to do it. And now, obviously, if you're here, just take the final step. Yeah, well, look, there's what, uh, a stat that they might find comforting. Uh, Alexi B uh, might be extra confident today because this is Carrigan's record in this arena. Oh. Uh, we've got it ready, All apparently. Right. So, to upset the uh, people yeah. inside the arena yeah. right now? It's yeah. not been a good home for him <laughs> no, at listen, all. He's been in finals in here before. We yeah. looked at the fall finals back in 22. He did lose a game to a fan favorite in Kadian. I remember that game very vividly. It was yep. a fun game, massive game. You saw Kadian smash a monitor, smash each other, and super, super happy for winning that one. Of course, that hurt for Kerrigan. He comes back the next year. He goes into another final, the fall final 23, and he loses quite convincingly yep. to Vitality yes. 2 -0. So for Kerrigan being inside Royal Arena, as we heard him say it yesterday, everyone in here supports him. Everyone in here loves Kerrigan, but they're yet to see him win inside the arena. And I think that adds uh, another layer of pressure towards mm -hmm. Kerrigan. It's a man that we often praise for not being affected by the pressure. It's a man that we often praise for being, being level-headed, being calm. But imagine if you were to lose a third final inside Royal Arena in front of this crowd, who are all showing up to watch you win, and you can't get it done at a major. That would hurt, that would amount pressure, and that would potentially be something he has to deal with throughout. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm with you. It would be absolutely crushing for Kerrigan to miss that chance here in Copenhagen. But I will say, if there are players in esports that try to play the card of I don't really care about the crowd, it doesn't really work for me, Kerrigan is the polar opposite. Like, yeah. He's been embracing it fully. He's yeah. the one that works the crowd. He talks to the crowd. He gesticulates as he's playing. You could see him against Vitality a couple of calls. He was actually giving them the gold. Um, unbelievable I got him. calm, like but that's, crazy. He does that, and I think it feeds him. Mm. And he knows that works as well. It works for the opponent. I've, I've played against crowd. I know mm. what it is to have thousands of people rejoice 
rejoice in your sadness. Thousands of people yeah. being happy about you made the wrong call, you made the wrong gamble, you've been hatcheted, you've been glocked, you've been knifed, and everyone erupts in happiness. And I know how that works, and Kerrigan knows it too, and he's gonna weaponize it as good as he can, and so he should, and good for him to do it in World Arena. Yeah, well look, I also wanna just, last point about FaZe, and then we're gonna talk about Na'Vi for a bit, and then we're gonna start talking about the matchup. Um, so, you talked about the osmosis between a coach and an IGL. Uh, Neo, it's crazy that the great one, uh, you know, the, the, the GOAT of 1.6, yeah. has kind of like not really been talked about at all in terms of his coaching career with FaZe. Look at that record sure. that he's achieved as a coach. And I've got to say, you know, I don't think he's actually had a lot of credit. No, I think there's two reasons why that is. First and foremost, it's very hard for us to know exactly what's going on behind the team lines. We can often lead from interviews, we can listen into them. Some players are open about it, willing to speak about the coach's impact within the game. Blade has been a great example of that. Sonic in the, in the Major have been a, a great example of that. But for Neo, it's not something we hear about. Second of all, the way Kerrigan is picking his coaches is not like everyone else. Kerrigan is not interested in having a guy like Blade who's coming in with a way of playing Counter-Strike. Mm. Whenever Kerrigan is on a team, you play his version of Counter-Strike. You're playing his philosophy of Counter-Strike. He is in charge of the team. And if you can, as a coach, stand behind him and help him make his life easier, mm. prepare for him, maybe give feedback <coughs> to him, bounce off him, that's great. But you can never overtake his team. You can never come in a situation where, let's say, Navi as an example, back when mm. Boomic was in-game leading, we gave more credit to Blade than we gave to Boomic as an in-game leader, which at the time maybe was a bit harsh. That would never, ever happen with Kerrigan. So he's picking coaches that are supposed to stand in the background, and that's the reason why we're not giving uh, the feedback and, that we probably should. And yeah. we're actually, I, I was privy to, to having a, a chance to, to, to talk to Neo at IM Sydney when he just came in as a coach. Right. And he told me himself, he's like, I'm not trying to be a I'm, I'm, I don't have the, the trust of the players yet. I don't know how the system really works right now. I don't know, the, you know how it really operates as a family for this team. Because this team does feel like a family, like a bunch of friends who are very close to each other. I'm an outsider coming in right now. I cannot dictate the way I see the game. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna spend this event just watching. I'm gonna have a little bit of inputs here and there. I'm just going to observe. And that's what he did for a couple of events. And then now we can see him really giving an input. Now he seems like it's part of it. It's gelling together. You saw what happened yesterday, right? We're all pointing fingers at Hooksy for a bad video. Test comes out and saying it was actually my yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. I take responsibility for that. Things that would never happen in face. Things yeah. that would never ever happen in face is Kerrigan not taking responsibility for the video. It's yeah. his team, it's his version, his philosophy. If Neo can help him, great, but it's still his team. And I'm really cool with that and I think when you're winning, that's all nice and gloom. But when you're losing, I think this is where his position becomes a little bit complicated mm. because it's a give and take. If you are a coach that's hands off a little bit and your leader takes charge, when do you feel like you have the authority and the space to step in when that's necessary? And this is where we have to give him a whole lot of praises to be able to walk that line, giving Kerrigan the space that he needs to perform optimally because God knows he can. I mean, you talk about Alex B having been a leader for quite a while. Kerrigan's had a decade to perfect his craft as a leader. Yep. But Neo still needs to know when to strike, if you allow me to use that term. When to say, hey, listen, this is the time out now. This is what we're doing wrong from day to day, from event to event. And this is very impressive that he was able to do that in a team like FaZe that has a clear path on how they behave as a team. There's not a whole lot of margin to reinvent. You're not doing feng shui inside the apartment. You're just mm. working with what you've been given and you're trying to improve it. Yeah, so speaking of which, Navi, uh, obviously I think there are some parallels we can draw Earth with this Longo, international lineup. Calls, and let's say, for example, what Mouse Sports have done. Um, you know, they have taken a lot of inexperienced players and they are giving them a crash course in how to deal with pressure and kind of coffee. To, um, Iced you know, Americano. compete at the highest level from and cafe nori this tournament at least it seems <laughs> to be working. For 30 I mean, primer, thank you making it to the final and it's a great great point you're making right here the obvious example is wonderful coming into yeah. navi obviously blowing off the server playing good counter strike the one thing i want to want to say from the get-go and want us to stay away from this is not a learning experience from navi yes after the game we can discuss whether or not it was a learning experience but for them to come into a grand final they cannot have the mentality that this is a new roster international lineup we're coming in and we're trying Chat. to learn we got a less than a minute before it's like and ad's about to run, so I'm gonna run a larger one just so we can build up the buffer a bit, okay? One major final, you know, not too yeah. bad. Coming in for the second time in a row, by the way. But most of these guys are inexperienced compared to what they're going up against. A lot of people would say, a lot of people would already buy now. All right, so I'm just gonna give you guys a second to hear this. It's just a learning experience for them. We can't really anticipate and have too high expectations for them. That's not how it is. You go into a grand final with the goal of winning, and then right, I like to have a monster, but I like to have my monsters in the middle of the day, you know? Mouse as an example, because you know you say you bank on experience and you give players. Oh, butters. 
just hold on. Oh, okay, buddy. Sort of hold on, be right back. One sec. There's a massive difference here. Mounds had a core that knew each other. Yeah. They had something, they had a pre-existing relationship. They were, they grew together, and that already is a bind that Navi absolutely didn't have. Mm. This was a mishmash, a, a team that came together that we didn't really understand the hows, and how, wait, who's going to be the superstar, and, and who's going to be the second voice, and, and, and Bit doesn't speak English, <laughs> and Alexi B has never worked with Blade. It's like, there was so many equations. Yeah. You would think you were in high school, trying to figure out how this team is going to work. And that's why I truly think they deserve a truck ton of praise to sure. be able to, yeah. to do something coherent out of pieces that had nothing Thing to do with each other, absolutely not. Might even not have wanted to play firstly together as it were, and then it still work out anyway. I, I think it, a lot of praise has definitely got to go the way of Alexi B and for Blade, right? Obviously, as the, the very differing uh, ideologies as how to approach the game. And if either one of these were like, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to work with this, we would not be seeing this team here on the stage right now. So the fact they're committed to it, the fact that someone like Bits like major winner by the way the only major winner on that team right now he's like i'm just going to make this work here with navi i'm going to learn a language i'm not very comfortable speaking i'm going to somehow manage to somehow still find impact here i think a lot of praise i, I feel they've already achieved more than what any one of us expected even themselves mm. but you know now i completely agree with pimp right now this is not really no. stopped though. you're in a major damn finals you go for it alexi b has been here six years ago slay that demon yeah. And if we're going to give praises to the coaching staff, let's extend it just a little bit as well. Ursula, psychologist within the yes. team, yep. can you imagine the amount of BS she probably had to deal with to make this roster work together? Oh, How sure. many different problems and dilemmas must have arisen between different cultures within the game, outside the game, the frustrations, the limitations of players out there. You have Bet, who, again, has to go into English mode for half a second. He's playing an anchor position sometimes. I'm sure the first weeks he didn't even know what the hell is going on on the server. Mm. Absolutely lost. You have Ime, who's supposed to be a superstar who gets traumatized by simple the first few weeks he's thinking what the hell what am i i want to go back to shooting i haven't heard I butters get upset when i swear to god like there was so many obstacles even in a minute but to i think it's just the stress now, that i truly think this is worth not one praise but truckloads of them here's the crazy thing when you think about navi and when you think about the player material they have we can both agree that Emma i forget you're three hours behind me it's much like worse player now yeah than he was in game that's yeah, fair 10 30 in the morning dog in a grand final you look at another player as an example as well you look at jail i think he's Land for the one gifted. Thank, thank you. Nah, no finish stream today. So it's the support player. It's the there's a world the where he ends player. up being the major. Well, he's, he's, he's in the run-in. There we go. He's in the run-in. Wonderful coming in as the inexperienced guys. He's the one stepping Maybe up. Maybe watch well. the CS memory video after the final chat. Um, in your bit, and you would argue both of them are worse Depends on the timing. I might just get out of here really quick. Some of their parts is much better off. The team is playing much better. I have a lot of things to do today before my flight. As you said, we don't have a superstar with a capital S within the team, but you have a team that played together. Are you gonna really tell me Wonderful so is not in that category? The Parma, thank you. Yeah, he's not a star. He's had a great tournament so far. He's not there. It's a miracle run. It's oh a miracle God. run. Yeah, I, don't I know. need more data, man. I need star, more data. I agree. I need underrated, more data. but there's like okay, so underrated, rated, overrated. Over, yeah, yeah. Like uh, uh, accurately rated, super you think spot he's on. Actually rated right now. Yeah, yeah. He's not a superstar. Not underrated. Yeah. No, guys. He's Dallas is for a while. If he pops off, no, I'm going home, guys. Listen, if he pops off in this match, see the family. Unfortunately, not the greatest of circumstances, but we're not going to unpack all that. Seals the deal for his team and destroys FaZe. Right, so the goalpost is B becoming the MVP of the major in the grand final. Yes. Tell me that's a pretty high goal. Yeah, Wonderful is definitely putting himself in the conversation for what being one of the best offers in CS2 right now, though. He's had great games, he's had great impact, maybe even more impact than the stats suggest. A 1.30 rating is not a superstar. You're looking at your Nikos, your Saibus, your Donks, you're looking at ratings and players are putting up. given are below that. I know they've played a shit tournament right here, but over the course of six months, they've been absolutely fantastic. Love how passionate the desk is. Yeah, man. They can you yap a lot because they love CS, you know. 1.3, 1.4 rating at the biggest events. Wonderful is. But you also need to win. It's a podcast win before the final. Numbers. Yeah, yeah. You need to win to have them. And, and, and also, the loss, that's hard. I, I, the final, huh? I think the, the expectations we're setting here for wonderful. I mean, it's understandable, obviously, right? But your jail was here yesterday. Pimp after is the a phenomenal had, analyst, and it's MR12. And yeah, what, what do you mean you don't look at rating now because it's MR12? What kind of take is that? Get the win. It's good enough. And speaking of jail, man, like he has just transcended. I feel at this particular event, he's actually, you know, after he got picked up by Navi after the post uh post a major he kind of struggled a little bit but coming into cs2 mm. he has just risen he this, this this exponential rise and <laughs> if it takes off here at the yep. major it could just be the perfect i mean blade uh peak 
or gave us a peek behind the curtain a little bit in an interview and he said you know jail has this apparent ability to switch into psycho mode when he gets into the yeah. server just wants to destroy whoever's in front I've of him i've been very impressed I've been, I've, been, I've been impressed with the way he's played i've been impressed with the way he's communicated in the games like firing his team up yeah, and i've been impressed with the way he's carried himself you, you agree know, with the fact the that simple like, really does risky. not have a spot yeah, on navi anymore in sports we all want to have a personality we want he's to probably said he doesn't want to opt so we can hate on you exactly but if you do in your face maybe he could come in for one of the riflers, I guess. <laughs> and it's coming right there. So for JL to be able gonna to tell walk me the walk after Simple's going to come in and play in his spots. And I mean, again, I will say, I, I do think his ace versus G2 think. was a life-changing round. I think yeah. it is a life-changing round. I think it's round. very he unlikely he comes back to Navi, final, especially with the current way the team is set up and the way they're playing. Listen, that's that's just respect. All right, guys. Like on a pound for pound, you can maybe put him in for Emma, but I'm telling you right now, it's not that I don't think Simple can play those spots. It's just a ticket. The more time experienced bomb. team, the more tenured team, the one with the most achievements. We, but Navi are the young upstarts. They were not as fucked up as it is here. to say. I We've think Navi's a more complete team right now without him. Legends working as coaches, uh, one certainly more experienced than the other. We've got K1 two with the 29 month farmer. Thank you. IGL. Zuba Let's takes the 17. Thank it. you. You want to talk specifics? I think we should continue with the wonderful conversation yeah. going up against Brokey. I think okay. both those players in this tournament has been okay. fantastic for the respected teams. My issue with it is. Don't you think Brokey the number 12 rating well will be face, mostly but less but until you go ham? I, I'm not really sure what you're saying, final. man. Whereas if you're wonderful, you cannot have a game off. You mm, cannot not fair. play well in this grand final and expect to walk away yeah. with a trophy. So this match up right here, both players have had a fantastic tournament so far. As I said, for wonderful. I'm not trying to be a dick. I, I'm just, I'm not really understanding what you're saying. By the artist. Yes. Has some massive matchups, but my point is. Oh, my mustache has a beard. I know. Today, there's no way Navi is winning. They depend on this young man. The biggest disparity for me when I look at the the five players in a side of face and Navi is short. Take away the IGLs, take away Carrigan, take away Alexi B. You have perhaps, arguably, the best I appreciate it, passion. for each Bro, respective thank you so much for your five gifted. Thank, thank you, I appreciate you. Budget. You're looking at Robs, you know, the, the, the look, you're looking at the star player in the form of Four of Frozen, you're looking at the entry, the caveman, that is Rain. It's like, on any given day, each of these players could be the best role player in their respective roles. I mean, RGM, there's definitely team. players that, that is what have them from transferred great from CSGO to CSGO. Well, if you're calling wonderful a superstar with those numbers, what does that make Brokey? I mean, that's an incredible performance he's having here. I'm not going to debate it at all. But not a superstar. And, and there is, no, but there is, there is a definite correlation if you look at the trophies from FaZe and Brokey's performance. The, what we've attacked him in the past is inconsistency, is having incredible superstar -like Rating would be comparatively be lower in MR12 compared to other previous formats due to less rounds. It would be higher, potentially, wouldn't it? Off. So th I think it comes with the territory. But yes, this Typically, is the more rounds and maps you play, it evens out and goes lower, not higher. And he has fully embraced. I think this is the danger with FaZe Clan right now. The danger for Navi That's why, like, when Monacy has the highest rating with, with significantly more maps played, it's more it impressive. Love it. Brokey loves it. The crazier it gets, the freakier it gets, the better it is for him. And that's a thing that they have embraced fully. The 91 thanks to 24 month primer. Thank you, thank you, thank the, you. Most people argue actually that rating. <laughs> but I don't know if the kids can actually deal with that kind of situation. Uh, already, sometimes can mean less because there are less rounds. Yeah, is there anything that we're not seeing about Navi? Because I'm telling like you, like you have it flip flopped. In these if you're gonna make that point, I'm favorite, not saying you can't. You have it kind of flip flopped favorite, in your head. And you've got an upstart team that aren't supposed to win, and they just silence. Channel looking for hot girth healers, well, and I'm all like gifted. The, the one way we could, we could go about it is we could talk about Navi a little bit later. I think that is one discussion yep. we could touch upon where Navi could try and try something a little bit sneaky. We talk about Carrigan and his mind games and his vetoes. Maybe Alexi B could sneak in something of his own. But look, the pressure really isn't too much. There is pressure. Don't get me wrong. There is a major final you are the absolute underdogs but if you can get into your minds and be like guys even if you lose it doesn't matter just no, you're good just man play you're the good game. just don't play too safe don't play you need the classic navi alexi b style loop slow and structured because as matthew just pointed out right now Carrigan's going to be throwing everything at you including kitchen sink and maybe even a even a nuclear war at your direction and you need to dodge that you need to handle it you need to dance with it and also the, we saw the interview from blade he said alexi uh, is giving way more freedom right now to his players that means less rounds yeah there, osprey it absolutely can there. lead to this, worse this performance as well because i mean when you're a wonderful bro you lose both it, pistol rounds and you don't get any ecos in the game and your team just kind of gets you know let's just say you 
battle and you get some gun rounds and you would lose 13 to, to make, eight. Go for a play which your rating could be absolute ass. But the fate, that is how you play this it's game. why I'm rating isn't always, about, you know, you know there is eye test to it, right? It's why you do have to watch the games and not just go off rating. Absolutely. But both have their place. Great food with the five gifted. Absolutely exquisite, Willie Brother. I need five gifted chat. the way they play on the T side has been the strength so far this tournament. The Alexi B calls, the calmness, and the yeah. synergy between the players. We have also, you know, a couple of players who mm -hmm. haven't stepped into the tournament just yet. So one may argue there's some untapped potential within Immer, within Bit, who can definitely play better than we've seen so far. But there's a lot of ifs, you know. There's no doubt that FaZe are walking into this grand final inside this arena as the heavy favorites. But I still feel we haven't seen the best from Navi. And if Bit can come alive, if Immer can come alive, some of the getting so well, so he's in the major like G2. Fantastic. That wasn't a snowball though. That was JL breaking them mentally and then pressing. And I, I like that you mentioned. I like that you like mentioned. He, I get, yeah, like I yes, but that wasn't even like a team or like. And not be too usually, the snowball effect comes from the economy no, 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 of the no, game. You know, if no, we win, it doesn't no way we're comparing score, right? these two. I guess he has. <laughs> Why? There is a point behind that very great sentence. Mensa, thanks yeah. for the five trophy, gifted. Thank you so much, beautiful. Chat out you. Ten gifted. There is a reality behind. If there was to be a failure, then there are going to be, or there is going to be a moment where questions are asked. For me, it's too much too soon. He should never have been airlifted into a team like Navi. The pressure is immense. You can't go from Game Legion off the back of your, uh, a series of life games into one of the biggest esports orgs in the world. With the five, ten gifted, the kind of 20, 20 gifted, there thank you. players in the history of the game who have made an immediate entrance into the top level Frozen? and did absolutely wait. Frozen, Suzer, I think we have about 10 minutes yeah. before the game starts. You can see the timer into the top, very top left. Top level of Counter Strike delivered immediately. So there's always a think double conversation. To looking be, after them though, I mean, as that's, well. That's my point. Yeah, right. That is my point. That is the context. One is a little bit on the individual. What are you made of? Off, and the other one is the context, the environment, the nurturing of these. Who oh, takes the 200 bitties? You fucking idiot! Tell me, simple nurtured email when you join. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Simple <laughs> doesn't nurture Bro, anybody. We know how he works. <laughs> we know how he, the more yeah, he can be. Oh so there might be something to be said about the context of where he started too, and maybe the damage is irreparable. That's my fear. I'll tell you this though: this might actually be unprecedented in a way that there is a team in the grand finals of a major where your star player plays all the star positions, well, most of them at the very least, on your CT side. He is your worst-rated player, even you know. Second worst rated player alongside Alexi B. Uh, Alexi B. IGLs can get away with that, but he's a star player. That's a huge problem. Lowest yeah. rated player, one of the lowest rated players in the major yeah. and in the grand finals as a star player. And you, you, you contrast that with Frozen. Look at his numbers. Look at what he's doing for his team. It's actually, I feel, almost a miracle to hear with Emma's performance. Final point, anything, Jacob. If Long shot with the five gifted. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah. Within Navi, you are at the grand final, and you can allow yourself to be inside the grand final without having your star player playing well. I think it's not it necessarily shows. Build up around Emma. He's not supposed to be getting. A lot of yeah, that's the thing. Okay, nice. get him, Pim. One where they could have lost, etc., etc. But you have a team who's able to make it all the way to a grand final without your star playing well. If that's not a testament to a good T side and a great foundation built by but Pip, what, do we, what if he plays well? <laughs> well what if he plays well? He hasn't well, played well. They win the final, bro. But well, no, well, like, we go. All right, right. Well, let's get let's it's, get the finalists. I think Navi literally proves that you can just like not have to play the way that we view every position. But we'll get into this here real quick. Yes, dude, in my Counter Strike video. Not Dust, too.
Royal Arena. This is what you guys asked for. It is the Copenhagen Major. And this is the grand final. Are you ready? Yeah, Harry and Hugo are doing the finals, we boys. I was right. <laughs> full. There is no room for any more people to sit in this arena. And we are about to show the world why the Royal Arena, while you guys, the Counter-Strike fans, are the best in the world. Let me hear you! Now, you guys all have mobile phones in your hand or something that'll make some light for sure, yes? Get your mobile phones out. You all have phones, don't you? The lights you? are gonna come down. Put your lights up in the air. And look at that. It's a few it people. It is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for being here because Counter-Strike, the Counter-Strike Major is a celebration of everything we love. And it is a celebration of these teams that fight and work so hard for this. The boot camps, the time traveling away from family, from friends, the dedication to a game that they've spent their lives playing. And the ultimate goal for every player is the major trophy. And both of these teams are fighting for this today. So Royal Arena, let me hear you! Oh yeah, let me see that iPhone dude, hell yeah. Entering the arena first. This is the most consistent team in Counter-Strike. They have constantly fought no matter the lineup they have. They are the PGL Major Antwerp 2022 champions. And they're looking for another one today. It's five! I need 30, by the way, Chad. I still do love when Rain shakes the camera. I don't know why. I don't know. It's it's so perfect. Wait, Rain just so like he's like, yeah, we're moving it. Rain, can you come move this camera? Like, sure. successfully attended 20 out of 20 Counter-Strike Majors. Including this one, they've been in six of the finals. They lifted the trophy back in Stockholm in 2021. But this is the first time they have a chance of doing it with their new international roster. The dream run can continue right here and now. It's Navi! Actually, like, bro, I feel like Navi's such a good team. But if you would have told me that they were going to be in the final for this major, I, I wouldn't have believed it. Especially if you told me that Emma and Bit weren't actually playing any better than they have been. Like, JL kind of stacked, bro. I was flaming JL because he wasn't showing up. What was it? The first series or the first couple? What was that? He went quiet, I think, in the, the quarters and wonderful on popped stage. off. But then, dude, yesterday. Alexi, come on over here. God damn. You as God well. damn. God damn. Carrigan, you told me, right? The boot camp before this major was to give you that little extra percent. You think you have it now? I think we have played some great Counter-Strike. And um, I think now it's played super great as well. That impressed me. <laughs> I just know that this is a dream come true for me. That was fucking and standing, whatever bro. Whatever happens in this game, 
I just think it's going to push Counter Strike to a new level. I'm just looking forward to a playoff finally. That's what it's, it's been all thanks to the 46. Thank amazing. you. This crowd has been supported. But you told me earlier in the tournament with spirit, then it was vitality, and you said you didn't have that pressure. But now against Na'Vi, you said they can be a tough team to deal with. But do you feel like the favorites now? Do you feel like the pressure is on? It doesn't matter who is favorite. In a grand final, everything can happen. I've tried that many times in my career. But I know for sure there's pressure. We are face clan. But I've learned pressure is a privilege, and this is a privilege to play in front of all these people here today. And you have played in front of this people in this it's been all thanks for the 46. The zero, thanks for the five, by the way. Thank you, How Zero. I'll be fair to give to chat. And Gucci, thanks for seven. Let's talk after the game, and um, I just know that, like I said, today's dream come true. Whatever happens, I've been here, did everything I could. And we have to respect the enemy. They're playing incredibly well. So I just hope for one of the best finals. And normally, when we play finals, it gets very chaotic. It certainly does. For you, Alexi. When we first spoke, it was a long boot camp for you guys. It was 15 days of boot camp coming into this event. But there has seen a change in this Na'Vi. Is this a change enough for you to go all the way now? For sure. I think we've been living and breathing Counter-Strike for the past, I don't know how many months. And I think the, the work is finally paying off, but we're still not finished. They're still not finished, and we will soon find out how it goes down. But on that, what did you say to your team? Because in comparison to FaZe, right, this team is not as experienced when it comes to the stage and this situation. We're just so happy to be here. We're so happy to share the, sa the stage with such legends. And we, we know that we deserve this moment. And we know we worked hard for this moment. And we're just going to own it and show what we're capable of. <laughs> and in terms of what you're capable of. Sad, I do have to run an ad here in a moment, OK? This phase with this lineup, right? Does it feel like it's going to get wild? Do you feel like it's going to get chaotic, like Carrigan said? I'm worried they're going to not cut back to the desk. I'm hoping for so quality CS. I mean, I'm going to run it now to not clan and, risk it, OK? Uh, you know, it's just, I, I, I just think that we've been heads manifesting up, up, this moment for so long. We're going to show what Navi CS is. That's what we want to see. We're looking for the best Counter-Strike. Good luck. Have fun to both sides. I've sat on many stages. I've been privileged to see this so many times, but this is absolutely beautiful. You guys are amazing. But are you finally ready to see someone lift this trophy? But who is gonna win in your eyes? Is it Na'Vi? Chat, who you guys got? Na'Vi or FaZe? Min, thanks for 18 months Faze. recent, thank you. Na'Vi! FaZe! And what about Counter Strike! The battle is about to begin. Richard, take it away. Okay, they did go back. James, indeed, the they did go back to the desk, so now I definitely crowd. feel better. But I, I, dude, I was worried they just cut straight in. <laughs> uh, what a final. Anyway, podcast mode over, major mode activated. Let's start breaking this down. Obviously, so Masco, much for the one gifted. Thank you. Uh, on the veto. Uh, let's Appreciate start you. There, guys. Where do you think we're going to go? Size barbecue, oh, thanks to 13. I mean, and probably Wolf, yeah, thanks for the 27. Yeah. You know, the vertigo, the, both these two teams don't like playing vertigo. So obviously, if you're Navi, you're not risking it. Not in the major grand finals. They're going to play the first vertigo right there. They should be banning it out. And this is where FaZe have the advantage. That's where they get off to a right foot. They can just ban out a map where you know, Navi probably have the they edge play over so them. Many Maybe maps, an overpass like said, where FaZe have struggled a little bit yeah. on. Maybe a Mirage, which is a comfort map for Navi. He, he, listen, I think the interviews were very telling. A few words we've heard. Alexi B said, I would like to see quality Counter-Strike. It's not going to happen, but it's not going to happen. FaZe is <laughs> not going to give you quality uh, a good CS. I know he would like to have it by the book because mm. he's a problem solver. He's a mathematician. He's a scientist. He can do it. That's not what's going to happen. So you talk about 
about maps, about maps, give yourself a bit of breathing room in the map. Give yourself something tactical. Maybe we can slow down the pace. No, don't no, don't no, no. go down in the I'm octagon. I'm surprised they face. don't think he's going to ban they're, they're choke you out. Anubis. Yeah, well, yeah. What about Mirage? That's my issue, right? Because I feel like Navi so far in this tournament have played fantastically well on Mirage. Mm. But you know, faces the team who also like to play Mirage. They destroy Spirit and Mirage. They absolutely them. wrecked them. Yeah, that's kind of Are you picking into Overpass with the risk of starting T side where we have seen Navi struggle as well on the exact map of Overpass? Or do you go into something where you've actually found success every time you played it at the major, which is Mirage? I agree with you on that. And that's why I we feel, go, let's see. I mean, I'm not doing predictions, so to speak, but I feel Navi should just go with Mirage. Play it a little bit safe. They have really good protocol. Yeah, phase, phase bans though, Anubis. Yeah. Do they go with Nuke here? Because Navi can play this map, even though, you know, it has been a little shaky yesterday, for example. Is it going to be a safe veto? Is that is where to go. I think phase stick with Nuke. I think uh, they play the best it, Nuke right now in Counter Strike. Well, they okay. Yeah, that's. Oh, the tires. The switch up. The Editor switch cuts it. God damn it, Cameron. Editor oh cuts me God. calling the map veto. Thank you. Make me look smart. We've witnessed against G2. I mean, listen, Kerrigan. Has the ah, but they did go the Mirage. Mirage. Not that the smart, Mirage though. This is insane. In from Navi. <laughs> and listen, Jacob, I'll extend you the courtesy. I think you're right. There is a question that we need to figure out that goes beyond just the maps is, is Navi ready to play a grand final? Inferno yeah, handshake and coming. Needs to actually step up the game and resist the chaos. That doesn't really matter on the map. Yep, and there it is. Inferno okay, so I got Mirage yeah. wrong. Oh, they boy. didn't go for overpass, yeah, but... Historically, listen, historically speaking, it always Editor, delivers as a decider. I'm just patch me saying the words. as well. I'm Overpass okay that, I, in yeah, for Mirage, the thank nuke, you. The fact that Nuke's taken out here, and obviously it was going to be taken out, the phase are going to float it. It is absolutely mental. Oh, They've gone for this. But once again, Carrigan, he's done it at every single game so far in the playoffs. And guess what? It's always worked out. Who's favorite in this veto? Uh, it's always worked out. You know, I'm just thinking for Carrigan, what, what is phase, the reasoning behind the phase favorite in this veto. He must have seen something yesterday. He must have seen something. But he, not he by died. much. You know, they have what? a very similar map pool. I think if you're Kerrigan right now, Navi you're has a bad win rate, rate on Ancient, but they are not noobs on the map. Like, from yesterday night right. till this grand it's not a walk in the park. Mirage is Navi's best map, but FaZe, like the announcer said, and I think historically he's had you know, they the demolish Spirit, calls it's Mirage, so right? Like, everybody knows Mirage, anything can still happen. And Inferno, both teams have been great on, but not a lot of reps, so we'll see. Some of the qualities that we like to give them, Kerrigan being able to find gaps in a defense with 50 seconds left, I don't feel like it's had been such the case in Ancient. They can have the good calls, they have the good executes, but I feel like if you're Alexi B and you can survive the first 30 to 40 seconds, you can force right. them to slow down the pace. They, they an might hour be something in it. There might 40 be minutes something no in ads the water in this Navi team. I, 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 feel a, I feel a fear I have I'm ready for, for all the rounds, yes, baby. Sure. Give me they all the rounds. They had a massive lead until, you know, it, they, G2 almost clawed it back. Sure. But they were never really tested. They were never really tested. It was, it was a G2 looking completely disjointed on the T side in particular where they kept hammering the B-bombs and J.L. was just getting away with murder every single time. Yeah. So even though Navi said they have been prepping on this map, sure. they have been putting in the work, I don't think they were really tested yesterday. And maybe that is what Kerrigan is counting on. If anything, Let's I think go, it's baby. also a sign of respect from Kerrigan and FaZe Clan towards Navi. We Boys, saw Navi beat Spirit before on the game even live, the right. that was super yeah. impressive. Overtime game, granted that J.L. had a fantastic show on the entire matchup. Maybe thank Kerrigan you. was looking at that game thinking, listen, Alexi B, listen, thank you, thank you, thank you. quality Counter-Strike. With YouTube and Twitch combined. You against you. Mm. I would rather not go into Enjoy the side on the map one. Thank you, yes, thank you, thank you. Playing well. Yes, we did well against Vitality yesterday. So if anything, it could be a sign of respect for FaZe Clan. Admitting that, listen, Navi, they can play Nuke. Let's mm -hmm. try to go to Ancient. Yesterday against G2 was a little bit... Now let's just all pray for map three, three, yeah? Of G2 listen, I don't we, care we what team you want to win, is your best map. Have but I desperately want a map three, three and I say that as an Inferno hater, okay? That's the same criticism we gave. I absolutely Duke hate Inferno, I but I still well. want a map three. Listen, the way FaZe will beat you can happen on Ancient whatsoever. <laughs> true. There, there's, That's two, there's two very clear factors to me. It's early round aggression, whether or not it's successful, where you're going to see the rain being fully committed on the B lane. You see Kerrigan going down B as well. Yep. Some of the mid fights. You see the map space being taken away by Robs. That is going to happen again. And then it's the clutch situations. And at that why game, not I think BO5 the have never been a BO5. That, that is why. That knows, leaves and breathes, see that thanks to the 96 for three. So thank you. The punches, and I'm sure FaZe is in a prime position yep. for this grand final. I can't wait to get it started, guys. Thanks for all your thoughts. Now, I don't need to tell everyone at home, Counter-Strike has been blessed with some of the very best storytellers from across all of esports. And like teams and players, they too dream of one day getting to a major because it puts you on a very short time, list baby. of elite-level names, the true greats in your field. I am so honored to say today we add two new names to that list. Everybody Show some love for Harry and Hugo.
Thank you, Richard. It is an honor Hell and a privilege yeah. to bring you this first major final in Counter-Strike 2. Carrigan may be the king of Copenhagen. FaZe, the nobleman of this royal arena, but now a new challenger, a Hell former yeah, foe flying the flag of Na'Vi coming in from the north. Yeah, Antwerp was a long time ago, but that's where FaZe made their fortune. 16,000 people in the Let's arena tonight. Up, yeah. So let me hear you! We are blessed with some of Counter-Strike's brightest minds in the yeah. server tonight for this best of three grand final. Carrigan v Alexi, FaZe v Na'Vi. And Ancient is where this begins. Dare I say, Inferno's where it ends. We have a beautiful map pool for this series. Yeah, we really do. And I mean, you're going to be treated to two of the best tactical masterminds going head to head. This is exactly what we wanted out of a grand final. The first grand final oh, in yeah. Counter Strike 2. Maybe. To think the phase Ooh, came the straight through the solo in here? Navi. They showed Holy us grit shit. on this map last night. Now phase have to face it head on. Bits up in A main looking for the first oh, engagement. He's, he's in a pickle, but they think the there right might place be two. Where the dual Berettas is they big. think there might be two. Oh, he's getting, getting out, out of there. And Navi, I'm perturbed. They're going to bring a second player over. Easy does it from FaZe Clan in the pistol. Nothing crazy and explosive out of them just Rotate yet. Rotate should be in. Wonderful is all about they him being. Oh, taking it. this main space away. That's when Bit decides to get involved. It's Carrigan. Fan favorite dead first. Yeah, but it does allow a player to slip into Donut. FaZe have real estate in this round, and Na'Vi mm. haven't full rotated off that B site just yet. They don't know. They can't be certain. Alexi probes middle, desperate for information. It steps rain right here, and he attacks. Fucking typical rain, dude. Making that space. Look at this gap. He's found the golden window right now, man. No yeah, this makes him real this. uncomfortable right now. Yeah. Check for it, yeah, they And so FaZe Clan are looking for the recovery. They go a man down to open up this pistol. But they find their gaps, they find their timings. Ah, dude, FaZe is so and good in these moments, man. It's actually unfair. They've got to come to terms with it. It might have started strong, but it's FaZe Clan picking up the pistol. Slow and steady does win the race for Rain, and what a double entry for him, getting behind enemy so lines. Like the MVP of Antwerp. Kerrigan calls a strat. FaZe's major trophy. Strat gets blown up, but like, honestly, I feel like it and benefits FaZe. In fear of being caught oh, five this before, very but we're completely just starting to take timings and individually make choices. Oh. Rain walks so FaZe Thank can you. run, and Na'Vi just try and save their guns. It's actually fucking. Uh, I swear to God, very it's well cheap. recovered. Very well recovered. And I mean, if that's a sign of things to come out of raid. Not thanks You're to the four-month primer. How thank you. This can go for Jump punch makes the three-month primer. Thank a big you. Big game player. All that experience. Exotic thanks to the one gifted and graphic thanks to the one. Inception. Cheering on their teams and respect it. Kung Fu thanks to the eight-month primer. The architect. He's built it from the ground up. Like these are, I mean, Got maybe Kerrigan's micromanaging these back -back situations. Grand finals for this guy. No one I expected just, that. Not with the form he came through into this Na'Vi team. I just think he's letting the individuals cook, G2. man. He performed when it mattered most. And we're going to keep our eyes on him today as well in this final and see if he can bring that near MVP level performance he showed us in Paris. We know it's there. He's just got to dig deep. Faze just trying to keep this clean. Mac 10s and methodical into the cave. I now be having stacked so many bodies over towards that other side of the map. I mean, Faze have got them right where they want them in this round. There's not much to get excited about here for Na'Vi. Yeah. Faze, this is very measured. Yeah. Their hearts are racing as much as everyone else, Harry. I mean, you know, they've seen what Na'Vi can do on these pistols. They've seen what Na'Vi can bring to the end. table there. But actually, they're just scouting out the Mac 10s here. I kind of like this. It's cool. always a factor, but they've heard a USP towards this B bomb site, so they yeah. shouldn't be too concerned. Sooner the better before these rotates come in. There's the right and side. And the helm. Just going to brute force his way into the empty site. They don't know it yet, but they've already stuck the landing on this conversion. 
Once that plant comes in right now, there is one man in the site with them in the form of Alexi, and he isn't being accounted for, but surely he can't make this weird. One kill off of the USP. Is there anything else from Alexi B in this round? They go and box one nice If Navi can play this late enough, they can force FaZe to die with a bomb. We know how, uh, how large that radius is on this site, on this map. And so Navi go into the final few seconds to keep FaZe on their toes. Brokey loses oh, his face. Nice this one's getting expensive. Oh, There's even more JRB kills Eagle after, holy shit. In alongside him. Frozen is trapped right now. Frozen might need a helping hand. And so this round, it's not a That's win for actually... Na'Vi, but it's well done closer. for Na'Vi there. Pyrrhic victory for FaZe. As they lose nearly everyone in that anti-eco round, a round that was supposed to be crisp and clean. For, for having absolutely fuck all right there. That was, yeah, I mean, Na'Vi's thrilled. Troops tight, and that was a lot of rifles for FaZe. So it's not going to be too good of a feeling after that. Na'Vi have them ripe for a reset, right to break their money. In round number three, the buy comes through. Navi's aggressive B ramp moves are something FaZe need to keep an eye on on the CT side. As Adesh said, plenty of data, recent data, plays that can't be changed since that semi final. FaZe want to set the pace though into the A site. Quick A. There we go. All right, it's been Kerrigan a call, baby. It up until now, but FaZe trying to deal an early Calling knockout for the blow game. here, running straight through main. Na'Vi have got the rotates, they're bringing everyone over, but will that be enough to stop the pace out of phase? Carrigan oh my god, they're first. getting in there, wonderful. wonderful, what the fuck, Boston too? Almost in. three, oh. Is cut down. Well played, Na'Vi well fucking handled. Those guns come well out handled. immediately. Phase feel the full burn of Na'Vi. A confident call to arms for Na'Vi. You see well those instant smokes, you don't know whether to doubt them or not. Well, He's got about a good game. Off the execute. My Do we really want to drag every sub, single thank you. player and exotic, over? Thanks to the one gifted, the thank you, appreciate y'all. We'll keeping our eyes on in this matchup Na'Vi between Na'Vi these two Alexi B, brother, come on now. But Alexi calls right, and Na'Vi have just enough inside of the site. Now it's Phase's chance to dance with pistols. <laughs> Oh. Oh, oh, frozen. Not afraid of the beast. Oh, my God. Out. That's the end of the round. No, but he gets dude. out with the first. Don't let him face really the round. To phase right now in this low oh, buy round. Oh, no. Okay, big guy one. Tech nine. Once again, Karen. Karen can Oh, out no. Complaints to the manager on that one. Alexi with the backstab. The extra animation on the reload. And a 3v3 now. Silence across over towards this A site. Alexi still no, pressuring through the middle. It's a dangerous man. reset. They can Appreciate lose the, the bomb in this fight right now. Alexi has Fair no idea, but support. the sure people are coming through. One, which is he done. lines oh, up, no. but he can't connect the shot. He can reset. The help comes through. Oh, Frozen no. saves the day, oh, and he no. might go for oh, a little no. bit more. Oh. JL oh, with a tap down mid, what? and suddenly FaZe are favorites no more. Citrus down, Brokey, goddamn! Oh, dude, please see that jail. a clutch out of this, this guy. So Some on this very sick. map at this very major. Omar, this reset is beautiful. There's YouTube. no way Thank you're ready you, for it. Oh, come on, bro. He forgot the ball. JL's got it. Heat up. Back. Heat up. There and you go, so dude. JL showing a one up tap in, in there. full force. Beautiful what? taps down through middle. What a shot. Where did this guy come from? We saw him in the playoffs of a major. We saw him with Apex making so a bit of a run, falling to okay. the champs. Let's see this one he tap, was not right here, right here, right here. Oh. Nor matches oh. like he has been here in the Damn. Navi jersey, playing up to the level, playing up to the stakes and the pressure. His rating exceeding that of ever before. No time like the present for JL to step up. And if you remember in that G2 game, it propelled Navi forward on a seven round streak. That one ace he found so early on the CT side. Can that explosive beginning for the Lithuanian do the same here? It certainly has to the money. FaZe have nothing to show for it. A very well recovered round, considering how it starts as well with Frozen well done, getting dude. the ball rolling out. It was getting messy. FaZe is trying to make it chaotic, right? Starting even with the pistol. Clan. But Navi holding their nerve, man. Good to see. But with the just uh, just glocks here on the phase side of things, you're not too worried. Wonderful is posted. Yeah, nobody's right ever place lost for the block round in playoffs. This is kind of a nice call for phase because it, it feels like a bomb plant is guaranteed. Unless Wonderful risks it all and re-swings with a USP, which he has been known to do, uh, phase should be able to get a bomb plant here, certainly. And that's <laughs> a overall a win in this round. He thinks the name of the recent thank you. On mid. Now Wonderful knows what's up, but can he put a stop to it? Awkward miss. That's going to let the glocks in. Ema will take up position in its CT. On start. Right now, that bomb is trapped out behind the box. It moves through with Ema backing him 
up, and so it's well contained. Plant denied. The one thing FaZe wanted to get out of this round will elude them. Bit of an error for Brokey to cross all the way behind Big. If he took the close routing, he could have got back to the site. And with Carrigan and Dona, that's a perfect round to make yourself some money. Money he would love for that AWP. You want to talk Brokey, he has been an absolute monster in this major. Highest rated player for FaZe, slipping under the radar. So many players, so many question marks on the MVP of this tournament. And not just the winner of this final match. Jail just who's crazy on round be? four again. Jail just going crazy, man. No op for now. Brokey right. has to sit on the sidelines. Cat denial smoke early. Frozen's gonna try, stake his claim to mid again. He's able to do it with the Tech-9, so he's working that early. Wonderful Luba, here with the Orp, he's got support here. as well. In the meantime, look at, look where at he's this looking. Car 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 what? The top Nico couldn't do that yesterday. Holy Somehow Carrigan shit. can. And he's even got the Carrigan? read here. Pushing up through the short smoke. Oh, oh my. my god, Carrigan is making a play. He has got oh no my idea. god. The captain carries the torch and the rest oh of the Oh my fallen. god. Well, this B site is now around. so tantalizing. They've spotted that AWP over in Donut. The one man they don't know about yet is Alexi. Oh, they know. Sure, so a 23 month primer. Bones. Thank you. He's in a cage. What a round. Put some respect on Kerrigan's name. Literally, first fucking gun round after getting broken. They don't clear this. Man he called his own number, play, entry the best player for Navi. Of this possibility. And hits the, the lurk map, they on Emma cleared. on the rotate. Single-handedly just like won his team around. Budge. They wanted him to shoot off the flashbang. Brokey oh. will clear it, and well checked there. Alexi now knowing about. And so All getting done, out man. is not All a certainty done. for Alexi B. He is pinned in, boxed in, frozen. Should have this one dead to rights because Alexi eventually has to make a move. He's the one under the pressure no, to try and save AK. his M4. Same craft, but He's dead. just coincidence. Oh, frozen oh. just has really good taste, Chad. Three. Alexi finds a way. The slippery fin saves his AK, but FaZe saved the day, and it's okay. all from the man on your screens. Here we An go. Amazing double Let's see what entry, we got now. pushing through two smokes in that round. Oh my god. Catching <laughs> Na'Vi by surprise. Good return to form from Carrigan as well. He's had a bit of a rough start to this game, hasn't he? Always been that first man to fall for FaZe. But he makes his play in that round there. And it brings them right back into the fold. The pressure now on Na'Vi's shoulders. Frozen once more trying to dance with these two players in middle. And he finds a good timing here. Slipping across right as bit as up and moved away. Rain, cave I mean, man. This is this is basically his position. On his way to take back his home. One of the most formidable <laughs> cave players you've got. The caveman of FaZe Clan. Oh, Kerrigan getting jail again. Swiftly traded and dealt with by Bit, but that's pressure over here towards that's B. It, I mean, Alexi for Kerrigan, you want that all day. Right beside him. One for one trade. He knows they're coming his way. He knows they're love looking that. for him. Rain makes it across. Do they want to challenge Ooh, they here onto Alexi? They're doubling up Bit. seems to think so. He's there to back up his captain. Oh, wow, play. Between the two of them. They literally they just gave long B, dude. Hold back Clan over at Cave. Frozen's going to throw nice his hand into the ring. Frozen arrives. Whoa! Oh, what? what a crazy way to do it! Holy but he can't shit. find the second man. And that leaves it all on Rops. Okay. Smart player. Listening for the info. Listening for the footsteps. He goes hunting for Ema back in the spawn. That's the first on his way to the Rops. clutch. 1v3 grand final. What to do for Rops? And not a lot of time to get it done. In 20 seconds, he might need both he kills is. here. Smoking his way, but he plays through. Oh. And that's went wonderful. Stops Rops in his tracks. Well Fantastic done. double well game set up there. We're already seeing a lot of fights going on in this side of the Kerrigan map. Gets and Alexi the plays it to perfection with B. Bit, trading off of him. And Rain you can feel Rob's cooking, goes for game smoke control down at 30 seconds. Two gambles, tall nobody task. comes up long B and doubles up. And right cave. now, trading rounds are these two teams. I don't know if that was Bit or Alexi swapping punches. Bit, but holy. Both, both coming out bloody and bruised. It's phased with an early timeout.
legendary Goddamn. players and coaches on both sides chipping in. Hey, even a former in-game leader for FaZe at one point, Brief, was Neo, but now back behind the boys. Oh, shit. Hey. Let's go, dude. What? Guys, it died. God right damn now, we're focus. seeing Caravan just completely counter JL. He's killed him at least twice on this B-site entry. Did not think he would be JL's kryptonite, but someone has to. Yeah, I mean, really, there's crowd. been Lock two in. standout players throughout this, and that's wonderful in <laughs> JL. Ema has had a recovery since he's gotten onto these playoff stages. Right now, the most interesting one of me is Bit leading the way at eight and three. Yeah. Trout, you're there to entertain the last me. Man Lock standing in. of that old Navi squad. Mom, thanks for the six month mm. recent unbelievable Lisa phase in a final. And he's got something to prove today. Mike has with the 11 month primer. Alexi Thank you. Is Appreciate you. Fearless on this cave side. We often see players go through this smoke with a bit of mid pressure. The phase stoic indeed, holding back behind the doors. Rain setting up rocks for an entry now. Alexi's oh. going to get out of there. And at just the right time as well. Couldn't have been better. Alexi still floating around, wants to try and end this over in cave. Rain goes Ooh. first, rocks the trade. Rocks, can he do it? He can't. Can't measure up to Alexi. There you and go, so the Alexi. AK there you go. Lost. And with it, the round, it all comes crumbling around phase class. Well Na'Vi go flawlessly into the lead here. This is such a confident game from Na'Vi right now, despite the things that FaZe have thrown at despite them. Right? The that fucking start, dude. The Navi, Navi is locked in right now. Smokes on entries and boxing Alexi in. Na'Vi looks so unperturbed by the rounds they've lost. I just keep stacking them up. Flawless. That's going to go a long way on the CT economy. FaZe may have bitten off more than they can chew with this cheeky map pick. Remains to be seen. A rebuy now. Got to bring your best Bucks move to the, the table. That's a nice grenade. Thank you. Appreciate Even you, man. Bruised early. Mike Solo is thank you as well, Mob. Thank from you. Bit, who will go back to reinforce. But right now, this B-Sites needed little assistance. Alexi's lights out. Like the stream chat, get the numbers up. Oh yeah, if you guys are on YouTube, that shit always helps. Appreciate y'all. Phase one middle, and with that, they've got to respect okay. these smokes. Cat denial smoke late. They know he that they're... Oh, the yeah, they, I was going to say, they know they want to come up mid with that. Smoke in mid, eventually. Phase are going to look to come through this. So how long does Ema hang around for? They're looking to come through right now. So Ema oh. just going to spray and pray. Oh, he got out, he got out. Broke. He caught in the crossfire. Carrigan closing in, but won't get past the double donut setup. God damn, bro. Well That's played. Off the bit as he recovers bro, this round. This is the second time I've seen Bit and move perfectly mid to round. Really awkward hole here. To just, like, just win it. Two of Bit's All rotations have single-handedly won Navi the round. Way. He's, and this is a done deal, surely not. This is Navi. crazy, dude. You have Absolutely all the right players are showing phase. up right now. With another clean well round on the bye. Curious to see if FaZe wakes up, though. Can you imagine what this Na'Vi team would look like if all of these players Danny, played at their one. peaks? It Cost feels like we might get that today. Thank you. Bits hitting some fantastic headshots. JL has done the same. And Alexi, an in-game leader who has been known to hold his own individually. And it's safe to say that's the case here. Right up top of the board alongside Bit. We've not even seen Wonderful's Orb matter yet. So there's still so much more to come for Na'Vi. B-Pop. A worrying start for FaZe. So just here's left side the smoke. Execute here. They've got so little to play with. Just take lines running smoke. through smoke. B-Pop, yep. Here we go, here we go. Everything to gain. JL inside of the site. Alexi wins his fight over at the K, but it's Bit run down first. JL and Ema trying to contain this. It's phase move in. They oh, think no. on a name. Oh, no. to get out of control. Ooh, Alexi wrestling with the AK. Support from Wonderful. Alexi one new can't one. deal with the last man. Oh, oh one new one. he knows this where is he is now. Stab. Brokey's oh, now my got God. Time. Brokey's now got a chance. A long way to go for My the man literally clock. sat up. He said, I know but where you are, motherfucker. Don't underestimate Brokey in these clutches. He's so decisive. He's going to go straight for it, fearless, knowing he's got that great timing and the wonderful is a long way away. The question is, where does he go in the post part? Brokey clearing out positions and putting it together. 
piecing this flank from Wonderful. It's There's only it one together, but it's not pieces, for him now. So might get active no earlier. Advantage, but the info, the Let's position, see. the risky post Hard read for Wonderful now. He's desperately need this round. This is their best chance yet. And Brokey playing with his food. Phase round. That's what all the about. half by cluster fuck, baby. That's a phase special. That's the phase we were here for. That's a phase you paid to see the clutch Messy factor, the X factor, the star power. Brokey saves it. That was Tech Nines on a B rush. Navi melted them. But a clutch comes through and phase are back to their winning ways. Okay, Everyone has your AK that run. My stocks are going up for my AK. Tackle with this cave. Comes at a cost. That cost is health, but he gains control in exchange. Brokey's delivered them the lifeline, but now FaZe have got to capitalize on it. It can't just be the one and done. This is their chance to break through and tie up the half right here, right now. Carrigan waits. Here it is. Took him a little while to get find his footing here and get on the board for Carrigan. Oh. That kill tees up FaZe nicely. An early 5v4, JL caught pushing. So now Na'Vi scramble for answers. They scramble to try and make sense of this. There's that wonderful A double. Oh! oh! Wonderful! No! Oh, that shot God, misses. Brokey God, gets dude, revenge. I think he caught under his arm. Back the round. Phase is so oh good at resetting God, these dude, moments. They won't give you it. any more. They won't chase for another kill. It was kill. like right under the cold. armpit. They will go quiet. The seed of doubt in Na'Vi. Can they find anything? Oh, Carrigan does it again. Every time FaZe have needed these little advantages squeaked out, Finn's been good for it. JL pushed his ramp like he did to drop 150 ADR versus C2 Poggers. JL pushed his ramp, like like ADR, and, JL pushed his ramp and dies one time. Right what is he doing? They're not, they're not ready for this, and so Brokey clutching the last. He's got to do it again. This time, one step further, one step too far. As Navi oh, shit. collect themselves, they dust off from that rough start they're gifted there. And they deny FaZe that even scoreline on the half. Yeah, despite those explosive entries as well, Carrigan's still continuing to ruin JL's day, but it doesn't matter. He's got his team to rely on. Bit active mid-round. You know what's and funny Ema is, JL actually explained exactly why he plays He's the way that he does his yesterday. Story today. And it was, this was great, Brown was a great example. He said, I feel confident making those plays because even if him. I fuck up, the system can't fail. And my teammates will pick up for me. He literally finally, dies, gets entry, making a push that he normally side, makes, Brokey, <laughs> and him for an bit clean it up. It's been a long time coming. How's it Mage, look now that Brokey gets his thanks weapon of choice down the lane? Thanks for eight. Danny, long, thanks for your tier one, thank line. you. Looking for that first incision, oh. Brokey nails it. Tech Nines run down JL. And a quick dig from Ross. And the another half five for Faze, dude, oh, holy shit. Looking to make amends here. Ema burning alive, and it's just wonderful. Left against it all. Made the smoke open, but oh, the shot good. sails past it. Faze with one orb and a collection of pistols. They've left an impression here. Faze legitimately Trading only one pistol round. They the one pistol, the end of they converted, chat. And Wonderful. then they only won tech nine round. Anything connects, he can get something to give him an edge. Brokey Brokey. wants the knife. Brokey's getting ballsy. Wonderful flashed, and as he moves up, if he pulls this knife, Brokey will fall, but frozen trades and Faze pull up. With just that AWP and the pistols. BO3 chat. And they get something to latch onto heading into this second half. Just enough. Five rounds. You're not celebrating if you're phased, but you're well and truly in the game. Some clutch rounds coming through, but Na'Vi playing to another level right now. A level we've never seen ah, damn, out of this team. A crew put together off of the performance of Paris, and you were ready to write them off, but they are in the major final. Yeah, it would have been so easy to think that those were, you know, one-hit wonder performances, the highest heights that a lot of these individuals had ever reached was there on the stages of Paris. <clears throat> but they look to prove the world wrong here. That first and now, half felt like it went really fast. Displayed to open yeah, dude, up in that it's, first half. It's, it's, I don't think it's Alexi fast. leading as well. Kerrigan was calling with and some pretty on large pace captain. right there, right? He tried to... Pressed so Navi early, he got stopped for it, then got Jobs reset, and then a bit harder, literally the one gun round that they won now was Kerrigan walking through top B smoke in the first 20 seconds of the round. They roll wrong. Very fast half. Very Rain fast. with the dual Barrettas. It's all him. 
Navi what move on in. They flood over the site. Carrigan will get here in time, but he's one man against the world right now. I'm run down. Oh no, they got Locked the end game for today. Spawn. Flashes to get through it. Oh Hoover fuck. Pays is gonna make the first They're gonna have to respect here. it or go to be mid. Rain. Yep. They reroute through middle. Ema offers something up. Ema offers up that 4v4 into the retake. And now they rejoin phase. They rejoin Rain over in cave. Great control. He's been spotted, dinked by the Glock. Hit. Two in from Ramp. Phase is slowly but surely yep. moving in, but not for long as Na'Vi swiftly deal with this retake before it even begins. There goes, Denied at the door. No ID, no entry. And Na'Vi shut looking clean, phase man. out of that B-bomb site. The gamble goes wrong. Na'Vi looked way and better on gun rounds. Worse. And they got pistol. If they convert here, it's a scary situation for FaZe right now. What are we witnessing? This is getting real stressful for FaZe. This is getting real stressful for Carrigan. They play blinders. Guilty thanks for the 40 month reset so thank you. Appreciate you. But he still is yet to lift a trophy here in the Royal Arena. It's his third final. His third final in this very I'm just building. His fourth that was time on the stage. Mistake. And still not enough. Will that be the question for Carrigan on home soil? Emo wants to make it so easy entries into the Based middle. On the fact that and he's forced by from up phase, before. dissipating in front of our eyes. That was a big mistake. They will have to dig deeper. <clears throat> than ever before. This should be a 10-5 lead for Na'Vi mm. when all is said and done. And once again, the Finnish tactician moves Those his pieces to close. the right place. No, but his phone might have thought it was being real smart. Emer is very wounded, very hurt. And so that kill is given over for mm. free. Oh, hang on a second. Carrigan might be onto something here. He's just caught with whiff of Alexi going into the cave, but he can't best him in the head-to-head. -head. And so that flank from the captain is nullified. That flank from the captain Broke is with knocked the down the round. You, Na'Vi with a bomb plant. And everything to play for here. FaZe can't justify going for this. And so Brokey and Rain have got to save, and look at what they're saving. Nova, MP9, as they concede a ninth round to Na'Vi. This is going to leave them with the very little room right now, down the stretch. Phase, it's got yeah. to start so Copium strong for, for phase when those rifles come out. This is phase map choice, but you're not shit on Mirage. Here on Ancient. That's still their code. Another round to catch their breath for Na'Vi to get more ferocious, more rapid. And one step closer to closing phase's nah, map pick in this series. For crying out loud, Na'Vi. It's Mirage next. They've beaten this very team with Blade playing on that map. Na'Vi must be feeling unstoppable right now. Listen. And once again, again the question is posed to phase. Have a little chat with Carrigan about what Neo brings to the table. He likes to call into these low buy rounds. He likes to help with the CT sides. He is that kind of analytical coach, hands on, tries to get involved. And so, yeah, based on breath response, time chat, I think it was a mistake, by the way. Try and Definitely do that now. Let's see what Neo and Carrigan have cooked up between them in a round that phase of absolutely no business winning. They come into this with a shotgun and an MP9, a handful of nades. So the phase clan artillery is certainly Either getting ready. Or something. Will not be full for the trap. like an instant dump. Na'Vi do not take their spawns, nor their oh, opportunity dude. lightly. They Wait, go for Alexi's a full AXEC. It is empty. This is with literally what middle. Carrigan they know was they calling for, but I guess it is versus full eco, but still. Na'Vi with a red carpet rolled out, looks to lock in 10 oh, rounds. Shit. And there's nothing that FaZe can do or say about this. They're smoked off at every choke point. The only angle open right, is well, here through Temple, and even that's being held. That's, that's a quick way to lose the round. There's no way Brokey can save the day with a Nova. And so FaZe have a very tricky task rolled out ahead of them. 
The moment these rifles come out Save in the next round, they've got to no, find honestly, success. Honestly, he should look for one. 900 kills would be huge for him here if he should even... together anything more than just these uh, one and done rounds. They've got to embark on a streak a here. Nova because Na'Vi have pulled up in title winning form. Alexi leads the way in and out of the server. Maybe and Sicko, is, yeah, we might be. It's not a weak piece in sight right hey, now Sicko, for Na'Vi. We're at least for ready to ride off days. players like you, Kima, uh, but he has only got to do better anything before stage I dip? by stage, game by game in the major. Bits having his do, best performance yet right now. Get it together it now feels, so that way I can handle it before I go. And Wonderful has not even been required, but he was the reason that G2 had problems yesterday, that they couldn't close that semi-final. He's the reason they're here. How deep does this right, here we go. run for Na'Vi? Let's see, FaZe. Let's see Will FaZe drown in it? Ricky had to wait till the end of that first half. Oh, 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 what? oh what a crazy opener on a Frozen. Oh, my. Jesus Christ. With a wide Christ. swing. Okay, okay. He's Calm the fuck down. Everyone chill. Pull this back the other way. Chill. This is... I'm old. This has happened a little fast. Chill. Everybody... Green. Let me breath, digest. Steering a reaction through the cave to try I mean, I think at this point for Navi, it is just going to kind of be a, a B end and then take your fights and help you trade out or get an entry here. Oh, he stuck out though. Forward, but Rain is very much in the sight nice. now. Getting involved. Okay, Maybe phase. There you go. Tandem. There's some fucking Send life. Navi packing, and now it's just Alexi. Top in the chart, sure, but a one v four. You'd have never seen the day. Missed shot from Brokey to open. How old am I? So I'm 31. Many here I think. Ready to react. Yeah, I'm 31. Ready to punish. Ready to trade. Alexi can't take this any further. Surely one more kill, but there's Rock. After like 25, it's all the same. On that B site. Ema might have opened, but the victory is short lived. What a great play for Rain as well, right? We talk about how powerful mm -hmm. he is in the cave. He plays behind the Molly, not fearing Alexi's move. He plays ahead Don't of the Molly, that to me. and he Sorry, still guys, lets Carrigan get that first you. contact that sets him up perfectly to refrag. Even if Carrigan dies on that, that just shows how <laughs> selfless he is on a leader. He's happy to set up his stars, set up his players. Keen to go in first T side and divvy up that entry roll and keen to take the first contact on B as well. Faze have to prepare uh, guys, themselves, I'm the they beard. have to springboard off of that gun Until the day I stop streaming and then nobody will recognize me. And with the way the Na'Vi are playing, it's not going to come, back come and easy. I'll actually have Ema a second running stream. through a mid-smoke with no support. It's his birthday, happy birthday, it feels birthday, man. Right now in this grand final. There is something to be said, especially after, you know, a pretty dismal look in the elimination stage out of Ema. That, that confidence that he finds in himself on stage is that of... Clark Kent, yeah, dude, honestly, since I don't normally wear glasses, these aren't prescription. When I go to events and shit, people see me without them, I think it scares them. Oh, no! The caveman is back. Oh, bye-bye, wonderful. What? Wonderful with the turnaround. So this one's not done yet. This one is far from over. That kill should have been Carrigan's all day long. How did he not even... Wonderful has found a way. Did it, like, low. look like it was on him, though? Like, this round lives and dies on the am play. I crazy? Made by rain, but he's hit the gap. They're walking through. They Sub have no I idea. Said it. Rain waits. Baited breath. Wonderful. About to fall. And that's okay. the bomb in tow. Rain won't turn around. They're out in sight. He's got to be aware of this. Rain waiting. Flash coming over, but rain is ahead of it. Oh, I can't respond. Bit. Now has that bomb back under control. Rops, will he get there in time? He's low on health. But all this distraction down towards Ramp has mm. at least got this orb set up in the right place at the right time. Will they go hunting for Rops? Will they go looking for the man in middle? Do they grab this bomb and move into B? Flashes over into the B site. Rops is about to confirm that the path right. forward is through mid. Dropping down. Rops gets out with the first. It's just Ema now. And in comes that AWP. All right, FaZe, come on. Phase. They're able to withstand these blows <laughs> from Na'Vi. My man is going through they it. Are pulling We're themselves only on map slowly one. but surely back into this game. My it doesn't matter how many times you knock it. down FaZe. They still find a way to get back up after. Never out cold. Always good for a comeback, and I hope they give us that today. At least make this oh, game shit. competitive. 
Starting to get loud now. Crying about a video game? He wasn't crying, it's but starting I... starting to get easier. Phase of broken that brittle economy of Na'Vi. Also, imagine shaving somebody for a crime in the first place. Phase are able to win these rounds on their oh. T side, but Na'Vi, that's no not going to do them any favors. A missed Ain't Molotov no way. for that B grow site. Up. A smoke in the face, Na'Vi go through. Literally grow up. Oh, straight through. Oh, there you go, Kerrigan. Straight Man, into Phase's mastermind, who's now going to make a stand all alone. Flash is Oh, wow. As, okay, the wait, Kerrigan keeps wait, on wait. giving. Plot wait. found. Na'Vi, they can at least get this bomb planted, but can they do anything more? Frozen doesn't seem to think so. They have no chance okay. when this one began, and hell is frozen over now. Puts them in boxes. How has Carrigan been some of the most impactful fragger in this server, in this series? Both the captains have. Such an important double denial. You can tell me it's just pistols, but if they break through for free there, that's Na'Vi poised, armed, and in a post-plant. <laughs> that was Kara goes down there, chat. If you guys didn't that. see him get interviewed earlier. Phase in the phase, find there's a right behind the woman in the ESL the hoodie. Difference now. Mm -mm. Alexi's got to dig deeper. Get that shovel out but the ground might have frozen over. Ooh. It's time FaZe are trying to fight for middle, and Na'Vi are willing to meet them there. Two players out on an island here in mid. It's Frozen and Rops making this play oh, through the front. Yeah, pretty much the whole playoffs is delivered. We've had some stomps here and there. It's bound to happen, but waiting with a smoke overall, the major's been fantastic for the game, man. It's been really good. Oh, hello. Sneaks on through the cave smoke. Bypasses the two players in there. Yeah, be careful, dude. Don't go in that corner, Alexi. Rookie mistake. Can be wicked, though. I've died to many a face player that figured out you can shoot through that. Very dangerous position. And while Na'Vi take mid and blind phase while doing so. Brokey's passive enough that he doesn't seem to care. Double K ramps open. We leave Carrigan to hold the window. With no kill offered up, Na'Vi must walk into the jaws of phase. Crossfire set up. Alexi hasn't cleared deep enough. Alexi didn't clear it. And so Frozen gets out scot free. Can he fire? Oh! oh! Frozen is away what now! What fucking shot, bro. Quick double kill, but he's still got more to do. His job not done yet in this round. JL cancelled this frozen finds him oh and now it's my just phase is here, baby. They are here. Let's to go. go. To the moors of this B site to concede yeah, this baby. lead that Navi once boasted. And what are you Bits cooking up now, Alexi? With his tail between his legs. It's a one what are you cooking now? Game. Navi cannot get ahead of themselves here. FaZe have been in these positions before. And they are making the absolute most of it. Frozen looks so good in that phase jersey. Look at this re you know, reuniting core, mm -hmm. that old mouse squad. Carrigan moved to greener pastures. He pulled Rops up and Frozen waited. Frozen waited two years in Mouse to get his chance. And he is not going to waste that opportunity. Oh. Back to back, back breakers from Frozen. Navi needs something right here, right now. Something to celebrate. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. They need a hero. Oh, we Wolfers mentioned how this going. performance from Bit has been uncharacteristic. By the way, thanks for the, the follows on the subs as well on YouTube, guys. The guy on Twitch and the subbies on YouTube. Oh, yeah, oh what an that's what he does. God. First kill Damn. found out of Bit's AK. Looking a little better now in Navi as they rush up through the, the cave. Karrigan is active as try and fuck. Contain this. Frozen, they smoke him off. Look at him move, dude. They're putting a lot of pressure on Carrigan's shoulders, and that way it might be too much to bear. Carrigan goes searching oh. forward, but overran, overwhelmed. b site getting dicey. Frozen with the reply. Surely Frozen's no more. Surely yeah, that was a bit much. That was a bit much. We'll draw him to a close. That was close. a 2v2, brother. That was a 2v2, you guys. Right now. They have time. The question is, does Rops' brain read this? Does he go one step ahead, one step too far, perhaps? He makes that rotation. That was an overheat for I sure. Guess game right now, but no, I wonder if he realized like the situation. Well, must be fearful. The rops lurks in the darkness. They go right back into the battleground. Ema attempting to find that player, but soon the plant presents itself, and Rops is a long way away. He's got to give this a go. 
He might have dodged that first contact. You can dodge Rops, but can you dodge death, Na'Vi? Over at long, Rops is opened. Wait, and now it's one wait. man left to beat JL. Oh, oh. Play it with confidence! God Jay Lionheart! Damn. In the face <laughs> of adversity, he takes it on head on. And that's what brings Na'Vi back Gives him into a little the game. smile, dude. Yeah, the face of this team, the courage oh, that JL brings. And he shows that in the clutch, that just going for a smile, straight Seth. up swing against one of the world's best mechanical aimers. Rops has been silenced. And to be fair, this is Rops's lowest rated major in that phase jersey. Those are the rounds you need him to win. And without it, Na'Vi now sit on the precipice, two rounds away. A break in the action for the black and yellow. Throughout this whole thing, you've seen FaZe Clan getting tested, slowly warming up in this second half, but this, this is the toughest moment yet. This one decides whether or not there is still hope for FaZe on Ancient. They're all in. Live or die by the AWP. Brokey mollied out. He has to concede. He has to give the site over. Na'Vi is slowly pulling that bomb around. Rops down in middle, needs this kill, and he will get it. Meanwhile, Rain found pushing the extremities over at B, but the bomb's already out through main. Kale's just a red oh herring. God. Phase take the bait. Still fishing for that kill. They can't close it. Carrigan's here putting up resistance in the side, but that Molly might force his decision. He has to smoke oh, it. He Bokey misses he his missed. shot. That was a chance. Oh, that, have, that was 2v2 if he hit by that. by now. Wonderful closing in for the kill. And Carrigan gives him a wiggle, gives him a jiggle, gives him maybe yet another round. Can Brokey save the day? This is it, live or die by the AWP, and Brokey is cut down! Na'Vi, soldier on! Holy shit. They didn't let that streak, that hot oh, streak around the phaser on shape them. My God. And with Bit and JL breaking them through, the rest of the team now stand tall. And there is nothing left for FaZe. Maybe the end of Ancient here in front of our very eyes. $2,000 a player. Get FaZe fans, get the copium back out about in. Mirage. That's what I said earlier. And now they may be out. About time. We waited for Wonderful. He shows up in the most important round of this map so far. The turning point. Holy shit, dude. And now it's the home stretch Look at for the money. Na'Vi. Look at Cruise the money. control on. But it is phase. It is phase. Maybe. If there was a team that could win this kind of round, if I had to pick any team, it would be phase. But I don't know, man. I don't so know. So much is waited on this first fight. And oh, even the nades, the nades. Oh. <laughs> but this time, the nades will get the better of him. Well, you got one entry. They need that gun more than ever. That's how now, what is been looking call out of this? Ahima's plays out through mid all game long, and yeah. so finally they get that reward. They go a man up on the back of the util down in middle. Very risky play to make. Is that the olive branch? Is that the lifeline for FaZe Clan that they so desperately needed? Can they convert? Editor, and say what I said about FaZe for if they win the this round. take is nice delete it. because FaZe shouldn't have double or if they lose this round, thank you. It does you. mean the rifle is in position to win the round for FaZe in they the lose, middle. I never said if it. Na'Vi go for it. JL's got a lot on his plate. Just letting Sicko know. A one-two punch ready to swing. Karakan again taking that contact, but it's all frozen. It's all that solid Power of AK. <laughs> Shut up, Sicko. You don't even edit all anymore. Alone in middle. The round is on frozen shoulders. They creep out. It is David V. Goliath. And he is removed. Fucking bit, bit deals dude. with him. Navi can feel this. Bit. They want this. Wait, Just the Vicky! And it's down the test of time. Why the fuck? Can he save the day? Can he cook something up here? Oh, wait, but... Oh, 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 not a lot of time to do it. Faze know that. That bomb is right there for the taking. Can he get it and get out? 20 seconds for JL to make his decision, to make his move. But Brokey again, a step ahead. He doubts oh, it. Wait, JL's guys, got guys, an open guys, he has to go. Go, oh go, God, B. Calling what, off what? that rotate. That He's might cost Faze everything. Would be dead JL's if he was gonna there. get in here. He's, He's got gonna it. have to plant for free. Now Faze oh, and Brokey's giving him the 1v1. Long on both players. This fight. Oh, no! And that move, that could be the move that cost FaZe $500,000. Oh, just JL oh, left in this one. No! And it's Rain. 
over eight years on this roster. This is the time no to deliver. No you got the lion go. heart, the mad lion of oh. JL lies in wait. And he is not giving them anything. All the pressure is on Rain's shoulders. No kit means it's he done. needs the kill. And JL Holy who else but fucking JL in the 1v3 to seal it? Alexi B usurps the king on Ancient. A risky map to rumble in the jungle. And Carrigan may pay that price. Faze lives Darby. and dies by the individual One choices. In the grand final. And man, it backfired on some of those rounds there at the end. The frozen walk through smoke. The brokey rush on the bomb. And honestly, quite frankly, the late rotation. He stayed A. They knew the bomb was down. Donut. Kevin, come here, Kevin. I don't know. They think it's me, I think. They think it's me. Elbow left side, baby. One tempo, one. Cross tempo, guys. I have tempo. I'm out of him. I have tempo. He's alone, he's alone. Okay. Tempo. Do, 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 if he should. He could be doing it. No, no, do, if he should. But I'm coming to him. I have tempo. Did you close? Nice, last MVP, close tempo. No? Oh, punching. Can you close? 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 Bro, how I get frozen with that? All right, chat, it's that time, everybody's favorite time. I'm gonna run a flom size ad here. All right. Oh. Man, what a map one, what a map one. FaZe fans, remember to cope. You're not bad on Mirage. It just happens to be Navi's best map. Good luck, be right back. Level up your gaming space with metal posters from Displates. Paint your Displates in seconds. Swap them whenever you like. Get official art from your favorite games on a uniquely designed metal canvas and choose from thousands of posters. Join over 3 million collectors now. Your wall upgrade is here. Shop now at Displate.com. We are proud to announce new additions to the XL series. Both are using fast TN panels and newly upgraded DIAC2 technology. Fast TN panel with its faster native response time can reveal enemy outlines quicker during flashbang attacks. For IPS panel, more overdrive is required to enhance response speed, leading to dynamic image blurring due to the panel's inability to handle the load. These new monitors integrate new dynamic accuracy technology, DIAC2. The upgraded dual backlight design not only provides FPS players with clearer visuals at dynamic aiming and spray control, but are also more friendly to your eyes. Moreover, built in the monitor panel, DIAC2 functions independently and doesn't require any sync with PCs, ensuring no impact on game performance. XL setting to share now has auto game mode feature. Besides download, save, share your settings, it will auto apply different color settings based on your usage scenarios. Outlook of the latest monitors are refreshed. It has incorporated industrial grade bearings into the height adjustment mechanism, allowing easier and smoother adjustment to the exact desired height. The new monitor series continue to evolve, refining details to ensure players can perform their best consistently in games. This is a brief introduction of the new XL monitor. Feel free to DM us if you have any questions. Yeah, what's popular, it's loud. And this is ASON's commercial. But ASO has spent all the money to make the headphones good, and they got no money left for the commercial. So I'm gonna need you to head to ASONIO. A C E Z O N E. Yo. Code PGL, 50 euros off. We got some headphones. It's now or never.
Welcome back to the desk. Navi, draw first blood. And guys, I'm going to throw it over to you. I think sometimes there is a very fine line between genius and insanity. We have praised Carrigan for being the veto master. He said we play all of the maps now. You never know what we're going to do. And we were surprised to see that ancient pick come in, especially having seen Navi on it just the other day. We got to criticize him. Sometimes when you're cooking, you can overcook it a little bit. I oh, think yeah. that's really, literally what happened. We preface the saying, and we had the same criticism of G2 yesterday. Why didn't you play Nuke? It's your best map. It's a map you're feeling comfortable on. Same thing can be said here for the side of face. I think they're the best Nuke team right now in the world, and that is a map they should 100% be comfortable beating Navi on, despite the fact that Navi have a pretty decent Nuke as well. Sure. The fact is they go into Ancient, they have an okay game plan here and there, but then some of the individuals don't show up. But I want to take nothing away from Navi. The individuals that we're pointing at people like Emma, people like Jail. Guess who was at the bottom of the server, Rich? It was wonderful, and I still wanted con convincingly. Yeah, yeah and I, I, I like that you mentioned Navi, because this, this is my angle on the video. This is my surprise. Not just really how FaZe plays on different maps, but just what Navi showed us on Ancient against G2. Mm -hmm. From one day to the other, you're going to give them a map on which they already have certainties. They've figured out a couple of protocols. And look, the B defense was once again stacked. But I think we have to start by talking about what didn't happen for FaZe Clan. You're going to be on your T side, and there's two things that you really prefer profoundly need. You need entries from Rain and you need closes from Rops. Yeah. You had neither. Yeah. None of these pieces came together. It was only about a couple of execute change of paces that worked out. But in the, de the depth of the game, they were behind. Navi was better. Yeah, 100%. I'm a little bit disappointed in the performance from FaZe Clan on Ancient on their T side to begin with. Kerrigan had a round where he ran up a B ramp, got a double entry. That's a round win. You have two rounds where you win with the Tech Nines and the Pistols. Apart from that, there was yep. no default. There was no controlling the pace, controlling the game. We spoke about about coming into it, one of the biggest strengths of Navi is how they default on pretty much every single map on their yes. T side. How they're able to take map control, control the game, and then have a, a finish and an end product somewhere on the map. You said it yourself, Matthew. If Alexi B is thinking Face is playing picture perfect mm. Counter Strike, he's wrong, and they weren't here on Ancient. And I, that's my issue, yep. right? You know what they can deliver on Nuke. I'm a little bit more hesitant to say what they can deliver on Ancient, and we saw it right here. The T side was lacking. I mean, again, the, the mid round is not up to par for the Face standards. I think if they lose the gamble early on in the half or the round, then they just lose the rounds. Yep. A couple of times they wanted to test mid, something we wanted to see. Boom, you face you face Ima, you face Bit. That's a connection that we have to touch on as well. Two names that we put a whole lot of scrutiny ahead of this grand final but the tandem towards mid was working really well yep. and i don't know if it's a communication or if it's just the hype but they were meshing together bit sometimes left his position to come help Ime just to make sure face couldn't play mid so kerrigan kind of got himself boxed in and there were supposed mm. to be solutions that's the perfect example right here a minute 33 so it's pretty early in the round and you see face trying to put their teeth into mid a little bit of success here he gets flashed but look at the cover that's coming in right here that movement from the second ct you have the sound of Check, bait here, bit strikes him with a double kill, and that's what synchrony is for a defense. It's the ability to leave your position, come be that second line of defense, and face is completely checkmate. Mentally speaking, huge round for Navi. And it's so impressive, even more if you think about it, the fact that we're talking about the communication for this team with a couple of players having never really played in the international lineup. So it sure. really goes to show how much they've grown as a team. I want to highlight the rounds at phase of one over here, right? Fine. You win a pistol rounds right there. Apart from that, a lot of the rounds are predicated on a Carrigan just walking up around ramp to the smoke, catching Jail off guard a couple of times. We saw the broke a clutch in a 1v1 just running towards A bomb set. The scrappy rounds it was struggling to find to get on the T side. So considering you picked this, looking to punish Navi CT side, which you saw yesterday against G2, I didn't really see much of a game. I also just want to contextualize that. As you said, you win pistol, you convert, you win a couple of force buys, you win Kerrigan one round where he walks up B ramp. T side ancient, we label it as a T sided map, yes. right? It's a map where you get to control the pace where you can make it super difficult for the CT side. Obviously, we have another Almost new, back, view, another new viewer sorry, attacks, watching right now. And normally, back in the days when it first came out, it was a CT sided map. No more. A T side where you only get five rounds after winning and converting pistol, and you even win a couple of force buys as well. Yep. It was a lackluster and mm. a horrible T side for Kerrigan. We praised him so, so much throughout the tournament for playing good T sides, for calling great. This was not one of them. No, it wasn't. And also, concerns about Rops. I mean, I think you said it perfectly. What you need is Rain to go and do the entry kills. Mm. And if that isn't happening, 
happening. Then, okay, we've got Rops as the closer. And honestly, Rops is another one of those big names. Hasn't been really in this major. Not to the high, high standards that you associate with this guy. I agree with you. I think he's been living on the remnants of the first few months of CS2, where he was such a trendsetter and he was at the top of everybody's list. But since then, it's been very moderate when it comes to Rops. And in this game, I will agree once again, there are moments in his role where you are supposed to offer solutions. You have yeah. 1v1s to take that reopen a round that maybe does not look like it's in the best of a shape. That's what a lurker is supposed to do. You're supposed to identify the moment to strike and you're supposed to offer a solution to Kerrigan. That never happened. We almost never saw a mid-round rotation based off of his info, based off of his move, and that in itself is a failure to accomplish this bad map from Robs. Yeah. And, and, and it's kind of shocking, 100% agree with you, just watching that game, you're looking at maybe Rain having, you know, a, a, a kill over the Kerrigan, getting a couple of kills, Brokey with a clutch here and there, Frozen getting multi-kills. Robs just, you didn't even barely saw him on that map right there. And I feel like this this tapering off of Rob seems to have coincided with Frozen joining the team, right? Once he joined on in. Initially, the first couple of months, first three months of CS2, Rob's was the brainiac of the game, the best rifle right there. Karagun was praising him. But ever since Frozen came in, maybe he's taking a step back. Maybe he's trying to, you know, walk around Frozen to set him up, because Frozen has been fantastic, absolutely. But at some point, they need to find a solution to get Rob's back to what he was, or rather he needs to, because we know what a uh, beast he can be. I think using Frozen as a cop out is just easy. I think Rob yeah. still has the roles he's got to perform. I don't think that's the main reason. And if you want to make a contrast, talk about Ime for a second. Yeah. He was the one finding a few of these 1v1s. Yeah. Right, it's very important. When you play these roles, it's not just about having 25 frags at the end. It's about finding the moments where your 1v1 is yours and you take that risk. Ime did it. He didn't have incredible numbers. No. But whenever Navi was applying pressure on the B-side or cave, Ime was sliding in towards middle and he was sort of isolating the 1v1, either in cubby or in window, making sure that there is a little bit of space being taken. And that is something LXB works with. So that is a contrast in and of itself. The player that was the most disappointing of the entire event so far actually did what Robs was supposed to do, and he did it better. And especially considering we, we talk about Ima and his struggles on the CT side and whatnot, but on the T side, what we've noticed here is Ima's T side so far, the playoffs, has been substantially better than Robs has been. Which we said, I mean, remember. Which when is insane. Was, yeah, in Paris, you know, right, all right. his best games Getting were coming in the high pressure situations mm, all that on stuff, the stage. So, so it's like, I don't know patient. what happened prior to that to make the Ima coming in be so poor and then so poor again in the group stage. But look, if he can get things My done, is back, here, though. then that's amazing. Mikey, thanks to the 420. Greg, thanks to the 9. When times are hard. But, but here's we the win thing. the major, and I'm last on the scoreboard. Oh, yeah, BO5. No one yeah. Cares. yeah. He's right. Here's now the that we're at March 12, no, no, I'm not right. anti-BO5. You know Brandon, thanks to the 20 months. If he wins a major, it's because he's not on the bottom of the scoreboard. He's actually delivering the server. Look at his roles he's had good as he has on his teams. If he continues to taper up and play the ball with the bow, with a point eight rating, I doubt I doubt Navi would even be here. And maybe Navi was looking way better right there. Like across the board, I feel like. just had a great round where we showed this synergy between Bit and mm. Ima is not a player that is being set up to frag. Yes, I know that he on paper is playing in some of the positions where you'd like him to be the top fragger. And we can easily agree that him being the third rate, third worst rated Faze player coming into the playoff is not good so enough. We can for have Ima, a map but three, like but Navi man, spending a lot of time making him feel comfortable. I'm not inspired with confidence. Making everyone feel comfortable. They're spending a lot of time Alex making the defense the five a, a good synergy between chat. each said, other. Your this is not a I team looked, that caters to the star players. This is not a team that is utilizing every single less utility to set wonderful up or to set Ima up. This is a team with a big T, so as much as I want to put, you know, critique on towards Ima, which is definitely justified, he's not delivering as he's supposed to, he's not going to be the Ima from Game of Legion, not within this iteration of Navi. I mean, we're not going to criticize him now, we're going to hype him up, that's what we're doing, yeah, right? That's sure. what we're doing in this grand final. Uh, I think what's crazy is that some of the things that we thought was going to happen to FaZe happened to Navi. Hey, look at your well, entry frag a bit, incredible performance, yeah, he delivers huge. massively. Your leader, we spent so long explaining how Kerrigan steps up in big games and he's going to deliver above his own expectations. It's Alexi who's actual multi-kill machine in, in cave. He stops, he shuts the door in their faces a couple of times. So some of these win conditions just materialized for Navi. And on top of that, we know that they have the playbook. We know they have the structure. Man, look at the ADR that Bit just dropped. I know. So what mm -hmm. I said, he's a shadow of himself. 98 ADR, first map of the grand final. It is especially so impressive that, you know, we're talking about the pressure. We preface this entire matchup saying, when the pressure's really no, on, man, all that's Navi the, really the did show up. Like to call it. They're going to struggle a little bit. That. They've been on the major stage in the past. Talk about this major winner right there. But that's a major winner right there. I'm looking at Alexi B, bottom rated player in the entire mm. tournament, heading into the playoffs, top fragging in the server, leading like a captain. So it's like it's like the impossible is materializing in front of us. And let's right. just quantify that outlier, because Alexi B has been the worst rated player throughout the entire tournament. We praised him for his T side calling, for the way he set up Navi. Individually, he has had some rounds and some games where he hasn't shown up at 
all. Now coming into the final, map number one faces surprise pick on Ancient. He's the top fracker. We praise Kerrigan from Why are they it's the a bottom of the roof, pick? you know, inside the entire arena for when he had a good map. We should definitely do the same for Alexi B. That was a wonderful performance. It was a wonderful calling coming out of Alexi B. And individually, he was also a big factor on the server as to why they won. You have that duel between Kerrigan and Alexi B inside this arena right mm. now. 1 0 for Alexi B with a big fat one. Absolutely. Yep. And in these key positions, right? Cave. And now we can make the transition to Mirage as well. Yeah, it's going to be a different horizon for Alexi B because yes. you're playing that B side. For best and of five I tell final. you, you're not now getting a lot of love 12. here. It's about testing how strong mentally you are. You can have very dry sequences as well where the game is very, very not pacey for you. So this first map is exactly what Alexi B needed in order to be completely in flow state. Knowing exactly what's happening is in Kerrigan's head. He's individually fine, but he's going to rely on a good net of communication. The relay of information from his teammates on Mirage is going to be key because he's a little bit isolated. Uh, That's just sure. that comes with the territory. The, 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 the issue we've got Navi here roster, is, man. you know, Mirage, obviously, Navi's pick. Th like, there's think a about world what we where they can just blow I mean, phase out with the water on this map. Some of you are going to act like smart asses, know, but do you think about actually what we thought of this Navi roster? On ancient. You ready with that? Are we getting there? Nobody would have called it, but I'm. we're on the precipice. I really I really think Mirage is such a good map for these guys. It is such a good map for these guys. And if, if you're looking at some logic in that veto, this is the one that made sense, right? Now yep. we just go with the Mirage pick. We're good on this map. We're going to play it. But you would be wrong to assume phases is going to capitulate and just disappear from this map. Map one was they fun as fuck. Stellar Hopefully map two delivers and we get a map three. Dispatch of Spirit, one of the best teams on this very yeah, map. Exactly. A very this convincing been so You're good. talking about ops. There were three operas in a team at that point. Of it. It was Kerrigan was opting towards the B apartment. <laughs> Rob's opping with everyone cheering the opping duty, duties, and they were playing destructive. Those on Earth makes players go five, six hours, be a five step. That is the antithesis of they what don't last that long anymore, Tucker. With, with them, are called. Also, we tennis. were complaining, we were, we were bitching about phases T side on on the side of Ancient, <laughs> justifiably so. CT side, whole different ball game. Kerrigan and Face Clan, they know what's coming for you. We've seen Navi play Mirage a lot throughout this tournament, especially on that T side. One thing Alex B loves to do is throw I don't in like BO5s like with MR15, but MR12 makes it way more digestible for sure. Fantastic. So you're looking at the players who's playing out half -time ad breaks. defense within Face Clan. Can you stop that? Then I don't think Navi's T side or Mirage is that fearful. They like to go for A executes. They like to go for mid control. They like to default as I said as well. If you're Kerrigan, you know what's coming for you. Question is, is the quality of the way Navi is playing so good that even though you know what's coming for you, it's still going to surround. It's still going to be too much for Face to handle. Or is it going to be one of those scenarios where you're looking towards your big stage player in rain to shut that Two down. players. Two players got to watch for in this T side coming in from Navi. Navi, Jail, and Palace. He's going to ever present be there. And yeah. his architect oh, we're going to be talking about him. Imma, <laughs> Imma, Imma's T side on Mirage might be his best map in all honesty, and he could be the difference maker. Yeah, quick uh, final thoughts from you. Yeah, listen, the, the same realization, realization that I'm having right now, I wonder how the players are going to deal with yeah. it. Because if you are in the Navi jersey, all of the efforts you have to put in is to be able to deal with the idea that you are one map away from yeah. winning the major here in Copenhagen. And this thought comes at a heavy price sometimes. Do you yeah. think they're equipped to deal with it? Yeah, listen, I'm going to say this. Sometimes destiny, it isn't all it's cracked up to be. And Carrigan, if he's been thinking it was going to happen just because it looked like it was, there's an old saying where I'm from, if you want to make God laugh, you tell him your plans. We're going to get over to Harry and Hugo now for map two. It's going to be Mirage. Can't wait to watch this one. It's bound to be a banger, Richard. Navi are 13 yeah, the rounds away from Euro engraving Super their name everything in a new is game for with a ragtag international roster. And here, as we sit this evening in Somehow the kingdom I'm of Counter-Strike, I this ask for one thing, Royal Arena. Raise it! Give me your energy! Carrigan had to know that this one was coming. He had to know that Mirage was going to be coming through the pipeline here. And sometimes this phase squad crazy, do their bro. best out work of from behind. It's like you knew I was a eating. map down in this series. They've eating, got an eye on impossible task. We have the one that the they chat. will take to. Navi, T side opener, and a chance for them to set the pace in what could be the defining map of this first CS2 major. All right, under walk with two towards A. Fearless start for phase. The Raps see him. Straight up top mid with a vengeance. Donk-esque, but denied. This is a Rops classic gets pushed pistol, dude. This is a classic pistol. What are you going to do now? How safe is it really? Smokes go over. It's a farce. 
The bomb is a long way out. If Navi are going to commit, they have to bring it all the way back through spawn. These the smokes will be long gone by that point. I like this, though. They're taking space. The double fake back oh, to B. Oh, this is actually out of position. well mid-rounded right, right now. It's not getting given. But it's still going to come down Actual to who hits their shots. From Frozen, finding bit. Now the bomb's out nice. there. And Good now the kills from come Na'Vi. through for Na'Vi. Oh, Rob's awkward misses to open. Now they know about Should him. Should be 5-0, no, right? The stairs, and JL will secure that. You're going to get bombed down, too, 2v3. They're trying to pull this one back. 2v4 when it opens. Can JL and Alexi pick something up for Na'Vi? I think Missiles is good here. Can't found. Phase of grouping. JL's theory of a CT reagger, so he doesn't want to go into them the early. So far, the one that you could have justified crumbling he in this grand final. He should take the 1v1 when jungle is hurt. he's ever gone. But kills to yep, the good already. A... They're going to need him here. And, and now, now as JL drops another man. Smoke Alexi hit. never even giving the, them the fight from ramp. Smoke on the ball. Oh, oh, oh he got it. Carrigan dead and Frozen's going to fly solo. Knives are out. Knives are pulled and Frozen. Oh! oh. What a pullback from Navi. Not. I love that mid-round call out of Alexi, dude. Beginning that was sick. For Navi and already that was sick. Alexi B up to his tricks. Called a classic strat. Gets spotted a early. Into B fake. Has the B player. Site. Solo walk upper bomb. Read A. A, a player takes space on A. And as the death fear, the there, is a world, there is a way that Navi could just roll over Because him dying upper, he didn't map. even get a, a kill. That had seemingly but he done kept three players B. Seemingly set themselves up for another major. Slaying the dragon in the quarterfinal, removing the reigning champs of vitality in that semi. And once but again, the JL final just boss absolutely playing lights, underestimated, lights out, man. unexpected, but up for the task. It's Navi. I'll put everything into this round. Perfect. Guys, don't kill anyone for five seconds. Finally, a nice I'm long stretch for FaZe to play with. Don't have Na'Vi breathing down their necks just yet. So this is their chance to get involved early. Thank you. M4 put in the capable hands of Rops. Aggression through the palace. Can't take a larger Faze bite of what's not there. A lot there. of information to work with for Na'Vi. Instead, they've honed in on middle. Smoke in their What's way. The That's going to waste earlier, but time. Now I got a factor meal. Over a Hashtag, JL, not an ad, but was an ad. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, got to get the disclaimers out, you know? Smoke won't last forever. And how deep is Rain pushed in? And he's still being given absolutely nothing. Na'Vi know the phase are playing to the extremities right now. And JL just doesn't want to risk it. Reset. Leave this lurk. They're going to come find it. Come fight it. Even oh. one last long. And now FaZe are arming oh, themselves. No. They're finding round. more and more space. Another kill it's off the pistol. Like Asian, bro. And Na'Vi just back to this B-site. Desperate times. They won't oh get my. It. Not one. Not one. Bro keeping in with the backstab. And it's a flawless pistol round. Flawlessly done. With that one. Ferocious it's for ridiculous phase. how many rounds phase wins like this. Blood flowing for phase clan nice and early. You didn't want to start off at a big deficit on the back foot right, well. straight away as they're put down to this force by round, but they reap the reward. They find success. And that means a lot to phase right now. They, they need to keep themselves in this more than ever. And that's what the captain is trying to do right there. Get this crowd back on his side. He needs it. He needs all the help he can get right now. These stars of Na'Vi shining at the same time in the most important game of their careers. There's never going to be a better opportunity for Na'Vi to take uh, a 2 TV? over phase. Mm. We go to Inferno. Questions again. Are raised. Maybe late top mid? Can Na'Vi put it to bed early? Finding a force back here feels... Inevitable or impossible rather phase armed and ready. Well nice done from Rob. For Frozen dealing with top mid. Nice shot though from Wonderful. Ooh. Lovely D to open. But they don't take it any further than that. Window locked down by Brokey. And so this return to the force for Navi does not net them the results. It's just Alexi B. He wants to give them nothing. <laughs> no grenades. You kill me. What you get is the score. Have your headshot. 
Robbie will be back. Oh, he shouldn't be ready for Robson with the backstab. Shouldn't be ready for this man coming in to take it all away. Brokey even poking from top mid, trying to challenge oh. him. Brokey just chases Why the everyone kill pretends down. I mean, like no one is being faced if you're a 3 and you make a new account and you play against these low level players. Watch how many people cheat when you use Beagle only. Final going the other way. Phase Dog, we're watching the major right now. That's a lot to unpack. On that second half, never let Spirit the Beagle only killed me though. Can they stop Na'Vi? Kind of a good copy pasta with the Beagle. That force by it may have made it so. Pistols again for the T side as we wait rifles. Mm. Man, stay yeah, strapped to this beagle. That's time crazy. To start talking over that next round. <laughs> That's the important one. Call here for Navi. Anything What's resembling a bomb plant would be fantastic if they can somehow break True. through, but not going to be easy. Not with rain. This is why big streamers are ready just to shut this down. Ignore their chest. Drops even. Right place, right time over the stairs as they both get involved. Fucking degenerate. Sight is locked down. Okay, there you go, Faze. So the Come on. Don't get in for Navi. This I want a map one of three, goddammit. This map, Ema on these mid lurks, not necessarily been finding the best timings in this tournament, <laughs> having trouble finding impact. Of course, it doesn't matter in a round like this, but he is integral. He is a requirement in this map if Na'Vi are going to get a good T side rolling. Nothing there and then, but now Na'Vi get to bite the bullet. Uh, yeah, that's Nobby a W is, right there, Chad. That's a dub. This second map. You fucking dick went into the chat that are horny as fuck and actually cock blocked, and I'm here for it. Grow up. Also, oh, oh, so why are they throwing the city window smoke still? What the fuck? Navi? Falling short when you're in the lead. It's Navi, the pressure never goes away. It never stops. Instant, bro. Yeah, but there's instant ones that don't do that, bro. They have their fans in the arena but right now. It feels entirely against them. The phase cheers. Carrigan waits. He lets them in. Full blind as he gets his first kill. Might need more out of Carrigan, but he keeps on giving. Oh, oh. in the dig. Oh. Carrigan's on a tear. Why is Carrigan the best player in phase? The leader of phase has done his part. He has done enough. Maybe it's to bait them so they think they can defend mid. Maybe. Tempo round Nav says Nav that nobody ever misses the smoke in pro play. It's all intentional. So, could have been that. Put the Lexi little gap there, the normal gap the there, so they say they're shooting instead of rotating. Failures Maybe. Here as Rain looks to come in on the backstab. And Rain should have this one locked in. Dead to right. Looking for a clean. Oh, oh my Rain. Clean's all. Oh, no vision needed. He's a very Reason clean 5, master face. To never buy a Confidence chat. building on the CT Over side of large Dime. money getting made. Joel, thanks for the 14-month primer, thank you. DJ, thanks for the 7-month primer. Splitter, thanks for the 20-month primer, thank you. They've had a streak. They've got some legit wins here. But this is still up against a phase who refused to go down without a fight. Alexi buys a scout into the eco. All right, then. Let's see what Alexi B's got up his sleeve, shall we? Scout in mid, but that shot sails Nerves, on past Nerves, I will ban them. you for typing some shit like so that. That was the chance to get involved early. Bit of a classic here from Carrigan. Yeah. As he's pulled out the org. Carrigan does love his org. There's more comfortable guns and perfect position to use it in, in that new van boost. Just learn how to use the Famas nice plus skill issue, skill issue plus ratio. Dog, I've played oh, against you in face to You should not be mentioning instead. skill issues in any scenario, Letting Turtle. The Deagles lead. Alexi's going to take first contact, but another shot misses Some from that scout. Be said, Chet, you know? even finding more damage. Rob's just toying with him in middle, trying to bait him into the pistols is Alexi. But Rob's will not take that bait. He knows better. Gets out of the danger zone, but that does leave the catwalk open. And Na'Vi sights set on this B Sometimes split. The pressure is going to be on Frozen it, you know? and on Carrigan. Frozen open, spots them over it short. A kill from Carrigan, but that's the end of the oh. line. It's Frozen and Rain who hold on. And as Alexi moves in over the bodies of his teammates, this 1v4 is not happening. 
Chinese clan will not give Na'Vi an inch of ground on this second map. Chad, I swear to God, if I look over and read one more... Oh, dude! Orbs out as well. Oh, look how the crowd gas. Wonderful slow to start in that previous map, but wasn't really a requirement for Na'Vi. Now they need him. Yeah, they need these opening it. kills. Fades have shown a couple of aggressive the mids. Uh, mid takes Frozen and Rops oh at the front my of God, it. Can he say Gonna that? go back for more boost up. We're nice so movement bad. from Frozen gets him straight into the ladder room. Give that guy a tier three Oaky immediately. Posts as well. But JL. Highlighted. We made it, boys. We made it. Watch out for in this palace position. Bro Brokey knows. Oh, he shit. waits. Hell Jail just missed yeah. shoots, I think. Yeah, bullet missing. But he's going to peek him close. Can Brokey hit Can we get a fuck time? bomb in chat? Let's get the emotes rolling, boys. It's a very strong reaction out of JL. Trying to play the close angle Hell and throw yeah. off the AWP. Meanwhile, his teammates are taking middle. Flom fucking sub made it to Brokey the major. Waits. He did tweet at me before the game started. He said he was front row ready to go for the major. JL deals with him over oh, Guys, when you guys don't use the emote, it actually kind of hurts. Can you guys make sure you use the emote? Thank you. Through the window. Frozen at least brings it back. Rain prepares when you guys don't use the emote, it kind of actually hurts, of okay? Site. Tucked into a corner with Frozen dead over on the short side. It's got to be Rain. It has to be Rain. Carrigan moves in. Oh, and nice. Him. Rain puts up the first, but they're deeper than he's ready for. The backstab's right here. Oh, no. Carrigan's bailed him out. And this one still is left. Oh my god. Faith respond. They're losing Into the just six JL years of experience. This round over in Holy Bali, shit. Come looking on. Looking for the crown. The That's the right. Round, that was six right years here. of experience they right there for that one. Fist. Oh, yeah. A stellar defense for FaZe to start this game. And that's what the people want right now. FaZe wake up just in time. And they don't roll over, <clears throat> not in a grand final. That's your veterans not crumbling under the pressure. Rain over eight years in this very roster. No, no, we're still gonna purple ban you if you guys make another fucking and weather Carrigan, joke about Rain, I swear to God. With more time spent playing professionally than players like Donk have been alive. <laughs> They're out mid. The timing's awkward. A double under Frozen provides immaculate cover. You guys are the worst. Both kills off the spray. Very well recovered. And Na'Vi, nothing to show for yet another eco that will go by the wayside. Used to be a Kerrigan hater, but it's so much more fun as a Kerrigan fanboy. That's that called could, maturing. But probably well won't. done. Welcome. Welcome to the fun part of Counter Strike. And if you're Na'Vi, you're wondering, how has it started like this? Moments ago, you were riding the high of stealing away FaZe's map pick mm. in the series. You felt like this grand final was as good as yours. But you've got nothing to show for these first eight rounds played on Mirage. It's going to get worse before thanks it gets better. Thanks for the love, guys. I appreciate it. Root, thanks for the four months. Matt, the thanks for the five months. Jake, thank you. Splitter, thank you. Erlen, thank you for the 86. Brings thank laser. you, man. Hardik, thanks for the 16. Gonna have another chance, but they're getting closer and closer by the second. Support right, needs to be called in. Don't do that. Positions. Rain might pay the price. Oh. A backstab comes in. The Deagle connects. Somehow it's a three on three. I don't know where Rob's got to in all this. He's playing the long game right now. He's got to make the play that wins the round. It was him who got bypassed in this smoke. Oh, no. And falling off. Oh, oh no. Him for a moment, but you can't cheat death. It's just bit. There's no time. Oh my Rob god. Not even Kerrigan's having way too much fun. This is scary now. Assault thanks for the 500 biddies. Sea Master thanks for the 67 tier 2 and a match all gifts and shit. And they need him now. My oh my. Oh shit. Na'Vi need a breather. You want to talk tacticians, play joint you do a profile conversation. Sense? I haven't Standing done them yet, behind. but if you're talking about do I have them? Yeah, for channel points. Ready to bring wealth of experience. Okay. Today's forecast, heavy rain. I swear to God. At least you paid me. Mental, Thank you for the 333. But he will fix your game plan. And right now, Na'Vi need exactly that. Although I am, hopefully they didn't that extra pair of give that guy a hard time for the fuck to bring them back side. into the fold. I mean, that round was the closest they've come in a little while. <laughs> the amount of people that don't realize it's just memes. 
Well, some of you mean it. So a time to talk. I know this you one are. A time Great for the fine gift. Recover, thank you. I appreciate it. That phase are dealing them. It's this round or the T side will disappear in front of your very eyes. And FaZe have more plays to make. They have more ideas, a new setup. Goes the same way for Na'Vi Holy and execute into this bomb site. We won't see necessarily a commitment off of this util volley. JL makes his presence known in Palace as well. I don't, FaZe I block it immediately. That, bro. Molly what the smoke. Fuck? Double wrap. There's no getting in here. Thank you very much, man. I, I appreciate it. Oh, I'm sure, Na'Vi bro, I don't the know. Util of phase. They can recommit with a second attempt. I have multiple mansions, guys. Do it's not feel bad time. for me for shit like that. Thank you so much. Holy fuck. It's allowing phase to sit and <laughs> wait three minutes. Like, I appreciate site. it. I do love money, but it's okay. <laughs> Correct. I don't have a private jet, though, so if you'd like to put bits for that, I guess that's valid. Look at Woodchuck. Thank you very fucking much for the 20,000 fucking bits, man. I appreciate it. Frozen answers the call. Rain is dead, but Frozen still Hold a threat. And more man, players they're just flood the stuff. defensive lines for FaZe. They're not even they getting out of the A ramp. Ema late lurk out through middle, but what can he hope to achieve? Oh, they this? saw him. This is that timing on the man running under. And that just I can't believe the ball. you like money too. And we should hang out. To prep for a fight, but wonderful needs speed. He needs pace. And Carrigan knows that that one smoke grenade could have just won the round. It's perfect. Forces a reroute out of wonderful with the bomb. This one is down to the final few seconds. Down to the buzzer. Now be moving quickly. They need to. Time is not on their side. Oh! Wait, Emma. No, no way. The Suddenly there's oh. a chance. No, he crossed. He oh, but he got him with the nade. Brokey should down. clean it up. Wonderful. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. The bomb broke Oh, what? Takes it away. What? Oh my God! What, what the fuck just happened, dude? He lives just long enough. North, thanks for the 500 biddies. Thank you. Broke you. Thank you, Woodchuck. And great food. Thank you for the five. I have five gifted them, right now, Chad. It did cost them last map. Playing ahead of the bomb in a 2v1. Right there, it saves phases bacon. And that was a beautiful move. We had a big flank coming in all the way through T-Spawn. We had Carrigan being loud in the apartments, allowing his team to fight with him. Oh, shit. That was my fault. Still, God. Na'Vi make that look winnable. But one not. They thought me sitting down the monster was fucking door opening. And they are just desperate. Trying to cling on in this map. Another <laughs> buy comes around this orb. The trek through middle begins for Na'Vi. Broki tries to give himself an angle. This Emma time they again. lose that early man. They go a man down. So FaZe are fighting from the back foot. Na'Vi, they've been so close to breaking oh, through. But oh, what a... Whoa! Oh, and this is why Frozen... What? Any more from him. Okay, get thank silence. God. JL He's secures human. that he kill. Human. Broki Jesus. on the rotate over. Rain about to meet his fate through the murder hole. It's Alexi B to lock it in. Broki maintains control of the B site, and this one falls apart. Holy Once shit, Once again, dude. Na'Vi feel like they're close, but they that just can't break through. They just can't strong. find the gap. They can't find a player sleeping. Even when they're going for full XX on one side, those lurks are getting hounded down. Backstabs on backstabs. Phase holds strong. They won't group in this 2v1. This gives Ima a chance. He woke up, found his first kill of the game last round. And he now needs both in this B bomb site. Why'd bomb you hide their name, allowed. Turtle? I probably farmed their ass in the post too. He never expects that they would give, give him this much room. They would give him the chance to play around this bomb, and so he'll go hunting first, checking out every sight line that's available. Ema will lock in a bomb plant here, but as Brokey moves in, sliding through Man, the market. Man literally hit his homie's name because he knew he'd get cooked too. That's and crazy. He's got to do this all alone. Oh, oh, oh Brokey. Broke there you go. There's that Latvian laser we were promised. We were waiting for. And in a grand final, no less. Brokey is saving the day for FaZe. For one second, I thought that was me. Yeah. Just for as one Na'Vi second. get close, it's not close enough. This is brutal from FaZe. This is a statement. It's the mentality of a championship winning team. It's not over till it's over. I mean, they've been in a fair few finals, Harry. We've seen them. We've seen FaZe no in there every in single second right now. tier one land grand final since the inception of this game. 
from what Shanghai a shot. to what this a shot, arena. Dude. Katowice, they've had it all, all except the wins. Only two out of the five. This would be their third out of six. If FaZe can bring this back in a reverse sweep, right now they're making the case for it. It was Emil. They can't Do we just need to get Emil gifted? Place team. Was it actually Benny? Carrigan right now, six kills, six deaths, six assists. He's bearing the mark of the devil. Done a deal with him to pull them in this position. Was that who tweeted at me today Faze. to you, Benny, I'm assuming? Let me see, is that line up are with the... looking to embarrass Na'Vi on their map pick. They want to send a message. And it feels like that message has been really received by the Na'Vi squad. They are terrified as they embark out through middle, an area they've had for free. In so many of these rounds, everything oh, is uncertain. Shit. Boomer can't find it. The old. game has slowed to a crawl. Shit. Now Na'Vi look to make their move. <clears throat> that is fucking cool, though. A mid-take. With the bomb. He smokes it I down, would blame myself for being a boomer, but I think it's more so the Twitter just a shit platform for a lot of things. Of top everywhere you'll find FaZe in your face, in your dreams, in your nightmares. I don't, Frodo. I'm sorry, man. Five on two. If I went really far back, I'd have to like do some digging. I could maybe oh. find it, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm hella lazy. Is that entry enough? Well, it has got them control of the site. It has got them some serious. If you're really room. that right deadly, you could probably find it from that won't find anything the timeline of Cologne last year here. on my Twitter feed. If you really want to dive in there, it's probably in. there. Faze know they've got to get moving. Frozen and Rops a little faster on the backstab now. I met him at Cologne last they year. They want to try play into this one first. Surrounded. What's up with teams not doing well on their own map picks? In, wonderful, desperately looking Easy for to prepare when you know what the other team it. is going to target. So now it's got to be bit on for an ace clutch. The legacy oh, member on. of Na'Vi, the longest standing. Spammed out, finished off. The mm. holes are empty because it's Especially in map right choice here. like this. And they are in the ranks of FaZe Clan. They are lighting Na'Vi up. A whole map of Mirage and nothing <laughs> to show like, my for phone it for Na'Vi. Um, but this is the phase yeah, we were it comes promised. Yeah, preparation, right? It's hard to prep for and what another the team is going to do against table. you, right? The half falls um, in tow. Like even if you like, you're Navi, right? You know you're going to pick Mirage. Not you know that Phase knows it. Not a gap. You could watch them, not but they're not going to play the way that you're probably Frozen watching them because they're trying to attack like your map pick. You know. He wants to join this squad. He wants to take a trophy with his team. Rops is burning alive. Doesn't even Rops realize. Is six Down to six hell. before Holy he shit. escapes, but still Phase somehow oh. invaluable. But they don't fall. But that's a collateral from Carrigan Zorn. And especially when you have a wild statement in and of itself. And, and and You've seen him done it before, and but share very is really map taking pool. some liberties here. You combine that with player. like you know preparation going into it. Resources they need to pull Brokey over ASAP. It's it's tough. It's tough That's in this scenario. Double defense over towards B. Then if Brokey joins the party. Brokey's not moving a muscle right now. It is just Carrigan and Frozen who have got to make this stand. They've got to hold on. Frozen overran. Carrigan but like also, if you're Navi, you're not going to pick your most comfortable map just because you're worried that somebody's going to prep it, right? Bust. One kill back. And that levels the playing field. Brokey, you've seen that tendency to get aggressive. But try sometimes before. try to do that and it usually the backfires. Deal with that point man out through the market. Rops is so low from the start of the round as Na'Vi scramble for anything at the Man, last I of the half. They're eyeing up two. Guys, it's only rain who this is the first them. round Na'Vi's won since Rops Pistol. Rops is too low, too <laughs> wounded since the start of this round. And so Rain's got to be the guy with Rops dead. Rain follows and Eva salvages something there for That Na'Vi. was the very first round they won since the Pistol. Holy shit. If they can't come into this second half swinging on their map pick. Hold your horses, because we may have one more map in this grand Yeah, these final. are the guys, Frodo, by the way. That guy in the glasses, and there's a fellow next to him. A if you find them, that's what make the they 3D print Boston those signs that you're looking we for. We have been waiting. Ooh. We deserve it here in the Royal Arena. 16,000 people 
here to watch the greatest game to ever grace our screens. That's Counter-Strike for you. Royal Arena, are you ready to rumble? <laughs> Could make a statement. Give they me a full chance. Like, do you really think they're actually leaving with full fucking beers from the concession stand? Let's be and real here. Start with this pistol round. Slow in the beginning, but the moment that ball gets rolling, will you be able to stop it? Bit thinks so. Him and Ema combine for a kill, but run down a ramp. Ema falls. Wonderful tapping away. Can't find a thing. Phase move in, and they're going for the throw. Oh, to the wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, one v one. One v one. Rops me. Lowest rated major in the phase jersey. He wants to change that tune right now. Said, uh, and with uh, that third man waiting, run one. Inferno feels inevitable for phase to My Navi ads don't run for a whole other hour. You got a city ad block this fucking shit up. No troll. I've been pristine. It's the thing with is, many a team have learned when you beat phase. One man more than any other takes it very personally, and that man is Carrigan. They open up to an L and RV this year in right, Sydney. Here we go. Benny, thanks for 200 bits. So since that point, the cogs have been whirring, um, knowing it would come up today. I don't know. But the solution has been a long time. I don't know in the what making. I'd even want somebody to and put on a sign, bro. I'll be honest. Problem. I'm not creative enough for this. The final boss mm. of these grand finals. And Navi cowering back, four on five, make it worse. Carrigan puts him in a hearse. Honestly, I think if Faze wins Faze this map right here, I don't see any possible way they could lose a third map on Inferno in a major take. final. They win the first and the last round of that first half, but everything in between belongs to Faze. They will make you work. And if you're not ready to do that, then this one will get away from you. What a recovery from FaZe. No one was stepping up on Ancient. The only bright light was frozen. Captain Vern, thanks for the 21 month farmer. Thank you. Final is lurched on as Navi have tried to play catch up. Everyone is having their moment for FaZe Clan. There has been no saving grace. JL's courage, Wonderful's flicks, Bits headshots, all denied by the inevitable FaZe Clan. A trade out in middle, JL makes a move, Carrigan gets that jump spot, but his head cut off. It's opened up a path back to safety <clears throat> for JL, he'll take it. Barely standing. A heavy gust will knock his head off, but FaZe want nothing to do with this shot gonna be. Round the world. Good job, chat. You guys are doing your job, remember? Bit. Rules of online. If they have one HP, you have to type it. This round is so far from over. They've been in better spots oh. than this, and so it's still plenty of time <laughs> Those are to the go rules. wrong. Bit dead first. That opens up the A play. That opens up the ending of Mirage. Oh, my God. One that Na'Vi hope is just a facade. One that they hope disappears. Oh, this round. <laughs> this can't be real. That's what they're <laughs> thinking. <laughs> Oh, but it is. FaZe Clan teed up to take it. A man down as they embarked on this final round, this final journey. They, they want this one to them. go all There we three. go, map three, they map three, map three. FaZe Clan recover. They flip the script. They land on their feet. And now the job is just beginning. Mick, thanks to 26 with Primer, thank you. Top mid, top mid, top mid. Top mid, top mid, top mid. Top mid, top mid. 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 Top mid.
Holding up, 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 holding I'm peeking inside. Yeah. Move up, guys. Move up. Short one, short one, short one. Short. That's not big. Short dead. It was not big. I think it. Molly's backside. Rocket bench. Rocket bench. Rocket bench. You hit him. Let's go. Nice. Ah, nice. 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 I mean, it makes sense they don't call it Ska, but still interesting. What's Ska? Uh, Skadoodle is, if you jump out of market window as a CT, there's two pillars, empty pillar, the pillar to the right. The world is changing, but one thing remains the same. The one with all the stuff on it that you could like jump on things and shit like that right there. Level up your gaming space Chat. with metal posters I'm running from a fat ad for a fat streamer. Your Heads up. In seconds. Also, we passed uh, 10k like. viewers collectively across both streams right there during that game. On a Just wanted to say thank you. Metal canvas and thank you, thank you, thank you. Thousands of posters. Join over 3 million Sugar baby, thanks now. for the 71 month race. So thank you. Is here. Shop now at Displate.com. All right, incoming, incoming. Zuba, thanks for the four-month farmer. Thank you. Crip, thanks for the 63-month farmer. Thank you. We'll be back one second. But bomb, did we talked about this? You guys got to use the emote, or otherwise it feels personal, man. It's popular, it's loud, and this is Asone's commercial. But Asone spent all the money to make the headphones good, and they got no money left for the commercial. So I'm gonna need you to head to Asone IO. A C E Z O N E. Yo. Code PGL, 50 euros off. Got some headphones. Now and never. Oh. Welcome back to the desk and Na'Vi have just learned why they say beware the wounded beast phase biting back. Uh, we've got Maniac, we've got Blair, we've got Pimp, of course. They're all here. Well then, guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sometimes, that happened. Uh, it's like the end of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. It's there, it's fingertips. But then, no, son, just let it go. I mean, listen, at this point in time, if you didn't realize that phase can bounce back from any situation, then really you haven't learned anything. It's it's happened within games, it's happened between games. No matter how hard a loss looks like for FaZe, and that was the case on map one, they showed up on Mirage like nothing had happened. They kept the same mentality, the same proactivity. They dominated in terms of duels. They made the right calls. They played like they were 1-0 up. And this is in itself is magical. It's a brilliant performance from FaZe. And that's what you look call an absolute sucker punch in the guts of Na'Vi, because that one hurts. I mean, I mean the fact that this is even more dominant
dominant that that the beating they gave in the direction of spirit it just goes to show that, that when it comes to mentality and just tenacity when it comes to this team they seem to just thrive in the pressure yeah? like like you said so eloquently earlier man yeah when it comes to pressure they drink it they consume it and mm. it seemed like it awoken the beast in them we were talking about rops where the hell was he here he was just you know, kicking ass taking no names and just absolutely demolishing navi so yeah if phase are back they're definitely back they are definitely back it also goes to into the conversation about face ah. and momentum you know yes. it, it is a team that once they get rolling once they feel that i would say you know practice is unfolding on the server then there's no way of stopping them we called out rops for having a rough turn he heard he us talking up. shit mate you heard us talking <laughs> shit and he said hell nah <laughs> kerrigan had a great showing as well only nine kills in the scoreboard but 97 adr mm. out there every single player from face clan showed up and that's what we talked about coming into the game that from top to bottom everyone would the lowest adr there was i think about 84 85. Yeah. that's actually nuts everyone just sharing the load when it comes to you know just getting the kill getting kills and just shutting him down and mm. it, it goes into what we, we touched upon the ct side from phase they're very disruptive they're very in your face you can't do it tried and tested slow methodical approach because they're going to throw in a wrencher or sometimes even a kitchen chair i mean listen they they put navi in their place this was yeah. a very uninspired timid shy navi not daring at all and there is a reason for that and that reason is called round two this yeah. is where the, the nightmare the unfolding happens for a Navi. phase round you win the gun round you put yourself in absolute success position and now you're about to get absolutely curb stomped on your force by we see here m4 force good timing from kerrigan as well and what it tells you if you're navi is that you cannot take individual risks you are going to be punished and this has put such a stop to the momentum of navi they all got again very shy yeah. and i will tell you this from this moment on they won't they got four kills in the next four rounds there was one kill Crazy. per round Crazy. people have to realize the weight mentally of what it is to lose a round like this it completely reset them and i think it set them three steps below in terms of the counter strike they wanted to play and that's why they didn't show up yeah jump in boys i mean are you are you navi after this round yeah yeah like listen, <laughs> that was happening no I, I i gotta say i mean look we've talked at various points about capitulations and yeah. it's like look you're in a major final you have to dig deep you have to be know what to say with the timeouts and try and find some motivation remember you're you're ahead you're you're in the lead don't no need for stress no, it's, it's hard to, to quantify what happened right here. As, as much as I want to say there was a bad calling from Alexi B, it was a bad performance from Navi as well, I just want to give it up to Face Clan for having a player everywhere on the map being good for two kills. Whenever they tried an A execute, they would be shut down. Whenever they tried a late round into an A split, they would be shut down. Whenever they tried to apply pressure on towards Kerrigan, which they did the first four or five rounds, Kerrigan shut them down. So there was no weak link put in this lineup whatsoever. And this is where it really hurts. This is why when the score is one to five and you're presented with a good option, you actually fumble it. Navi in a four versus two here completely oh, yeah. unable to convert that advantage and you can see how people are not playing together how they're not daring to take the duel they're undecisive and that is what counter-strike looks like when you lose track of what is supposed to be the simplest call yeah. i don't really care that phase had the right setup here i don't care that kerrigan was here to help rain the yeah. matter of the fact is when rain is known and located there is no speed in finding yes. him if the scoreline is five to one at that moment i guarantee you navi swarm him like alligators bees hornets whatever animal that goes fast an eagle maybe but here they're more like a slug they yeah. were kind of slushing their way to the side this is what happens when you're sent shocked yeah. the way they were this was such a and, telling and, round and so spread out which exactly. is indicative of and a breakdown you're just waiting you're waiting for your next no, no, mate it, it comes down to the it comes down to the, do, sorry bro do that again do that again do that again i want to see no no but here's the thing i completely agree we talk about body language outside of the server let's talk about body language in the server like they were like you said some players they were creeping not making a sound and faces just thunderfooting around being like, we don't care, we're still going to outduel you. Round number eight is more indicative of a more normal round, so to speak. And now we're going to be going for an A setup here, right? And it is going to be phase, just going to be, sorry, round number nine, rather. They're just going to be in your face. They're not able to take them down here. This is like, just a very default -ish, default ish setup, like your pardon, coming out from phase. And the fact they're not able to get any kills there, it, it is so confusing. But look at the way phase moves around. Oh, it's a four man. versus two. Last they time I got a map three push. in the major final, was 2018 on Inferno like chat. This. When you're a seven one <laughs> up, you're a four and two scenario. 4v2 <laughs> four, four scenario, you just got to play it safe. I actually didn't even side. realize that two until I saw the CS2. Two. But no, they're yeah. going to make you feel very uncomfortable. Uh, you could see the last of Navi players just running around like a, like Tom and Jerry. Something. He's running around the map trying to find some egress into a bomb site, And in the end, they still yeah, couldn't I get can it done. That is phase mm. never wait, allowing wait, you to wait, kind wait, of gather on. your resources and maybe try and inch that round away from uh, from phase. And it's something Navi haven't experienced that, so dude? far on Mirage. Whenever Navi have played their T side, they've been successful at getting into A executes.
winning man. out the trade duels. Worst case scenario is you get into a 3v3. Every Yo, MC, single time they try for an XQ, uh, whether it was Swartz Kerrigan on the it. B bomb side, whether it was Swartz Rain on the A bomb side, Face would win out the duels. They always find themselves up 5v3, 4v3, 3v2, so they always had to play from behind. Something that throughout the entire tournament, Navi have not tried on the T side Mirage. Yeah, and look, we talked about it. Standout player. It is it is important, I think, that you know Rops gets in the mix. He was absolutely missing on Ancient. Hasn't really showed up this tournament to the standards I we know we can. A year if he can deliver Jenny. the major final to them, I think everyone <laughs> Wait, can no, forgive I didn't, him. I mean, obviously we will. That grand final is going to dictate how we look at Rops here in Copenhagen. Stop being this was stupid, an absolute switch. brilliant map. You hey. don't need me to tell you this. The numbers tell all the story you need to find. I think he had a perfect balance of when to be aggressive Hold and here we have a couple of good examples as well and also went to be a bit more safe he played it beautifully i think he's a very composed player even in the hard time so can i do good one month i mean this was okay, a, well, a I can do one month can i do more here. and again Dude. the amount of kills that he finds in flux mm. that just tells you all you need to know he when was, I was trying to do more was like this is verify just your vintage uh, the rops coming out right there right and it's not just about look we know how cerebral he can be but it's when he takes his fights and how he's able to make his micro decisions in the instance speaking with i guys 35 gifted hold on we gonna let me do this that's what it's not like he's you know, he's playing absolutely terrible counter story. It's just that when it comes to taking Watch. duels, you know, duels which this, you would have won with his eyes closed that. a few months ago, he kind of disappeared when it comes to this tournament. But yeah, to see flawless. him perform at that this. level, if, 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 if it takes us talking shit about him, I want to talk more shit about him. No, I yeah. don't think we have that kind of power. I think we're being egomaniac at that point. No, I don't think uh, we do. I think, it, I think, I think we I do. I think, I think the power is real, dude. <laughs> you think we got I, it? I've, I've done so many segments now where you're like, don't get on a player, and he's like looking over the desk going like, what? God damn it, now the browser's frozen. Fuck you. And we've got Inferno coming up. There we go. Yeah, I know you're fucking shocked. All right, hold on, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop breaking, you stupid fuck. Phase by oh, game. That oh, wasn't like that. Oh, yeah. They oh, were ready to go at each other. banana and set each other on fire. Exactly. That was, that was pretty much the Some case. Some flambe going on. Uh, no, I, I mean, for Inferno, split. you got you to remember yeah. when it came to the early <laughs> CS2 meta on, on Inferno, it was Phase who were the, the trendsetters, so to speak. Sure, and yeah. if you look at the Inferno that played so far this year with Frozen, they haven't lost a single one. They destroyed Vitality. Wow, dude, I got my shout out, But it got it done. They took down G2 on it as well. This is a team who haven't had too many maps played thus far in Inferno, but they are undefeated. That is number you can't mess with for the side of Navi yes they've had a couple of close losses sure. close wins of eternal fire but there are weaknesses man. Yeah, main a -bomb side. if you're Lexi B if you're Blade you saw that game against Vitality yesterday and yeah maybe on the scoreboard it looked like face were dominating they weren't whatsoever there was a lot of loopholes there were a lot of mistakes being not utilized by Vitality and I think if you're Blade and if you're Lexi B you're looking at that as a great opportunity to go in here and be a trendsetter on the map there's one player I want to bring the spotlight to because we had the conversation Jensen in with the, the 46 beginning about Wonderful. Recent, thank you. fantastic tournament so far and he's He's shitting, a superstar, mate. Shitting the bet right now. He's having a yeah. terrible series. He has 17 kills so far over the course of more than 36 rounds of Counter-Strike, and he's supposed to be the superstar. I said it coming into the game, there's absolutely no way... actually high ADR. Is that actually right his ADR? ...win a major with Navi if he's not playing well. Oops. He's had two awful maps. One given, they won. He wasn't that needed. Mm -hmm. Now, Inferno, he has to step it up. He yeah. has to find some sort of impact, otherwise Navi is not mm -hmm. going... And you're going to touch upon, you're going to touch upon the fact that the Eternal Fire win they had, which was a very kind of a close affair till at the end when they kind of ran away with it. It was wonderful on that A bomb side with that AWP, which getting multi-kills after multi-kills while well, bit Check out this calculated clip from Kerrigan. Right you. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. What is this? to convert that advantage and you can see how people are not playing together how they're not daring to take the duel they're undecisive and that is what counts like the like when you lose track of Wait, what is which supposed part? to be the simplest call yeah. i don't really care that phase had the right setup here i don't care what that the to fuck convert that advantage. what, and what you am can i missing here how people are not playing together how they're not daring you're talking about his timing Oh, the AK. Okay, okay, hold on. ...to convert that advantage. And you can see how people are not playing together, how they're not daring to oh, take shit. the duel. They're undecisive. And that is what Counter-Strike looks like when you lose track of what... What the fuck? That thing went flying, bro. That thing went flying. I thought it was something way cooler, though. I'm going to be honest, the Chad. ...and bullying their opponent. I'm a little let down. going to happen again. I think Navi needs to come alive very quickly in order for us to witness a game, which I would love hey, to see. Hey, big fan this of Neil. Thanks for the shout-out. It, it did not do the honor. No. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. It was too one-sided. Yeah, definitely not. The first map definitely... I tried to give you a year, son, but Twitch only caught black me, so you just get one month. Sorry. Just by the nature of Inferno, I think this one's going to go long. I don't think we're going to see a one-sided affair. I think the map doesn't really lend itself to that anymore. A team that can dominate 
dominate on Inferno or like, you know, and knock somebody out like 13-5. I think they're like the very best teams on Inferno. I don't know if FaZe are that, but you can tell me. You're the expert. I don't know what yeah, I think FaZe is, is great. Fuck you, one Max. of the, the biggest differences I, I think in this game on Inferno compared to what they faced against Vitality yesterday was the fact that Vitality would love to fight in middle. We often mm. talk about Banana. You know, Banana Fat control back and forth. Him, don't of course, we're going to see that. Vitality were very prone to fight in middle. So whenever Rain and the boys would walk up towards middle, they would find a fight early on. Mm. That's not going to be the case against Navi. What is Richard Luce doing here? Me when I haven't watched the entire major. The game and I guess the spacing that FaZe will receive on a map like Inferno on the T side would be much larger. How is Kerrigan going to use so much? that? He's going to use to throw off fakes, to throw off rotations. Um, He's going to enable no, drops to do okay, off some so of the lurks that we love to see him do on Inferno. Don't or is like that space Inferno, gonna but an issue? Is that going to give them room to the old guard Is that going to give Navi room to shut it down? Because one thing that is very different from the way Navi is playing compared to Vitality is that they're way more defensive. I don't know if they do or don't like it, but you're not going to just change your map pool because you're like, He's looking at Ibba's mind. We've been praising him so far in the playoffs. He's like, he's getting his job done. He's had a rough tournament, but he's getting the job done. And a lot of, he and I said it when we came into playoffs, you know, the top rated the teams in the world Inferno all play Inferno he is that at a pretty game. high level. He's that so, A-star rifle yeah. while Bits playing towards the pit position. And he sometimes is a bit of an island by himself towards Arch, towards a cubby position, towards brackets. And I feel like that could potentially be a liability. If mm. FaZe are able to target him, take take him down. Bro, they're so screwed. Wonderful, but he opt towards A, bit in pit. The other two players are towards a B bomb site. They have so many avenues to work with. Sure, and I'll tell you who isn't a liability. That man on your screen right there. We got to take just a few minutes to talk about JL and the extra levels, the extra gears he's found, mm. because it is so bold to try and put yourself out there as I'll be the lightning rod, I'll be the face, I'll be the voice, I'll do it all, I'll do all the media work, and I will declare myself a legend before ads? I've even yep, played in a major final. <laughs> and I was thinking, <laughs> hour and forty That's minutes of no ads. Like so talk about JL, but yeah, it's great. No, 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 I've no, done no, my no, part. No, here's the thing, though. <laughs> but like, you know, he he's Make calling himself a legend, and I'm like, listen, uh, you know, not yet, mate, but if he can get this team over the line, yeah. then yeah, you've earned it. Right here, right now, if it does it, he will be called legend. The J is silent, and he absolutely <laughs> will deserve his spot amongst the Panthers. Sure, of one of, of the greatest performances ever. Me and he did want it attention. earlier in it, Foto. He was a guy running from B to don't A, and then one then B to even harder. There you go, brother. Time you and time go. again, but I don't want to rely only on that to be the winning condition. I mean, you're going to have to have a couple of individuals having these moments, right? I take you back to the ace against G2. That changes the mm. whole course of the game. That sure. was JL, and I like to see him. I like to imagine him here in Banana with the XCB as well, because there's going to be a moment where the best Counter Strike is not going to be an option. It's going to get messy. Sure. It's going to get about crossing Here's flash because he's broken all. And incredible and he's very great and real. You, you about actually spell slightly rotations. better than Phil Brisk. I'm going to keep it real here. I think he's in a position where on huh? this map huh? he can coordinate there's everything. E I think you rely I heavily I on some really of the individuals you being here for the finals, plays. brother. This was one of the map where Apex mm. was so adamant about it and Vitality saying they they're not doing anything. They're not helping me. They're not moving. I don't know how the map is going to look like. This is where Ime has to do a couple of moves. This is wonderful. Right now? Reclaim space yeah. with the AWP. You don't want to be aggressive in the beginning, as we'll the other was talking about. That's fine. You don't want to fight up in bracket. That's fine. But when the round prolongs, you have if to go look wins, for information. Yes. Probably you have frozen. That, distance, that motivation and that movement, which they haven't had on the first map, so you got to materialize it. If it plays, if it plays safe against Face right now. They screwed. Yeah, they are screwed, you know. But there's one reliability, and I, I will, you know, put focus on towards JL again. I think one of the main qualities he's had throughout the entire tournament is that he's making the right plays regardless of oh, the yeah, pressure of the situation. That's right. Every single time he's in a clutch, he's been winning it out. You know, he's had a lot of game winning well, clutches for Navi. And one of the things I absolutely I love the most is it doesn't matter actually. if the scoreline is two to two, seven to one, or thirteen thirteen in yes. overtime. JL will always go for the play that he thinks is right in the situation. You do it a while ago? I the vista for the here. game, the way he reads the game, the Way he's getting able to win game winning clutches by keeping himself calm in those pressure situations, it's been outstanding to watch. Yep. As you said, Richard, you love Inferno, you think it's going to be a close game back and forth. Well, then you put focus on Jail because he's had a game winning clutch pretty much every single game he's played during the major. Yeah, and look, I think also, you know, had some stellar performances yeah, on this. Yeah, map. yeah, okay, buddy. They need it now. Bold though. of you to wear so that guys, at the major, like close. you didn't There's fuck like everyone's pickups in there, dude. Take it back to the casters. So I uh, don't do predictions. I think I've learned <laughs> over my long and illustrious esports career that were because we can't see the future that's and ultimately right. you can only lose because if you get them wrong uh, you know that's that but I'm going to ask you uh, are, are we seeing Carrigan's history or are we I seeing the so makings the chat, beginnings the origin story of the real Alexi B which oh, is it man listen if there was any moment to tame the beasts of FaZe Clan mm. and beat them with your mind, that would be the moment for Navi, the system of blade prevailing. I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to say we see an upset. Okay. King Carrigan gets crowned tonight. 
less than an hour, Kerrigan would have won this major. Yeah, okay, I love it. We're setting them up like Professor X and Magneto, guys. I love this stuff. <laughs> We're going back to Harry and Hugo for the deciding map of the Copenhagen CS2 major. The last time we got all three maps in a major final was Boston 2018. That was where Carrigan, at the helm of phase, experienced the greatest anguish of his career. For history to be made tonight, maybe history has to be broken. The final map is Inferno, just like it was all those Here we years go. ago. Is it heartbreaking? Boston again? aware. Here we go. Rewrite that story right now. Map three, baby. Pressure makes legends, and only Let's one team go. can beat that. Na'Vi writing a new chapter, a new book. Faze Fuck trying to right wrongs. All good. Map three. Don't care. And I'll suck it up. The king of Just Copenhagen at the three. helm of it all versus an Alexi B who has finally led an international team, not just to major playoffs, but to the grand final. Inferno is bound to be epic. I always used to make for a great decider. And so let's see if that holds true here mm. and now. Rob's starting Boxed things in. off over in the boiler. And it looks like One the rest stroke. of FaZe Clown no, want to come around stroke. and join okay. him. Na'Vi, lane hit? Lion, wait, with only two players. That way you rap versus to USP is right. Gotta be lane hit. Ema and Bit, they've got their work Light, cut oh, out they for are. them. They're rapping. Oh, the oh the nice pass. shot They'll from Bit. They'll deal with Rops early. They flush him out from balcony. Double slope for the rap, Molly the Pit. They are going to rap versus USPs. Glocks are fucking bit. busted, so they win long range the anyway. Fuck that it. stops the aggression. That allows a bomb plant here for FaZe Clan. They know how important this what early game fuck? is. And so they want to try and take space away. They're going to pressure Ema. Oh. He will not go down without a well, fight. Good, good job getting one from Bit takes up there. his position. FaZe Clan still Bits searching, be around there too. still hunting. But that might hurt them in the long run. Bit oh. has the oh. chance right there. And with Brokey dead, it's just the captain. It's just Carrigan alone in the pit. No one by well his side. And so Na'Vi, they're the ones to get off to a good start now. That is not an easy round for Na'Vi, even with a 5v4. They may have base surrounded. But we talk about how hard these retakes are, how easy these post plants can feel. FaZe feel uncomfortable. They're shaking in their skin. Just trying to hunt down Na'Vi, who hold off for the right amount of time. A huge pistol. Who am I supporting? And Honestly, dude, through, I, I really just want a good game. Doubt. I'm not even... I. It's fantastic either way, like, actually. Like, both teams really deserve it. On four, like, but now I don't know. want to keep them honest in middle. Deep smoke, deep Molotov, denial of space, and a denial of I'm down of to see Kerrigan win in front of his home crowd. crowd I'm, I'm down. down to see Alexi beat your redemption. I really am. Alexi. He'll go no I'm not further. just saying that, like... They waited over in middle. I just want to see some good smoke to fade, yes. and now they try to play their hand through it, and it's fast. Not as fun, I know. Mid. Sorry. Explodes it, but into the crossfire. Wonderful. Will hold the fort down, and he buys enough time for nice JL hold. to come nice in hold. and finish what he started. Oh, motor mouth for Alexi. Rapid yeah, I just don't want to see well. another mirage. Yeah, exactly. Sure his team are lit up and awake for this final map. They were gone disappeared in Mirage, but an opportunity presented for Na'Vi to start strong on the final map of play. Months in preparation. And this major's culmination in the next hour or so. It's the exact start Na'Vi wanted. Frozen holding W way too much. Nah, yeah, he's well, gonna take Fernando the whole half, dude. He did it last time too. They showed up on Mirage. It felt like Na'Vi just flowing too close to the sun. That they, they thought they had this one in the bag. But a little time in between games, a chance to talk to one another and really talk. And, and then you come in here, you win the pistol, you convert that second round this time. A feat you weren't able to Ooh. accomplish back on Mirage. It can be forgotten. Write it off. This is a BO1 right now with the world on their shoulders, with everything to play for. Legacy. They're just gonna wait that out, and or are gonna try to actually go through the... Oh my win. god. Alexi spraying, they come gunning Oh, they only got one? The pistols are making wait, this round wait. JL, all that stands between them and this site. JL! 
He'll lock them out of it. Buy in time. Nabi have got everyone here now. Don't overheat, Jail. Hit the reload. Nice. Just like that. FaZe Clan have to look Guys, for other get back options. To there we other go. Avenues. Greener pastures here as they run it back through mid. Fast on the rotate. Here's Emma. He can't Ooh, stop them getting bomb down's actually big, though. Can't catch him on the cross, but he will find rain. And now it's just Brokey. A deagle and a bomb plant. That's all he's got to work with. Na'Vi are the ones on the clock, but it's Brokey feeling all the pressure. Swinging it with the deag. And with these shots missing, that window is closing. That gap is closing. Brokey can't find a thing. Seven bullets. Oh, oh my oh, God. Convert the kill. It's all almost, almost. to keep this round in check. Thin margins right now, but Na'Vi are ticking all the boxes. Yeah, it was a good plan. It was a good plan. One more bullet in that MP9. Definitely that nice little consolation prize you could take out of that. The door again. A strong start for Na'Vi, but we haven't seen FaZe come through with a full bite. This will be it. Wonderful early on the AWP. We've been waiting for him to have his moment in this series. Oh, sorry about that. It certainly wasn't Mirage. This isn't his first rodeo. Well, you've got a team of Na'Vi players who have barely played 10 big tier one lands with the exception Real of Real passive from FaZe here. They're expecting, I think, a bonus aggression. Wonderful, no stranger to a major stage. Saw him That's what spirits. they're playing for, at least, I 1. think. 1.2 rating, getting into those playoffs. We know what he can do. Ooh. And now Na'Vi need him to That's show it. He got a flash from his teammate, but it didn't even look like it worked. And oh, the nades. down rage and Frozen is found. Maybe Dealt bracket early. control to get some space a back. star from both maps for FaZe Clan. Fizzles out of existence here in their first rifle round. And Ema, quick as he arrives over towards B. Oh. He's ready over at long. Carrigan sent. Oh, here. Damn, Damn Na'Vi. Alongside him. OK. The A site is closed and FaZe, they will get that. Everywhere memo. FaZe goes, they're just getting fucking obliterated with ATs. Util. Inferno, baby. But give some props to Navi right now. They're playing it well. So here they go into just one man, JL. And a 1v2 that decides to phase have anything to play for in Imagine this round. Alexi. Molotov. Having JL as an anchor with his current form. It's actually in insane, time. dude. Time is the one resource that the FaZe them. Clan do not have. Good luck, brother. He doesn't elect to throw My it. Bad. He comes in too late. They're already oh. past this. Never mind, he's the same. JL into the back of the site. This Bastion that just refuses to give up ground will Ooh, get run down. before the flash, though. Don't give so Raps room, man. Ten seconds. Has to go where no one's gone before. 1v5 at the B site and tap on the bomb, but not given the fights. Wonderful. We'll walk that one home. The composure from Na'Vi. This is a different team to the one we saw on Mirage. Absolutely. Got to give it to this roster for resetting in that way. Sure, first map looked fantastic. Man was building the beer snake. Did you see it? He was assembling the, the snake. But the fashion that they did, the threat posed to Na'Vi, and still they do not shrink under the lights on the stage in the highest pressure game of their careers. They rise to the occasion, four and zero now on CT side. Do those doubts come creeping in? They do armor, yeah, the big ones do. <laughs> no. Na'Vi going where the, some of these individuals have never gone before all the way. I think it comes off of an incredibly one-sided map as well, the, the resilience to believe you still got this one and to come back into the third in outstanding mm. form. JL is the one leading the charge. Faze not contesting Almost banana early this time. ADR. Concerned about huh? getting picked, right? Frozen just sitting T steps, maybe gonna contest so it later on in the round. Right down. They haven't liked the pace of these last few rounds. Navi anxiously await them. Okay, we got 
Banana flash here, Frozen trying to take control, Molly close. Loki's flash starts to tee up the aggression up through Banana, but another smoke down. Thus far, FaZe have respected one every single one they have. Jail's so got a Molly, and that's actually soon, it right look now. Look at this mid-round react row out of Na'Vi. Oh, he gave it to Lexi. in top mid, they're trying to take real estate back, and they spot the top middle is clear. That's actually very interesting They've right now. That's going to force a fight at B. This, this is a great to rotation out of Wonderful. Look, 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 FaZe is coming to B because they know the Utah is low, but rotate. Nabi right also knows that, and he's going straight to Spools. Oh, he's got a flash beat. bomb site. Alexi wants to force this. He wants to catch them sleeping at the wheel. Flash blinds him. Do they see? No! Oh, they my God! The hard way. And then he's still here at JL atop the boxes, and FaZe fall. They oh, crumble. Oh, dude, they're moving 20 well. 20 seconds, nothing they're to show for well. it. Carrigan may find the gap, but there's no bomb. There's no chance. It's all Na'Vi. That was a wonderful rotation. God damn it. That was a great this rotation. Shut up, chat. Don't laugh monumental. at that. Monumental. Little person thanks to the 15 month reset. Piper thanks to the 45. Two timeouts after five rounds. Shut up, chat. They're feeling the pressure. They're feeling the burn. Alexi's got them right where he wants them. And we're finally getting that form out of JL again. That yeah. terrifying form. The best the worst. form he's ever displayed I shining through to, in the Na'Vi jersey. 9-1 to start this game. This could be a, a career-defining performance if JL can keep this up. This could be an MVP locked in for JL. He has been the outlier for Na'Vi. He has been a rock in this competition going from a middling man in apex back at paris sure they make a run but he wasn't the star he wasn't the outlier right now he's writing a new chapter phase Back to basics. This is the phase's best kind of round, though. Position. Chaos. So difficult to break through. Banana B pop looks like maybe on timing. But phase have not lost this map in this year. They've played it four times. They have the depth. They have the belief. Do they have a chance? Navi are giving them no way in. Alexi retreats to grab more utility back in the spawn. Phase finally flashed through that smoke at the minute mark. But Na'Vi don't let them Ooh, in for through the free. Molly. They're already ahead of the Molotov. Oh, they that right hurt through So Alexi's got to be gun on. Straight shooter. First kill found. It's Carrigan. Well played from Alexi. the IGL's clash. Alexi's got no to have even more. Oh, okay. this is actually scary. This is scary. The this is scary. They have a re-smoke. They have two re-smokes. This is huge. On plant found. Oh, they found one though. A bit. What a great time for it. That tips the scales back oh, in Oh, but they use both right away. Even though they're the ones playing catch up. Wait, like, Bits spammed oh, another? What the Bits, Bits is killing this fool? He doesn't even see them. What? And now they run in. Rops is shut down. What? It's all Bit, baby. What he the bites back. And once again, he looks for vengeance against FaZe in a final. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, he is that legacy Na'Vi player. He is the one still standing from when Na'Vi last lifted a major trophy, and he's the one with a score to settle versus FaZe Clan. So that's the first one. It was one. a close game last time. They oh, lost the that's to how phase, they got the they Oh, my God, he two-tapped Rain right at Emo. What? barely broken through. A couple of chances, a bomb plant here and there. But Na'Vi are not giving them Disgusting. peace of mind that they can be competitive in this grand final. Was Mirage just a smudge for Na'Vi? Good replay, though. It was cool to see if they blew the smoke. We just didn't see now. it. Oh, the cracks are showing. That pressure is certainly building for FaZe. Great setup as well. Wonderful. Not been needed on this A site. Oh no, not PGL again, dude. Was this PGL? Uh oh. Now's the me. time. Ooh. 
got Ima. Oh, I saw F. I saw F. You can't well. see it because my 7 TV is broken, but it's fine. The Rops goes in. It's a 50-50. It's okay. It's okay. Hold wrong. the guy. They held on. They held on. Now being posted. They no! Fuck, it's an F. It's an F. You're not going to... My chat's busted, but hold on. Hold on. Frick you. Only building for phase. Maybe this works. Wait. Great setup as well. On the ball. Not been needed on this A site. Now's the time. Got Ima with a lot to do as well. Bit will be that first point, man. The Rops goes in. It's a 50-50. He rolls wrong. Now Bit posted. They try to run him down through the molly, but there's no getting past the brick wall of Bit. Nades do so much damage. Trying to run him down through the molly. Ah! Oh, side and Bit in this form. Wait, they just went crazy here. He has not forgot Antwerp. He is not forget the last time that these two teams matched okay, up. Okay, it's back over here. Two base. Okay, we're Bit so back. Revenge, and he wants it <laughs> swiftly. So you give him an AK, he'll give you a major trophy. Sorry, Chad, I'm he'll working with what I got here. to regret it. Sorry. Phase. Holy shit, it's half a million just on the mainstream. And the thing that's so wild is after Navi's run through that elimination stage, Bit was not the man you thought you would look to in this grand final to be the difference maker. He's making more than a difference. He is making this a nightmare for FaZe Clan. More aggression. Okay, JR so hasn't exactly been sleeping towards his This creates side. interesting timing in the round, Chad. They're Look gonna have to drop you so early from one of the third teammates. Down banana. Two players. Man, their look last at these. Legs. Jesus Christ. JL feels free to play solo. They should. Yeah, JL has one more smoke. A rock solid A site. Phase haven't been in an A post. He's playing for retake. The They're not coming back. This is. This is the right call. The problem is they're just so low. To fall back on. Kerrigan's making the right read out of this situation. Mid. It's just full bracket info. That should free up Alexi. He Wait, how much do they have? Eventually. Oh my god, they have like nothing. Resmoke. Rotate should come back in now that they're not in middle. JL bides at the back of the coffins, looking to put him in. I think boxes. They, they're going to go early. Yep, 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 yep. They're going to come through this smoke. They're going to try and play with some confidence here. A phase. And that will get them control over Five the side. JL spamming away is still oh, a threat no. here. And Rain learns that the hard way. And it's not even one of the two AP players. Oh JL my god, the spam on the planner. Solo. Everyone is injured. Everyone is wounded. Rops, the only man with HP. RV poised for a retake. They want to keep this scoreline flawless. Alexi rounding the corner, the rest of the team in behind him. Emma locked Emma's in a so separate late. fight, a banana one that has yet to come through. Oh, it's Brokey. Brokey to oh, open. nice. They deal with Emma on the flank, but it's only Frozen left standing. One kill from him. Any more. Frozen is going to be oh, the guy. Frozen! going to be the one. Oh. Frozen! There you go. Wow. They waited two years, and he came through right at the right time. I mean, time. dude, that was a 3v5. Frozen no, is having 4v5 an unbelievable with two players on final. Two HP still. Holy and shit. And need to propel off of that clutch. Friendly reminder that retakes on this map are fucking ass. <laughs> it doesn't That's get closer crazy. than that. Five points the difference. 1v3. Small thanks to the four-month primer. Thank you. Kotek, thanks to the 41-month primer. Thank you. Navi lose one round and the timeout is immediate. That felt like a, a bit of a misstep. 12 k viewers, boys, my god. about that last play over towards Let's Banana, go. and yet the first man in was not checking for it. Appreciate you so guys being here, man. this is that one chance now to, to keep your boot firmly pressed against FaZe and don't let them build back into this. I mean, they, they win, but at what cost, right? They get out with Galils. Mm -mm. Faze have no money to show after this streak of rounds for Na'Vi. Faze has to rally here. Like, if you they don't win this round, man, this yet. half is going to just feel so tough. Again, I know Faze can win like low by rounds, but they have to break them here, dude. Wanting vengeance once more, but there are three players in this bomb site right now. Oh, awkward for JL, but he will get flashed in. And oh, oh Kerrigan away. got spammed, bro. To spam Kerrigan out but of the round. But that gives them info. Nine. How many smoke spams have we seen in this game? I mean, we, we see Inferno played at the highest level, and it is Ooh, so I punishing. I like this from Navi. Alexi is making the right call. Anything. 
he for knows free. It comes at a cost Faze of health. Faze has just been regrouping B and ending B in these situations. They're going to explode again. Through the molly, through the smokes. Faze always playing through the util. They oh, deal well with played Alexi. by Frozen. JL, back of the site. All on JL now. Start to the game, but he's got to do a lot here, does JL? Oh, he's still alive. He's still alive. In. Onto the USP. Got to try and do it with the How side. How is he still alive? They just can't deal with him, but eventually Rain will. But they got another on the rotate, I think. 2v3 in the retake. Oh! Oh, oh dear. Nice shot. The threat nice comes shot. from within. Nice shot. <laughs> Who can be trusted? Oops. That's an oopsie. Take a deep breath now. That's a... That may be... He don't miss. He don't miss. Phase's fate set up in this third map. Still a ways to go, but it's certainly not a bad way to start. I think it's clear that they've got Na'Vi feeling a little bit of pressure, considering this was a 7-0 start. You wouldn't imagine that pressure buildup is so That's soon, crazy. but wonderful, wonderful just like me for first real. man in to that 1v3 that gets given over to Frozen. The hardest round Dude, is the that's last crazy. round. Alexi, made the, the right move. That's the difficult part. He knows part. that they know that they've been rotating back to A, so he stays B. It's stopping a comeback. But he got a past the initial molly. Reality. And hey, wins this fight exactly right here, look. how hard that final round can yep. be. If I say 15-9, you know what I Big mean. Big buddy pal, thank you so much for the five gifted. Thank you, dude. 15-11. Fitting that, that Bit also gets taken Nami out by headshot. Well. Bit is 15 yeah, They wanted to four. try and My keep punishing God, phase. Dude. They wanted to do anything to stop them chaining rounds Like, together. I know Bit's been playing phenomenal, if but you holy catch shit. Sleeping, you're in the golden spot, but it's a team that can build back very, very quickly. Don't want a 1v3 and oh. a TK to be the defining outcome. Well, once the again, turning point for Navi phase. starts with the 5v4. So this round, JL throws himself phase into the fight. Straight a down banana. To He's B, opened this up they've for Na'Vi. Surely they don't do it again, got, right? 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 That's what weapons, they got to be thinking. To buy this time and look, the Navi rotate is coming in. Alexi so making the right call again individually. In. It forces phase but he's got to actually have impact. On the other side of the map, concessions made. Oh, but Kerrigan's making it seem like they're actually going in. For how long is the question? That fourth rotate is here. JL. This game is being played right now, boys. And phases solution. Kerrigan's trying to make it seem like they're going A, but that smoke and bottom B is how fucked up the timing is. Explode through the smoke. Catch Na'Vi on different timings. And they're going to walk back into the up. Now they've got to beat back Time to make up for it, wonderful. They're going to walk into you. is feeling that pressure. Holding the line, he opens with the first. Kerrigan churned up. And the first now light what? of that AWP, they try to find it over towards Lexi Long. And in still doing has the so correct rotation because they have car Alexi. control. Navi look to put those last two rounds behind them here and now. And it's just Man, there you go. Rocks that stands between them well played. And Very well goal. played. They lost that round at B, but Alexi B has Straight been away, completely out-rotating these positions. A lost clutch. There's only been one round An where I really scratched retake. my head at what they were thinking. They but leave like, that behind them. Back to Think their about it like this, that the worst situation Navi's been in and was they had a 5v4 a advantage into a retake with two games, players on 2 HP. They are out maneuvering the fuck out of them. That this would be a comeback unlike And it's coming from this banana other. control. The fact that FaZe isn't like contesting Navi it, they need to get in there at this point. The CT side, even with blunders being made. I think that's really what's like fucking this up is Almost nothing they're comes scared for because free. when they have gotten in there, they've gotten lit up so much from Carrigan the Utah, but kill the also still. when they don't take it, they're just, they, they, they're losing so much info and Navi's doing a great job Robson's of rotating on the map. Major yet. Rain not feeling like an MVP anymore. It's only been frozen, saving this one. Four phase. The new boy on the block. They need to go deeper than that. Carrigan over towards Long. First man in, first man to fall. Good Rain trade. will reply. That's a foothold taken Fucking over I on the long side. Wonderful tries so tough, to react man. with this He's AWP. actually played so well this major too. Doesn't have to do much that's yet on the be CT side. so fucking hard. He's been good for the kills whenever they're available. And that's another example oh, of this. Rops off it up. Wonderful's not content with just the first. I actually Broke. feel he so bad. He's been this corner. actually playing well. Oh, oh my god. And so finally he has his round. JL 
Now that I think about it, smart from Wonderful to take out his teammate to warm up his op shots. Wonderful spots that final player and even then doesn't take the risk. Five head, do you know? Rain Kept himself warm with the op. Man walking as Na'Vi surge through this third and final map. And how long did we wait to see if Wonderful is the real deal? A title taker. My God. A titan toppler. He was left to wither in Sprout. But now up on the big stages, unfazed by the pressure. In this final bout for glory, for legacy. Only one death in this entire map. A monstrous appearance against G2. Wonderful is the real deal mm -hmm. right now. Can FaZe break through yet again? A glimmer at the end of their T side. Another smoke to appear through. <laughs> Navi's util has been near. Oh, they got bought out. Higher game. I mean, their read over what FaZe is doing out, here Tucker. has been still back. For that, you've got to credit Alexi, but. I don't know how much you keep up with things, Tucker, but FaZe Clan's officially the Cowboys, so actually it all makes sense, holy fuck, so it's so fun. Play, up through sorry, eight. sorry guys, I didn't, I like you guys. Bit still stands, and Bit doesn't want to let them in for free, he's now the only home okay, up in the okay. apartments. But at 16 and 4. Yeah, Timmy and owns FaZe now, yeah. Right they now. sold complexity the back to Jason Lake recently. Bit still has more to give, still has more to say. Frozen quakes in his boot oh. as the end is nigh, and Bit is the one looking to deliver it. Rain in the pit, and a lot of time ticked off this bomb. Rain cuts. Oh, oh my. Broke he will. Just about three. Heading into the second well, half, the last maybe. half to be played up so on you're this telling stage. Me there's a chance. It's not a lot of ground to cover. A huge challenge, Man. an insurmountable challenge stands before FaZe and for Na'Vi, they are in top form right now. Every single player playing at their peak, it do you feels think we have can do it, Chad? Do you think they can do it? We have JL a step above and we have the behemoth bit. Making That's one way to slay your demons if you're Kerrigan. Don't get a phase. single kill T-side and then rally back Three to T-side. It's just enough. But FaZe need to muster everything they've got. Their captain killed us at halftime. And even that is, is terrifying, right? So you're you telling you me there's a chance. Form to feel comfortable to make the calls to recover this game. Fracture makes the 14 and Vitality makes the 45. Here we He's go. got to trust on his team now. He's got to rely on the firepower, the star power of FaZe. Exactly what this roster is and always has been. Some of the best shooters in the game. And they can't make a mistake. Na'Vi frothing at the mouth, but Alexi holds them back. Make sure you mm. just win this pistol, and that trophy might be yours. Dude, Alexi's complete. Oh, oh my flowing. God. The read over the game has been stellar. Even in Bro. this round, they were about to walk into the three-man B-stack in the pistol, and they decide this last minute to call, up and leave, but moving back over to an under-defended A site. So it's rain, and he it's He can pop rocks. off right here to try hold back the coming tide of Na'Vi. Rob's pressure, oh, Rob's dealt with, and Rain finished off as well. The site cracked wide open. There is no respite Absolutely for FaZe. Absolutely outmaneuvered, holy fuck. No pistol to give I don't them know a what freebie they saw, but they saw this number. No, it gets worse. Na'Vi, you have to throw yourself through here. 10 rounds. <laughs> is right around the corner. Can Na'Vi squeeze those shots out? Glock's on a crossfire, some whiff bullets, but JL recovers, and he looks to close. Two oh, more kills, Kerrigan and still wonderful can't get a fucking there. kill, man. This As is Na'Vi actually know, painful. This is inevitable. Holy it shit. It has to be. A 
Alexi tried for so long, so many international oh, rosters. Dude. It was five years ago we saw him in a major grand final with a full finished team, but ever since unsuccessful. And not only did he take down his former roster in G2 in that semi-final, now he's taking down the big dog of Counter-Strike to secure a major victory. FaZe, if there's ever a time to pull one of these out and of your ass, so this is There's so little it. standing in this their way. It. And Alexi can feel okay. that. Navi can they feel that. They finally have a stack. They, they finally have the right stack. They finally have the right moment. Boots. And with each round, oh. each kill, they're moving closer to Counter-Strike's holy grail. Once more, the A-side crumbles. Navi are up to the task. It is here, and this is After terrifying, man. destroyed on their map pick a mirage this team made the finals with emma missing Better teams more experienced with squads Bit would have crumbled missing here and jail and wonderful and now Bit is here and this down. is fucking terrifying they their spot in this grand final they weren't about to let it slide away from them motherfuckers said you remember me heading into a third map holy and everyone shit. comes alive phaser left with one shot one stab in the dark to try and stop being swallowed up whole by Na'Vi. And we saw Akadamita just how devastated Carrigan could be. That 0-3 to Spirit in a grand final phase couldn't even get their foot in the door and the entire roster looked destroyed. But this one may hurt more. So close, Bruh, no way, but no maybe way. too far. A task on, for FaZe Clan on home soil on their Bruh, third time not in, in the Royal hometown, Arena dog. in that the is, Grand Final. That's fucked. And all they have that's to show fucked. is silver. That would be devastating. And this final timeout, this final chat to legendary player now coach Neo has got to inspire something. Yeah, man, Kerrigan very aware does not have a singular kill just yet. Just how dire this is, that oh, they would be playing man. for overtime otherwise. They've thrown all their money on the line here. Yeah, they're wow. just forcing. This they have to. They have to the force. Like, you can Kerrigan at 0-13. Maybe a new darkest Fuck, hour upon man. him he in the third He was literally having map. one of his best tournaments, the too. Getting oh, my God. In front of his nobleman. Navi in no hurry. A full spread default. Apps take banana theirs. And at so little cost. FaZe have to hold on to what they got. It is not mm. a lot. Molly ready at the B bomb site. Smoke must go. Ooh. Navi chopping at the bit. The guillotine is out. They on for his head. Carrigan blocks him for a moment. Good start. Small sigh of relief for FaZe as they do stop what was looking to be a B explode from Na'Vi, but Alexi left options open here, even in his absence. The backup plan still looks to come through for Na'Vi as they work their way up long. Bit has been unstoppable, and so there's Bit, no um... slowing him down now. He wants that second major trophy in his cabinet, and he's looking to take Na'Vi there to the promised land. Bit, Bit is here, dude. It's another. actually fucking and insane. And moves in, no kill yet. Wait. We'll finally deal with Bit. Oh, he thought he, right. he thought he was back right. He thought he was back right. 1v2, maybe. Conclusion. Maybe. Phase risked everything on this buy. Frozen has been the guy across all three maps to shine bright for FaZe. He knows where one is. He's been spotted. No element of surprise. JL and Wonderful, they will close this. FaZe broken and Na'Vi elated. Yeah. As five kills is all that stands between Na'Vi and a major title. Almost Bro, it's, the last team you would expect to take it they when you saw that so stack well bracket. Right now. We had I... the seven best teams on the planet. Holy oh, shit. And Na'Vi block out the outside world.
Bro, they this eclipse is, eternal fire. This is not what I was expecting. They murder G2. And now phase their final Third map foe. like this? Like this. And they do it in this fashion. It's not even been a competitive third map. This is a brutalization of a world-class roster before your very eyes. To recover from Mirage in the way they did, the way they died, that felt like the series had started for FaZe. But the reality is so Bit much deserves that MVP. Bits played phenomenally today, but no, JL is the reason why they're and in the Navi finals, and he is still their way to a trophy. Like he, it is, the it is not even to close. Lexi couldn't do it with his finish, brethren. It is literally not even a conversation with Navi's first ever international venture. He looks to take home the gold. And he wants FaZe to feel that. He knows they're under all the pressure. A slow round with a big ending. Victory is Man. right there for Na'Vi. Here we go. And all that's left to do is reach out and grab it. Ema opens, Bit responds. And Na'Vi with each kill, with each second, they can feel that they are on their way to the crowning achievement of Counter-Strike. 3v2, this is for the Major right In here. The city of Spires, a new kingdom looks to arise. Na'Vi! He's so fucking cold. kill away! Oh, man. And they know it now. He's smiling, he's laughing. The best moment of the rest of their lives is about to come through. And there's the killing blow! Well played, well played. Navi's highest height in years. Man, they, they fucking deserve it too. They really did. They played so well on that last map. Think of how bad they just got their shit beat out of them too on their own map choice. Strikes, brightest minds. Alexi like, bro, B think about that. Like the, trophy, they got taking down his former smashed. roster in the semis and besting one of the greatest in-game leaders Counter Strike has ever seen. They just when came in, matters. fully locked and loaded, Bits. dude. The only remaining Stockholm champion in the black and yellow. He held on when others had enough. Revenge for the Antwerp final against FaZe finds him glory once Navi again. Navi won the major, and guys. proves that Paris was no Navi clue. Navi won the major. Navi he went international. once more and one step further, Simple engraving his himself. name on a major trophy. JL enters the pantheon of legend. My he God. called it. And an MVP level like, performance dude, to propel nuts. this roster to new heights. He is just getting started. Hell yeah! <laughs> and finally, wonderful following in the footsteps of his idol, showing that greatness <laughs> can be obtained no matter how big the boots. He is born to win. Motherfuckers got their some goddamn mental, that is for sure, Chad. international track. squad at the Major, they etch their names into the history books here and now. That vindication for say an XCB. Say what you want, but you cannot Best fucking say a thing about that man's mental. One of the mental. brightest minds that Counter-Strike has to offer, and driving home that he is the real deal. The first team to lift a major trophy in CS2. Your champions of the PGL Copenhagen <laughs> Well done, man. Well done. Well fucking deserved. Dude, I don't know. Oh, shit.
the PGL Copenhagen Major Champions. Damn, Navi. bro. I'm sad. Be honest with me. How many of you had Navi winning? When we first spoke, you said what a fucking top run, dude. Would be nice. Well, how nice is this? The top four was minimum goal, bro. So, of course, like, you always can win. You will not be believed. Just believe. And what was going through your mind during this game? And, and how did you guys come back, especially after that second map? Uh, we knew that new map will be, uh, third map will be different. That's for sure. Like, Inferno is completely different map in terms of map control, in terms of decision making. Uh, we did a lot of mistakes from Mirage. We fully reset. It was no brainer. We knew that we can start city side and smash them. And you sir, Damn. And congratulations once again. Bit. <laughs> Alexi, come back to the car. Your <laughs> the second stick. major trophy, 21 years old, and you had to change language. I believe Alexi's mom is there, by the way, Chad. That's why he's what do you want to say? going through the crowd. I can say thanks everyone for support. It was amazing. You're amazing, guys. Thank you. And you, in this final, I mean, what a time for Bit to come alive. We looked to see. We saw your individual level raise back up. What changed? You just felt it? I don't know. We just play our game and uh, try to play good. <laughs> okay, but like, let me ask you this then. Is the headshot machine bit back? <laughs> they think so. Yeah. Yes, yes. I yes. mean, goddamn, dude. Wonderful. Trophy in hand. He's like, you I come mean. into Navi, you're replacing Simple, the greatest in CSGO. But you kept saying, I want to make my own name. I want to have my own path. I don't want to be compared to Simple. Do you feel like the performance you had here now shows the future and the dominance you can have? I don't know what to say, actually. It was a really hard game for me. And I think I played really bad, but my team is a beast. And I want to say thank you, everyone, guys, for supporting. Thank you, my family. Thank you, my girlfriend, for supporting. I love you guys. Thank you. I need Mr. Where did <laughs> Alexis gone back in there? <laughs> this has been one hell of a performance. There's a lot of emotions. Royal Arena, were you entertained? <laughs> Jail still in the socks, bro. Alexi's coming back onto the stage. You <laughs> must get the leader in here. JL Emo. Give my man some shoes. <laughs> Mate, you did it. I fucking did it. <laughs> JL, we look at the game versus G2. That incredible moment you created, the opportunity you created. We look at your performance here right now. We look at where you came from. When you look at the Paris Major to what you did here, what can you say to everyone out there? It's crazy. Two weeks ago, I was reading comments how I went tier two, both, and I'll never reach anything in life, and now I'm the major champion. So who's talking now, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that one guy on Angel TV forums, get fucked, buddy. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Dima. Second place, last major. You come onto Na'Vi and you've had your oh, struggles. Shit. It's not been easy at times. You said it doesn't matter if you're bottom of the scoreboard, if we win the whole thing. What do you want to say to all the people that didn't believe in you, didn't believe you could do it again? I mean, I can start with uh, saying that uh, if I have to choose between uh, last major when I was like tough running every time and then losing, and this one whenever I'm most of the time, both or more, I'm doing everything for my team and winning the major. There is no brainer, trust me, like it's crazy. And I don't know, it's, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable, but you have done it. When you get through this though, right, when you have all this criticism online, did you ever start to let it get to you? Did it ever hurt your mentality? Uh, wait, can you repeat it? Did it ever get into your mind, the criticism, the thoughts from people? I mean, like, Sometimes, I mean, I don't mind at all. Like, I, I got a lot of hate in my career before, but uh, now it was like a lot of hate. Not, like, it was a lot of hate, but sometimes you cannot, maybe it affects you a bit, 
but what you can do, you need to move on, and then uh, now I prove them I want a major no matter what, like what, what they can say now. Exactly, they can say nothing because you are a major champion. I need to say one more thing, Jack, see if I get the PCU. Thank you very much, Eva. Alexi. He just say fuck Fong, that's crazy. Alexi, they found him, he's back in the Navi jersey, they got him. I think we call this um, a late birthday present. You could say so. It just feels unreal. You've been in many finals, but you've sat in second place so many times. You sat in second place in 2019 for the major as well. What was going through your mind after that second map, though, where you sadly got destroyed by FaZe? To be complete, completely honest, I didn't feel good. I think um, a part of the loss was for sure on me, and I was thinking about it heavily. Even Blade told me to wake up because there was a couple rounds I did uh, not my best. But I feel like all the reflections I've made throughout my career, I don't, I don't take it to heart. I'm trying to learn, and I went into the decider constantly trying to make moves and trying to make them uncomfortable. And I felt like I had a good read on the game the whole match, and that was the most important match of my career, so I'm super happy. And what's it like for you to do it where you go through each game and people did not believe in you? People still thought that this team didn't have what it takes to lift a trophy. And then you sit here in this Royal Arena, completely packed out, and you lift the major trophy. You kept telling me you were manifesting it. Is this what you manifested? Honestly, I don't know. I, I have no clue. We just got into the championship stage. I'm saying let's go one match at a time. And we ended up beating face 2-1 on the final. All I have to say is Torilla Tabata! I have no idea what that means, but all right, we're in there. I should know this. I, I, I was in the finish stream yesterday. Champion one more. <laughs> Nothing of this could have been possible with the teammates I've had. So selfless, everybody doing tons of work. The past six months we've been having up and downs. Everybody has worked their ass off and Blade deserves his respect as well. He made me a better IGL and he's the best coach in the world. Hell yeah, man. And this guy Hell is the yeah. fucking MVP of the major. <laughs> This is one very hyped up, one very excited Na'Vi. And they are your PGL Major Copenhagen champions. Royal Arena, let me hear you make some noise! What a, what a fucking way to end it. Yeah, I wish the third map was closer. The coronation of King Carrigan. But Usurped man. from his throne <laughs> by a finished It's impossible not to Denmark. feel mad fucking happy for those guys. The like, it's so nice Alexi to see Navi B, like that. The real deal. Finally, winning a major, winning like, a big like, one. What a story, bro. For so long. What a story. If anyone had to take down Kerrigan, it better be someone who thoughtfully deserved it. And I think Alexi B and the Navi boys did that. Of course, everyone inside the arena, or most people, would have loved to see Kerrigan win. I think out there in the world, for everyone watching, internationally speaking, everyone can stand behind the fact that Navi mm -hmm. played one hell of a game quick, tonight probably before they talk to Jill and tell him they were the, the better order. team, they had the better individuals, and they fully deserved this victory. Again, for Kerrigan, it does suck to lose another final in here, but they did it to a team who on the day were better. What an incredible path for Navi in this play yep. of Richard. You have to realize first, pit against Eternal Fire, people thought, there's no way they can tame these beasts. They made it. You move on to G2, you're thinking, wow, that's one that's one step too high. There's no way they're going to take them down. They're big stage players. And then finally, when you pit against FaZe, we're standing here saying in an hour, this is going to be done and Kerrigan had won. They defied us at every single turn. Yep. And this is how you create a legendary run, by taking it, all the changes against you, and what a group of people 
called it. I didn't think it would be that easy, but goddamn, they deserve it. I, I go back to I go back to about 14 years ago, 15 years ago, Richard, seeing this small Ukrainian organization called Navi come in and play 1.6, an unknown bunch of players, and they evoked a dream in their country, in their region. 15 years later, completely different players altogether. But what a story! Similar shades of just surprise, just you know, just ex completely throwing away all expectations, all all reasoning, all logic, so to speak. We're looking at Emma, who we're questioning him. He stood up. We're talking wonderful and how he might be starting to maybe crumble under the nerves. He showed up. JL stepped sure. up. We said maybe if they pull off this miracle, he's going to be the MVP. All the necessary elements for this team to pull off this miracle run. It just happened. It is and, a miracle. And here's the scariest thing. This is a really young team. You know, yeah. some of these guys could be playing at Narby for a long, long time. We've seen the emergence of wonderful, you know, couldn't even speak in the interviews. And I, I, this is why it's an amazing story. We talked about the shadow was simple. Of course. You know, there were people out there, you know, certain friends of ours that may or may not be here who said, put simple in for Emma and they win the major straight away. But what about now? <laughs> What about now? Right? Uh, that, that is a beautiful response. It is the most beautiful response you could have. And I agree with you. It's absolutely beautiful to see and to feel the emotions. And when Alexi B is talking about the work they put in, I think it has to be the motto, right? It's about reaping the rewards of all of the work you've put in. And you were in the shadow and you were never really in the conversations for titled contenders. We said, ah, you have a high floor, but that's it. There's not really superstar quality. JL, worthy of an MVP. Bit. What a romance. A player oh. that we got to know on in Inferno. We got to know him on Inferno and then he steps up again, but we have an MVP. I mean, I'm calling it ahead. It's not my MVP, Listen, but for my money, he's, he's right the there. He's the MVP of the major. You have to understand, J this is JL. Who is JL? When he joins this team, everyone's underwhelmed. Yeah. You know, and he didn't make a great start, but he said, I'm going to put in the work. I'm going to earn that legend status that I have conferred upon myself. And to do it here, to be the best player on the day, the last one left out of all the great players we've seen, the highest ranked that was in the tournament, and then to just close it out like this, he is a legend. I mean, I mean, he had to, he had to show, he had to walk to walk after speaking, after sure. talking to talk, right? I'm looking at the playoffs bracket, you're talking about Zai, you're looking at this phenom called Donk, you're looking at Robs, you're looking at Frozen in the server, you're looking at Raid in the server, and he steps up to the plate. Like you said, Richard, he called himself a legend. Today, he earned himself that title. He's a playmaker. He is a guy that made it happen for Navi. Again, we speak about the foundation. We speak about the team play, the creation, the synergy between the players. But you need certain players to elevate yourself at certain moments in the tournament. If you go back and watch every single Dale moment in this game or in this tournament, you would realize that he was clutch when he needed to be. Absolutely. He was making the play when he needed to be. Not only does he have the stats to back it up as an MVP of this tournament, but the impact he found at crucial moments. We're talking overtime games. We're talking scoreline 11 to 11. He comes out with a 1v2, a 1v3. Jail had a fantastic tournament in more so than just the stats, but also in the impact he had throughout the tournament. And he will definitely be the MVP, but I would yeah. hate myself if I didn't take a minute to talk about Bit no, and what he's done in this we, grand we, final. We have to. I this, mean, is, this is beyond reasonable, the step up that he's gotten, sure. because prior to the grand final, he was in category of players that are yet to show us what they can do. Where, where is Bit? What is happening? Is it communicational issue? Is he having any kind of pressure? And he had an absolutely masterful performance in the entire oh, grand final. That but that when number, 137, 131 ATR on Inferno, rolling back the years. I mean, listen, he's got two major titles already under his belt. Say. He's been playing majors for three years. He's got more than Simple already. Yes, he has more majors than Simple now. So I guess, uh, you know, Twitch chat will be calling him, what, B2T? 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 Simple one Is major, bit no. two majors. No, listen, uh, he, I was critical of him when I'm talking about the A-bomb side. It was like, Imma, Imma and Bit, I'm not feeling good about his uh, brother, I'm not really feeling what they're doing here. He took oh. the fight to phase, dude. He shut oh, them up. What, what the hell this. is this? He is just absolutely mauling bro, them alive, bro. chewing them up. Look at this, as Brown especially. Yeah, look at this. Look he at this. doesn't fall back. He's taking it just to them, not allowing phase to feel comfortable. Do dude, this is literally <laughs> what he's doing to phase here bro, on this map. is what phase did to them on Mirage. <laughs> yep. He's answering back, and he wanted that major title. He absolutely like wanted that major title. Brother, uh... It's been a couple of years since we've seen this bit, right? And what a 
Inferno. Time. What a time to come alive on Inferno for people who remember. <laughs> first time That's he came you know, into Nami, I think, like, back in 2020 or something along about. the lines. Like, like they know what to talk about, but there's not much else to say. Just watch, right? Right. Roster change. They would only switch to Inferno the first two games he played. I remember being very underwhelming. He didn't get the call up once more. There was a roster change. Flamey went out of the lineup, and the rest is history for Bit. Two majors to his name now. He started off by just being the Inferno man when Navi, and he finished off this major by being the MVP. That was on a genuine masterclass, bro. That CT side. Build on this now because we have an unbelievably competitive scene. I mean, uh, all the people who were banging on me when I was saying the last year of CS:GO was one of the worst years in the game's history in terms of competition. <laughs> this is the scene the that we deserve. This is the scene the fans I'm not deserve. Lie. All of these teams in this bracket to get to the stage of crowning Navi. Look at those teams. Think about how good they are. This particular bracket. This is not the end of anything. This is the beginning of something truly beautiful. I'm looking at Mouse yet to prove themselves. I'm looking at a G2 yet to get that win for Nico. I'm looking at Eternal Fire who have finally caught on fire. Looks so great, even though they fell over here right here right now. Oh, I've been. 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 Oh,
I would have had them probably in top three or four conversation yeah. from now on. Um, the question is, the individual brilliance that we've seen from the likes of JL, the maps, the series we've seen from Bit, is that something we can rely on? Yeah. Is JL actually uh, um, an, a sleeper agent? We got superstar? CS2 when it's COVID. He acted too, as a support. <laughs> Turns out he was an MVP candidate yeah. all along. And if that becomes consistent, then there's a new ceiling for Navi. And also, can Imma play good in any other event apart from a major? That'd be nice, right? Just play good in other you know, random events, maybe, maybe a pro league, maybe some other events out there. If that happens, then suddenly we're talking about this. Maybe it's the start of something beautiful. Guys, it's been beautiful working with all of you again. Likewise, Richard. Uh, thanks a lot uh, for your input uh, in the final. And that's it, guys. It's time to wrap up the show. I just want to say thanks to all of the crew. Uh, PGL for bringing me back from the dead. Uh, <laughs> all of the fans that made this atmosphere electric. We still nice here. Still, still, still here. Oh, yeah. Thank you for staying. And, Thanks for coaching uh, us again, Major. That, that was Hell yeah. The inaugural CS2 Major Navi, worthy champion. This is really good, From man. Everyone here, we'll see you next time. MVP. Thought they would show the MVP, but I'm gonna Welcome. be honest. It was JL. Let's just let's just be real. Let's just be real. Yeah, no. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. So, Don HL TV, I got you. Uh -uh, I am heading out, chat. Um, I'm going to be offline for actually the longest I've been offline for a while. I'm going to go see my family. Um, I'll probably be back. I think I'll be back Friday. So, I'm going to be, yeah, I leave today and then I'll be back. Uh, yeah, I get back Thursday evening. So, oh. shut up, Kafki. Yeah, it's gonna. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Yeah. So, I'll see you guys uh, probably Friday. All right. Take it easy. Thanks for watching the major with me. Appreciate y'all. Take it easy. Take it easy.